PKA 695 with our guest slush puppy Taylor. This episode of PKA is brought to you by pharaohdistro.com, Blue Chew, and Lock and Load. Talk more about them later. Oh, slush, yeah. we missed you so much last week. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. I forgot the time zones because I had uh, changed. We changed from daylight savings, which fucks me. And then uh, I also slept through my alarm as well. So by the time I actually woke up, the show was all done pretty much. And then, uh, yeah. All good. I'm it's sorry. like <laughs> it's early morning there, right? Uh, 9 a.m. Well, early for me. 9 a.m. is probably not early for most people. Early but, for uh, a gaming streamer. That's crack of dawn. Yeah. It's, pre- <laughs> it's three hours before crack of dawn, to be honest. It <laughs> yeah. makes sense. That, if you uh, make your living streaming for people, like, I can't imagine 9 a.m. is like a hot time. No, 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 definitely not. Oh, like, if I'm waking up at 9 a.m., it's to take my wife somewhere and I'm annoyed about it, you know? It kind of is, though, because it's 7 p.m. Eastern. Like, it's not as if all his viewers are local. Yeah. No. Well, it, yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. Hours ahead. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I could probably get up earlier and then uh, stream. I mean, I have tried it before, but I just don't like getting up that early, so I just don't care. Honestly, that's, <laughs> that's yeah. fair. Professional gamers are not diurnal typically. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You have to yeah. get good, and all the best gamers are on at night, so that's where they. Compete. Yeah. Exactly. All the normies are on during the day. Yeah. If you're playing multiplayer games, like uh, like when I was playing Tarkov a lot, if you get on at 9am and it's like during a, a low part of the wipe, you are playing fucking solo. Like it's really? boring as fuck. I don't <laughs> mind that if I'm trying to do like bullshit. Like there's a task called yeah. bullshit. Like I, I'm, I'm looking for a dead server. All right. Let, oh, let, yeah, let's, yeah. let's calm down. So I don't, <laughs> I don't mind that. So I'll play, I'll play in um, uh, yeah, Russian servers. I'll set it to Russian servers. It'll be like yeah. 4 a.m. In, in, in Moscow. And I, and I joke, but what I'm looking for is a dead server to get my task done. But I'll joke, like, no, no, I'm taking this is for Ukraine. I'm taking the fight to them. I'm yelling. <laughs> as soon as I hear fucking bleat come out of somebody's VoIP, I start talking about Slava Ukraine. <laughs> they get really <laughs> pissy. It's fun. Uh, I was joking about that when they had that competition to get a streamer item. I was going to try and uh, get a Ukrainian flag to piss <laughs> them off. <laughs> 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 I don't, don't do that. They'll never send you like a fucking helmet or a painting again. You'll get you'll yeah, get no man. man imagine they they'd, they'd they'd probably get fucking arrested by the S- FSB or some shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or they, if they, they nerf did that. Character. Yeah, yeah. If they did uh, that, I, they're. I don't like that. Look, I like that game. That this is my one bit of hypocrisy. Um, <laughs> as far as I know, Tarkov isn't owned by an oligarch or uh, directly in Putin's pocket or anything like yeah. that. It's just a fun video game. But, oh uh, man, that gives my... a shit anyway. Did you see that the US was trying to ban Russian software? Yes. What I also saw that of? I also saw that Putin is trying to create his own game console. So perhaps <laughs> these two things are related. Wait, no, okay. is that not. second part serious? Because I didn't it's see it's a hundred percent serious. They're doing the Bliat 360 or whatever the fuck. <laughs> it's I, I'm not even joking around. I mean, the name I'm joking around, but Putin's Putin's like we need. To compete with the Xbox and the PlayStation, we need a Russian gaming console. Why would they want to compete there? Yeah, they do want they to compete ha- everywhere, do they Woody. One? They're a first world nation. They're equal to the United States. They and should the compete China's in the like Great agriculture and productivity or something, not gaming yeah. consoles. No, it's going to be like uh, Stalin where, where he's like, yeah, everyone's going to have a camera and then he's just going to work half the country to death trying to make fucking cameras. Yeah, and then no one's gonna get any. <laughs> They're just gonna sell them all. <laughs> it's gonna be like have you ever read about Mao and the sparrows? Of course. Yeah. yeah, that's just that's one of the most baffling things I've ever read about in history. Where he's just like, these birds cause problem. Kill all of them. Well, and like no, not one. Per- well, yeah, they were ruining the crops, and then they realized that you kill all the birds, and then the insects really ruin the crops. Yeah, <laughs> but think about like no one being able to be like. Uh, we should really bring up the whole insect world to him at some point. See, the problem like, there, I'm not fucking doing it. When so was the problem that? there isn't the idea. The problem is right, the, the the complete control that that fascist communist government had yeah. and that they could enact that plan over the, the entire nation of China. You know what I mean? If it was some smaller branch branched up government like here, you'd be like, oh, my God, what did Nebraska do? Well, we'll ne- the rest of us will never make that mistake. But instead, it's. Every yeah. peasant is everywhere it, is getting a rifle to I think shoot. It's they is it feasible that in the 1940s they just didn't like nobody knew what the consequences of killing sparrows would be? 
No, there's no uh, way you surely know, the 40s is. and advanced they agriculture know. without. Well, if I made it 1840s, that. you'd probably all agree. Well, with I me. promise I you, the Chinese that didn't. Is. That's all I can say for sure, Woody. The Chinese <laughs> didn't know. And the people, anyone who did, was keeping it to themselves. I bet. That yeah, that's my no thing. Clothes. I, I want to know, like, did a lot of people know that this was really dumb and just couldn't speak up? Or was it just not widely known? Oh, like, that's pretty common in ago. like in like Asian cultures though. Like they they say that like the Japanese the the main reason Japan lost against America so hard towards the end was because that they just their commanders just couldn't uh, say, "Hey man, we're getting our asses kicked," because they were like they were just too too afraid and like too too honorable or whatever. And they yeah. were like, "Yeah, no, no, we're." We're, uh, we're we're definitely winning, even as they're like they're mar- they're getting marched on fucking Okinawa. They're like, you yeah, know, we're kicking their asses. So yeah, that makes sense. Not helpful, but also like any any mass farmer at the time would have known, like, yeah. oh, you kill all the birds, like that's going to cause these aphids or whatever the fuck to crop I, up. I, I don't know that they had mass farmers. I think they had peasants doing the farming. I know there was instances. I th- I'm thinking probably Soviet times where they just come up with these plans and treating populations like they were, I don't know, tools in a shed or machinery. We're like, no, we need more farmers. All of you people are now farmers. And then you'd send a bunch of people who'd never farmed before to be fucking farmers. Uh, yeah. that, I'm not sure that there were those gigantic, what we, what we do is crazy. Our huge farms that are just these, as far as the eye can see over the horizon type corn and wheat oh, farms. I imagine them being peasants on a few acres, but what he did was he handed out rifles to everyone and said, shoot the birds. And I think they got money. Like you could turn them in and get a little, a Chinese dollar. I know they, they did it wolf ears the back in the day, and also you, you know people breed heads. birds. That would I bet I guarantee there was a dude breeding birds. Like, oh, I found <laughs> loophole. I think that happened <laughs> with snakes in America. Is it, is I'm not sure. Ru- RuPaul? It RuPaul. did happen with snakes. A yes. RuPaul. You've heard that. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then so th- so then they said, "Fuck this shit. We're not going to pay you for breeding snakes." And the breeder said, "Well, then if these are worth nothing, freedom." <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and so now there's like tens of thousands of snakes. So you get this 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 uh, this interesting study in. Uh, economics and e- eco- uh, ecology and just humanity being shitty and i guess you know capitalism as well it's 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 pretty fun you told story. me about that it, snake that sounds shit, right? less insane to me is it because it's my country w- would would the chinese think the sparrow thing wasn't completely stupid because it's theirs no I mean, like they don't do tens it anymore of millions of people died they knew yeah. it was dumb yeah it's pretty well, bad. i mean there's pros and cons like it's like that, the one that, um yeah. it's the one with the uh like Mao has like a Gretzky esque record compared to like Stalin and Hitler. Like one I of those like Stalin, nine, Mao's nine, even nine. yeah. Is, know, he, pop, is he that pop. far ahead of Stalin? Because I felt like Stalin took out like 10 mil as well. Pol-pop Stalin took out a ton, insane. but oh, like Pol-pop I think Mao was pretty is good. Like, I think Mao dwarfs everyone. Where does Genghis Kong rank? Probably oh, way OG fucking platinum goaded with the sauce champion. There it weren't that, that many people back then. Getting very yeah. here. They killed the <laughs> no, dogs no. and cats. <laughs> no, he he had like he had rules where you could like continue to live in your own culture and like self govern and stuff as long as you like as long as you paid taxes and dues to yeah. the to the Khan. And he I, would I remove believe. monarchies and put in meritocracies and like yeah, a lot of people I, I, benefited I, under Genghis Khan's domination. Yeah, I, I mean, the wars that he fought were bloody, but uh, I believe that he most of what happened after, like, his ruling class wasn't as bad. So, bloody if you fought back. If you yeah. just said, welcome, dear conqueror. <laughs> yeah, I, for one, yeah. welcome our Genghis Khan. Then yeah, you might exactly, be a yeah. uh, new local leader. Yeah. I don't, I don't know about that, that guy. Um, I don't like him. You're talking no, about I don't... my great, 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 great grandfather. Mine too. Mine too. <laughs> no, I didn't actually. No, I. Honestly, I think he I want to I wanna dislike him. I want to dislike him right now for the point of discussion. But mm. like the horseback archers is such a cool vibe. Like I'm not just it that's that's neat. Like oh, running around shooting no. a bow and arrow from horseback. Prima nocta is the cool vibe. Like if you're Genghis <laughs> Khan. I I can't remember if prima nocta is one of those things. That probably Kyle at one point told me, like, you know, it was nothing like that. Or if you led me the other direction, was like, oh, that was a real thing. Because you could you could lie to me right now either way. Mm-hmm. If it was um, something that never happened, or if it actually I think did. My my, if you if you put a gun to my head, I'd probably say it happened. Um, but I don't remember the historical stuff. Obviously, I remember this the Braveheart references. Yeah, 
Um, and uh, and that does seem like something the English would fucking do. <laughs> so yeah, maybe. it's definitely an English thing. Yeah, they, but they because they hated the Scottish though. Surely they did it to try and breed them out. Like, you, or, you or, and, so. and ensure loyalty um, and, and and all sorts of things, and just yeah. get laid, right? Just be a, just exactly. Be, you know, that's part of it. a lot of the witch persecutions was about that. It was they just wanted to like disrobe and torture ladies, you know. I saw an interesting uh, <laughs> uh, green text recently about the state of modern women, and it was that <clears throat> after generations <laughs> and generations, when you had me a green text, bro, so yeah, I, was, yeah. I was popping around poll, and you know, <laughs> I, I went to 4chan to learn about girls. How do you go, Kyle? Tell us more. <laughs> First of all, it's, you know, I, I we're a good there's good folks over there I mean, <laughs> on both sides, sure, but sure. on both sides. There's yeah, yeah. people on both sides of 4 that are good people, okay? You know? Oh, shit. Um, I just, anyway, um, <laughs> they they suggested that after generations and generations, thousands of years, if you will, of you'd have this scenario that would play itself out where the attacking army would surround the city, the city would be defeated, and all the virtuous, honorable women would kill themselves because that's what you do. Their husbands have gone out and fought to the death. They didn't win. Now you kill yourself. So that not only you can meet him in the afterlife, but so that you won't be raped and dishonored mm -hmm. because your honor is your family's honor as much as it is your husband's honor. You're doing everybody a solid, including yourself, unless you're a dirty whore and you don't yeah. care. And so <laughs> we just repeated that process for 2000. <laughs> no, all of time. Yeah. And uh, and now we're left with modern women. Descendants dirty of whores. dirty whores. That makes sense. And you can, no you one can argue. You could argue that only uh, you could argue that only brave men have died then, so that all of all men are now descend descendants. Oh, of you, hush, you could hush. argue <laughs> that only strong fighters have, have won because that's all that's it's fucking true. left. Look, look, there's Lush, We that. only do the 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 anti woman part on the show. No, not all people. If we're sitting here, we're the descendants of the people who were best at fucking surviving in a scary, awful mm. fucking world. We've up got until, teens, I mean, up until them. like 60 years ago, then everything became easy. You know, now people don't die in childbirth and shit like that. Yeah, but my dad was back, born back in the polio time. So I'm still like, yeah. at least a half blood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah you know, you're, you're a half blood <laughs> hard man, you know? Yeah. 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 You, you're, you're a hard man by name, soft man by nature. Yeah. We're only like, <laughs> we're only a generation removed from real hard men, though, for real. Yes. Reasons. Yeah. Like, I don't my, know. My, like, yeah. Like, my in dad, our I would consider like a hard man. Yeah. Well, in our hemisphere in particular, I don't think there are as many hard men. And what I'm, I mean, like, fucking, like, ruthless, tough as nails. Like, the people who had made it through, like, the Wild West or, like, fucking, mm -hmm. I don't know, just the olden times yeah. that were full of war. And, who are you and thinking death. of in the other hemisphere? Like, who, who are those MMA guys? Dagestanis? The Dagestanis, the mm -hmm. Russians. Like, those know? guys? Yeah. All of those people that are from like, warlike yeah. tribing communities. That anybody who's in a country yeah, they grew up like, in Kosovo and shit like that. Yeah, there you go. Those countries yeah. that are the size of three American counties and they're yeah. shaped like a zigzag and they're attached to eight other similar countries and they all <laughs> hate each other. Those are yeah. hard motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, they are. That's why they're good at fighting and they seem yeah. to love it. They're all about it. Would yeah. would Putin's console even sell well in Dagestan, even if they like because they love them there. But I guarantee they're not going to be. I bet they don't even have mm -mm. like three. They're on that either. Sigma grind, right? They wake up every day. Yeah. And it's like just a Saturn, wrestle. bro. They're, yeah. doing, they're, still they're, they're, gonna... on, they're still humping on CDs and <laughs> <laughs> but that old no, they're, blow, they're blowing into the cartridges. They're not up to yeah. CDs yet, for sure. No way. Bears. Our audience has oh. never blown into a cartridge. Yeah, they have. Retro oh, some of them so have. Big. That's gotta maybe be. Right. I see that on Reddit. I choose to believe it's fucking bots. I, I get that. Like, if you're 15, maybe you haven't seen a cassette recent. Maybe you don't know what a cassette is. But Jesus Christ, y'all, all of y'all out there who are like 20 plus, y'all know what an audio cassette looks like. You probably listened to one. You probably oh. your, your uncle probably has an old truck with a player in it, and he stuck some George Strait in there one time. Like you, I don't know. Audio on. cassette, audio cassette, probably yeah, I, not. I think I'm might be too far. Retro gaming, yeah, maybe really? cassette, but cassettes a breach. A twenty-year-old was born in two thousand four. Yeah, and so CDs I would not be surprised at all if they had have no experience whatsoever with cassettes. Like they I probably guess. barely have used CDs. They've never put. They, a they, pro they probably haven't used CDs. Like, 
Yeah. 2000, 2004. Oh, they've never done the, one of those. The, the, the pencil in there and fix the Man, room. I bet yeah, they look yeah. at that and they're like, what? In olden times, they would force the children's fingers into this slot. <laughs> that's how they got you to read <laughs> yeah. yeah if you look in the old paintings yeah. the children have very pointy fingers look at how grades oh. went down after they got rid of that yeah did you guys have uh when you're in school we had a thing where you had to work your way up to being able to use a pen what was it yeah like a yeah it was, it was an we, earned, it was a privilege yeah. not a right and it was yep. it was about your handwriting and yeah. it was about um uh, how many mistakes you're gonna make? Like, like you yeah. can't be fucking scribbling shit out. If, if exactly. you're gonna, if you're gonna have a big mess of it, they would, they would, they would let you use a pen if you could use a pen. Yeah, I, I remember <laughs> specifically. It was like, I uh, I, in whatever grade it was, they had for the whole year. They like, if you become good at handwriting, you get what's called your pen license. I and I didn't get it, <laughs> and uh, I, I didn't get it for the whole year because I was so I was such a messy writer. And then I went to the next grade. And then everyone was just using pens, and I had pencils when I on the first day, and I was like, "Wow, Hang on, do, I, do I am I am I meant to have like my pen license?" And the teacher's like, "Oh no, we don't do that in this grade." And I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> well, I guess I'll bring up I had bring a pen." A, no, tomorrow. you're just a pencil guy now. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, your own yeah. scarlet letter. It sounds like yeah. to this day you're using pens illegally. Yeah. I am. I am I'm using pens illegally. Pens. Yeah. I'm an unlicensed pen operator. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember yeah. as a like kid in school. There being like years, like not grasping that like pencils were not going to be a thing as an adult. Like I can't remember the last time I wrote something in a pencil instead of a pen. Can any of you? It oh, was yeah. some sometime ah, around like fifth man. grade or maybe I middle, remember, middle school. Uh, golf. I can't even remember the last time I used a, <laughs> a pen. Oh, golf would be a pencil, but yeah. like to actually write something down, like to on a notepad. I can't even Don't tell you the why, last though. time I did that. Yeah, I, I do but, a lot of. Just like DIY projects, and I use pencils for that. You can get rid of the mark. That makes yeah. sense. But like, as far as like jotting down notes or like a little to do list, I don't. I, I, gun to my head. If someone broke into my house right now and was like, "Find a fucking pencil, I'm gonna pull your head off." I'd be like, "You're gonna have to kill me." Yeah. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there's no pencils here, loser. Get your pen license. <laughs> Man, I don't even use it when I'm doing DIY shit because. Uh, I, I, this is super lazy, but a lot of the time I'll just use a, uh, like a, we call them Stanley knives here, but like the box cutter, like uh, yeah. razor blade things. Mm. I just use that to mark stuff. And it's really lazy because I, I obviously have lost all my, the, what are the you chiseling pencils. scrolls or something? No, 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 you just mark shit, mark shit with it. It's just easier. We, we would <laughs> but, use Sharpies. Like, like we would yeah. just buy a pack of sh- a cheap Sharpies at the dollar store if we were doing like a big, we would do these projects that involve like, hundreds of marks and hundred like you'd have a chop saw just but cutting, like pvc you know, plumbing type of the, well yeah. kind of pvc plumbing but but on an agricultural project where you're doing right. like, uh fogging misting lines and you need 800 yeah. lengths of 17 inches of pipe and it's just chop 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 so you've got one guy just walking along swipe 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 with a sharpie and another one chop 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 um hated those fucking jobs yeah, that, that's like the kind of stuff I did for my dad was like framing. So it didn't need to be neat because it's all going to get covered up by plasterboard or drywall, as you guys call it. Yeah. And uh, so you just mark it with a uh, with a box cutter because it's it's quicker and it, it, you don't have to sharpen it. Sure. And, is, and it's more accurate. Is yeah. it time for drywall to be replaced by something better? Like some sort of recycled plastic What's the, wall? I don't know. A plastic yeah, wall? I don't know. It's going to look terrible. Will it look any different? I don't know. I feel you like put a, the paper sheet on a plastic wall instead of what's in drywall, fucking asbestos or gypsum or I don't, I don't know what's it's, in that. It's gypsum, no, I, gypsum board. I've heard that before. It's some sort of yeah. like I, I feel like it's got to be fire retardant and it, to some measure because Ooh, I, I just imagine plastic walls melting and making yeah. that noxious smoke really that immediately thought. knocks me unconscious. And uh, and the way plastic burns is kind of scary. True. It like drips fire and. Yeah. Goes fast and all right, Kyle yeah. poked a hole in the. You're right, Kyle. You die so fast in a plastic house yeah. fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You didn't, you didn't right. die. My home was made by Fisher Price. What a mistake! <laughs> <laughs> you definitely Lego. end up like horribly maimed. Like you, you'd have like uh, you'd end up the looking Lego like house a. Would be so stout. Yeah, you'd have <laughs> plastic burns all over you. They yeah, make the, they make you'd look like one of those Lego Vietnamese block. napalm I kids. Saw- <laughs> you're walking out of your house naked with your hands like this oh. <laughs> yeah that wouldn't be ideal I guess we gotta stick with drywall for now until you come up with a better plan Woody yeah well, I, think that, I think one. in Europe they have, <laughs> what, they have, 
<laughs> what did uh in, in Sopranos there's that scene where Richie's d- getting a new house for Tony's fat ass sister for some reason, and mm-hmm. it's like this four million dollar nice ass house, and uh, he's bragging about oh I just got the lawn put in. When'd you have your lawn put in? He's like, no drywall, skimboard. He like knocks on it, the good stuff, and it's like <laughs> what you got in your house? That drywall? It's like really just shitting on Tony's million dollar mansion with his yes. four million dollar mansion, and uh, <laughs> I don't know what skimboard is, but. But Richie April says yeah. it's much better than drywall. Richie, I, dude, I saw wall. so I many wood, isn't it? Uh, there were so I, many good memes of Richie April after the New York or New Jersey earthquake. Just all the like, uh, did you hear that earthquake? Yeah, I heard Ginny Sack was getting out of her car and she fell. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, just a bunch of Ginny Sack being fat jokes. That was wonder, that gave me a nice little laugh was. throughout the week. I, I'm googling skimboard and it's just. Link after link of things that like uh, shallow water surfers use that, mm. that kind of skimboard. You, you uh, know, with that Italian accent, like it, skill. It, I'm gonna try to skimboard interior walls. Yeah, I don't know. A perfect skim coat. Okay, I think they're like maybe they've got wood and they're like smearing some shit on it. Oh, it's like the old wall. wave plaster type stuff. I don't think that's better. I had that as a kid in one of our floors and sucked. Oh, is that mm. like that stuff you sometimes see in movies when they like you know some kind of hero throws some dickhead through a wall and then it's like there's really thin slats of the matrix walls. Like, yeah, the matrix walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where well, you've yeah, got that crawl space in between like them with, that you can yeah. like slide down. That <laughs> seems like it's just the same shit with extra steps. It does. Uh, that's, that sounds like a lot of effort, but more expensive, according to Richie April. Yeah, <laughs> but you don't. Know? It doesn't go up in big like four by eight almost like sheets of plywood but they're drywall instead you put the the lathe on i think it's lathing or lathing something whatever that shit is between the joists and then you smear it on like spackle mm. and that's how that, yeah yeah it sounds is like it, a lot of effort is it a that's wooden board shit. that's going between the studs mm-hmm. what is the it's, wall made of could you punch through this like you could drywall or like a, yeah, a like if you use, it'd be very similar to drywall. Like if you were to ram it with your yeah. shoulder and not hit an upright, then you could you, you could oh, make a hole. Yeah. Okay. But uh, I I think it just was before drywall was invented. Drywall completely replaced it. it it's better and it's easier to install. Yeah. Well, drywall probably... like drywall is probably just the same shit except it's preset. Yeah. yeah. Oh, probably. Oh, I yeah. can hear your dog. Shut that oh. fucking dog up. Kill Shut, up, <laughs> Shut up, dog. <laughs> Shut up, dog. Reminds me of that Sonny where he throws the water in Charlie's mm-hmm. and Frank's face in the dog cage. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's that's a celebrity death that I'm not looking forward to. That's got to be coming before too long. It's Danny DeVito Ooh. because oh, he's yes. like 80 oh, years old, but we hit, he's like four foot ten. Small people live longer. It's that's a not a joke. Disorder. That's like a real. Oh, well, then. He's not just a little yeah. guy. Are you sure? Actually, say it again. He has a disorder. He has a genetic disorder. Danny DeVito. Surely he does. He's too short. You, he's you don't. Too, you don't end up that sure. short. I, I see your sneaky fingers looking for the looking for the answers on the internet. Nothing. Nothing. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking. I, I I contact with you right now. I'm in a conversation. Yeah. yeah. He absolutely has a genetic <laughs> disorder that causes him to be and look like that. He is a very oddly proportioned man on top of being small. He's the penguin. Dude. He was does have a gigantic dude. fucking me, head. He's always someone that penguin. short. That's true. Okay, maybe. All right. Well, if he had like legit dwarfism or midgetry, whatever it's called, it's like none of the. You, it's something else. It's you know, some sort of syndrome you, or some shit. They tend to die earlier, but like regular small people have like a little bit of longevity in them, and so you who think knows? It's less maybe taxing on their heart, you know, over over 100%. time. Hundred percent. Yeah. Like, mm. like maybe your heart pumps as many reps. But those reps are easier, you know, if you if you got a small, compact body. Exactly. Yeah. If you're like seven foot four, you got no shot at hitting Holy 80. Shit. Like there's no, you're not gonna make it. Uh, but if you're like five foot one, just like a little Japanese guy. The juice was a bang. big guy. He made it into to 76 today. Rest That's in peace. True. Oh OJ, uh Arenthal, Arenthal James uh Simpson. Yeah, he one of the wait, great o- OJ died. OJ yeah, died. Yeah, OJ died today, yesterday. Really? Something like that, real recent. Fuck, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah good riddance. Yeah. People yeah. have been he lying about him for years. He oh, fucking did it. He fucking 100% did it. He 1,000% <laughs> murdered them. Yeah. I was watching reaction videos today, and it... Uh, reaction videos to his trial verdict, 
And it bothered me to see people excited that he got off from murder. Which people were excited? It broke down on racial lines. Exactly on <laughs> racial lines. It yeah. Was <laughs> so what it was was it was it wasn't too long after the Rodney King beating where all those police were like let yeah. off free. And mm -hmm. I, I guess black America like, kind of felt shit. like yeah, yeah, like this was their you know chance to get even. I guess it's a black so, and like, white thing. This has been a man's rights thing the whole time. She had that fucking waiter in his mansion sucking his dick, and OJ's out there in the bushes. <laughs> That wishing he could run for some more yards, but he's retired. His fucking knees are blown out. And this bitch, this bitch on his $18,000 couch sucking that fucking waiter's dick. You know what, motherfucker? And mm -hmm. that was it. That was it. You know, this is a men's rights issue. And he killed a <laughs> Jewish guy. Anti-Semitism much? I wasn't going to mention that. Yeah. It, well, I think it's it still reminds me, it still reminds me <laughs> thinking been, like how the Kardashians got famous. <laughs> like it, if you, that's how the the Kardashians got famous. It's like so yeah. anyway, there was this massive uh, black dude and he killed his wife. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. and it's that so was, that was their glimmer of fame, but yeah, but butterfly like, effect. like moving forward from there, they were just well yeah. connected with so many influential yeah. families. But what it was, Kim Kardashian's original like first thing was she was Paris Hilton's closet organizer. Yeah and, yeah, and that was enough of a job that she got notoriety. Like, like she's tagging yeah. along with Paris Hilton being her like slave well, friend. I didn't know yeah. that. And yeah. uh, and then she sucked Ray J's dick, and we all watched, and we decided we want to see more of this lady. And so <laughs> she is now a billionaire. Yeah. And I think all of her relatives are also billionaires now. Yes. And uh, they they have one of the longest running TV shows in American history. And and the patriarch of the family became one of the most powerful women. Uh, in, in the country, Caitlyn Jenner, yeah. who all, who who echoes Woody's sentiment. I saw her tweet out today. Good riddance, OJ. <laughs> That's a brilliant woman. Uh, yeah. I yeah. Would, I, I would like to see. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I would, I would, no, no, no. You like said, yeah, we're sticking with sex tapes. <laughs> I would like to see more sex tapes from them. I feel like they, they should no go more. back to their roots. <laughs> you know? I'll get the camera. Yeah. No more sex tapes from the Kardashians. Uh, nothing, can, nothing can make no, me want to watch. No, the Kardashians are old fucking hat. I'm all about Bianca now. It's all Bianca all day. All right. I'm I'm on Bianca I'm fucking. Oh, watch. Kanye's. Bianca's girl. Kanye's she wife. Actor? Oh, okay. oh she's yeah, Kanye yeah. West fucking. Like sex slave yeah. wife, she's so fucking hot with them gigantic triple H titties, and <laughs> I, like I bet they're, she's always they're, wearing they're double H's or something. They're like they're double H's yeah. or something. They're absurd. Have you ever yeah. heard her voice? No, another D plus, D another <laughs> plus. <laughs> this is the perfect woman. Kanye's a genius. But I mean, he's fucking her. No, dude, I don't like, know what languages what if, she could speak. What if she only speaks Italian and he has no knowledge of Italian? And he's just letting her bella, doesn't, bella. doesn't change. Bella, bella. <laughs> just the, uh, that's all he's like, got. He's got two words. He's like fucking Tony going over there to Italy, realizing, oh, I'm not nearly as Italian as I thought I was. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and he doesn't want you what? don't want to be it, it, on top of that. Um, what, what would a sex so type involve uh, with her? I'm, I'm She's already guys, naked all the time. I'm, I'm going to WhatsApp mm, you guys sex. like some of my favorite like recent photos of her because I, I, I literally am on Bianca Watch. I'm a big fan of the subreddit. It's oh, this is wild. Subreddit. Oh, yeah. Bianca <laughs> NSFW. So a lot of people say that this is a, 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 a pad that she's wearing like a maxi pad here. But I think mm. she's got a butt plug in while Kanye's buying a Ferrari. Because he also had her like sitting on his lap and like he like the whole time. And um, and so look, that's a that's crazy big maxi pad if that's a maxi pad, but it looks like a butt plug to me. It looks I don't like think they go plug. way up your butt like that. I, I actually was thinking, could What's it be a picture? love sense or something? Uh, did, did you, did you no, love this? sense is this little teardrop shaped thing that goes into the vagina like an egg and it has a very small antenna that comes out that's big. It has there's a sizable tail that comes out. I have every model they make. I have the Lush, the Hush. I have the 2.0. I promise you, there, there's a little pink tail that comes I out. I spend nine it hours is. a day on Chatterbait, and I will not. <laughs> when, when you when you see Kyle's and on work top of that, the show, it's because I'm turning it up. That's not a name brand remote. <laughs> <posting you're going laughs> right up. Um, on top of that, um, so here she is. Um, and it's funny going through the comments because the comments are, let's just say they would have a particular view on the OJ situation back in 94. The comments are all so stupid that they didn't know what these shorts were. These are, these are pegging shorts that Can she's you link wearing. it? I don't know where to find any of them. Oh, he's posting about. this on WhatsApp. Yeah, on WhatsApp. What? We, oh. we should link it. We can't show it. We can't show it. 
Oh, you don't no, but for sh- but for slush, no. maybe you're right. Yeah, link, link it in link the it uh, link it in the chat thing, so I'm gonna have a look. Uh, well, anyway, she's wearing what look like women's boy shorts, but in the front, keen it. observers will know that they're like that sort of front pocket. It almost looks like a boy's underwear has a circle in it, and that is where the dick goes through, and it has a base that stops it from falling out. And then the other night, she wore this like fucking latex <laughs> condom. And you can see her <laughs> pussy through there. So that's almost the exact same thing. Light that takes condo. Yeah, she's wearing just oh. a condom. It, it's, I mean, it's, it's a giant, it's a latex it, gown that is completely see-through, just like in Matrix when you go <laughs> um, into that restaurant and Monica Bellucci's wearing the same thing. Uh, and you can see Monica uh, Bellucci's push in, uh, in that one scene. Yeah, yeah, she's wearing, yeah, 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 yeah. Except Monica Belushi's was classy because you just saw a shadow of Bush, and yeah. I see like Bianca's like labia. Did you just have all of these saved on your phone? Yeah, yeah, these were saved on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a lot of, lot oh, of pictures. Of this. I had to scroll funny. through a lot more filth just to get to those. I promise you. Yeah, I like how how Kanye dresses like one of the fucking wet bandits, and his uh, his wife is just always borderline <laughs> naked. Yes, like he is dressed up it. in like <clears throat> everything but a balaclava, and she's nude. Yes, and sometimes yeah. a balaclava. And sometimes a balaclava. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes some, he goes full burglar. What's yeah, the Reddit code for it? This uh, is this it's Bianca. Like Bianca NSFW, I think. I'll, I'll get the exact one um, in just a sec. Let's see, Bianca. Yeah, it's Bianca Sensori NSFW. Uh, Bianca is spelled like you would think, but Sensori is C E N S O R. He got it. I, I, for those listening, NSFW. Um, it's you know top all. You, you get some, you get some fun there. But you also want to use hot as well because you never know if she's done something cool tonight. Hey, you yeah. never know. Yeah. This is oh, just, yeah, she this is, is, is she, wild she, way to parade your wife. That, that that is not even uh, that's not even a condom. That just looks like a plastic bag. Oh, that's a different one. If she, I, I know what you're talking about, it looks like a cheap raincoat that a restaurant yeah. would give you in an emergency. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's like that. I just bet it's clear expensive plastic. as shit. No, it says like Sizzler on the side. Like it's Sizzler. It's <laughs> it's, a, it's it's actually one of those uh, uh, tabletop shoot. tablecloths that you that you that you get to at a, at a cheap catering event. Oh, just wear it like a, they punch the hole in it. She's, She's just making like cream of wheat naked <laughs> for all <laughs> intents and purposes on this. Man, she um she wears some wild shit, bro. Yeah, she does. Oh, I want to. I want to. Let's get another Kanye interview. I bet a lot of exciting stuff's been going uh, on in his life, and I bet even more opinions have fomented and developed. And I want to know what's up. Yeah, I, I, mean, I would my, like to say Kanye. he's feeling vindicated, right? Like I, I bet in his mind he's like, they're starting to see my side of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say who's bombing Gaza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That would be funny if he mentioned that, and it, like, like that would be make such funny rap lyrics. It's like they didn't care <laughs> until Gaza got bombed. Yeah. Well, I thought uh, like one of the more recent ones was like he was, he was claiming that like he was a real like the real Jew, right? The real Israel, oh, like, something like that. No, no yeah. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe about I'm any speaking of that. lies I, on Kanye uh, right now. Yeah, and I'm don't do that. Don't to speak a lies on Kanye. Uh, I'm misremembering yeah. a different uh, is- black Israelite that I saw online. The yeah, black Israelite. <laughs> Those, that, that's a funny group. That's that's like to be to be group. so wrong about so much, like to, <laughs> like to, to say Taylor. Who's to say that one person's viewpoint is wrong? You know, he just right. did. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Taylor. How you know? They they're ballsy. All the videos I see of them online is like screaming at passersby, largely in New York, which is like lot of jews in new york so they're Mm -hmm. you know they're fishing in the right pond if they're going for that (laughs) and just claiming that like i am the real jew and some jewish guy will be like no you're not i am jewish and he'll be like prove it show me your (laughs) african judaism certificate or like whatever fucking nonsense they make up on the spot (laughs) yeah that would be so fun just go out there make shit up and know that no one can push back that hard because you're standing there with like bats like, 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 like every group does that though i i saw nazis today on a street corner saying awful things that i can't even re- in atlanta were, no on the internet oh you went like outside a, <laughs> they, had, uh, they had pamphlets like throwing them into a jewish man's car 
and and calling him like Jewish slurs, like throwing these like anti Jew pamphlets in his car, and he's screaming back at him, like throwing them out of his car. And oh, then okay. I guess they found some black people who were stopped at the red light, and they started calling them defective farming equipment. That's not nice. Wait, they is took that, that a euphemism, or is that? For like the N word, or are you saying that's what they actually? They literally said that you're defective farming equipment, and that you can't <laughs> operate in our society. Nah. And and they oh got out of their God. car and tried to fight. And he's like, "See, I told you, you're proving it right now." <laughs> and, that is and, and that is not a very uh, they fell into install. his trap. They fell into his <laughs> yeah. trap. I no, love people like that. They're like, uh, I was a fuckhead to someone for hours, and then they beat the shit out of me. I win. <laughs> And because I got exactly what I wanted, it's like <laughs> shut up, cunt! <laughs> you got your ass kicked, and you deserved it. He's a do you think? Do you think there are any yeah. Nazis with like full luscious heads of hair that shave it, or that like going bald oh. is part of that process? It no, has to be. no, they they shave it. If if you're one of the like uh, I feel having like no the... bitches is part of that movement, surely. <laughs> No, <laughs> most political There's extremism seems to stem movement. from that. Yeah, There's bitches bitches for every movement. every movement. Like you see those uh, in, like, like like those on the backs of motorcycles with some disgusting dude, and she's like, "Oh, but hey, look, catching hey, look at- <laughs> See, I, I, I dispute that though, it stands because, for like, super sport SS super sport yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, the, all these like super manly organizations that they say like so they're like these biker gangs and shit like that they're always like oh yeah they're the toughest men and stuff and then you'll be like oh yeah what's your uh, what's your initiation ritual and they're like oh yeah we um we we fuck each we fuck each other or we fuck in front of each other or something and it's always the gayest shit possible. And it's mm. like, hang on, so you guys are the manliest men, and then you're like, oh yeah, we're gonna touch each other's dicks as initiation. It's always the same. It's the same yeah, with make like, it sound like racing to jerk off on a pizza. Slowest it, one eats it is it, gay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, oh, I am kind of saying that, but it's always, the, it's, always <laughs> it's always the uh, these organizations that per, that pretend to be like super manly and then they just have these super gay initiation rights and they're like, and then they, and then no women hang out there as well. And it's like, oh, Did you yes, hear about yes, the yes, British yeah, army, quite manly, right? <laughs> no, I what's saw, the British uh, army doing? So I didn't know uh, they saw an army. Oh, big one. Well, not really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> They got these twelve guys they send down to Africa every now and then, I guess. Yeah. So the, yeah. they've only got a small island. They don't need that many. The it's initiation true. for uh, this unit in Africa was apparently you flipped a coin and heads. Uh, you could wear a condom when you fucked the whore, the prostitute, <laughs> and tails you get no condom. And of course, this is one of those awful African countries. One of the very one of those unique ones that is, that things aren't going so well. Yeah, in. not one of the uh, great uh, ones. Yeah, yeah, not one of the, not one of those. Not, not one. Not that's Wakanda. Like- <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, no. Not one of the fictional kinda. ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so wait, they Matt, man, that's I, a I terrible the, initiation. I, I saw the yeah. funniest meme the other day. It was like uh talking about how uh the the, the greatest super the greatest superhero in a, in uh in African American culture is just a culture that actually operates like a, a country that's not a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> No, they were That's super advanced, though. They terrible. had cars and shit. <laughs> they had that it special a, metal. Uh, I admit, I never watched yeah. the movie. I moved my brain. Awful. It was yeah. awful. My brain. It was a shit I, movie. It, it's stupid. like, so wait, was you, not a, oh, wait, which movie so wait, you guys about? were like the most advanced culture on the planet, yeah. like always, and you let your neighbors sell your other neighbors to the colonizers? Yeah. So I guess you eventually went out and punished those evil guys who were selling all the. All, all of your your brothers and sisters. No, no, you're just mad at Bilbo, who has flown here from New York to save the world. You're gonna call him a colonizer because he tried to show you respect. And then, bar- and, <laughs> oh look, here come the other tribe to bark like gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> that was such it was a weird. Your movie. Everybody jerked off on that movie. Like, like, come on, come on. That was it a sounds terrible dumb. Movie. It and then and, and, and don't first of all don't call him Bilbo. He's oh, I loved when they all rode rhinos at the end, but yes, I hated it. It was terrible. It's a bot. It's the C tier of Marvel movies. I like when they rode rhinos oh, at the end. There's a there's a there's a love below it, like uh, like for like maybe Ant Man and the Wasp or something. One of those really yeah. shitty ones. Um, but like it's in the C tier. There are A tier fucking like like Avengers, um, Endgame, um, and the sure. Infinity War, like like um, mm-hmm. two movies. Those are good movies and in the scope of all movies and the first half of endgame i forget the name of it but i put it with it the one where thanos wins 
Yeah. It's, it's, when it's Thanos the Wasp, wins, uh, Ant Man's sidekick. Yeah. How did that happen? A wasp is much more powerful. Um, well, I, I don't. Gonna, I'm not going to take time to explain Ant Man's powers to you, but Ant Man oh. can shrink up real small and then like fly like a bullet. He he, he can get real really small, big. But he but, one punched a Leviathan. You were all impressed when the Hulk did it. You overlooked Ant Man doing I it. I was impressed with neither did it. What does the wasp do? She just has like a flying suit. Oh, she it makes sense now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is a his, his, oh, his, his, it's a girl. That's why she's the subservient man. superhero. She's I'm back in. I'm back why in. Are even, <laughs> why are we even writing Marvel movies? They all fucking suck. Like, oh, they they they've, they've, been, suck. they've been driving true. that shit into the ground. I, I, well, that's true. Shit. I well, that's true. But, but that's taking a while to get there. Things. I think that Black Panther was a C tier movie, but that makes it like C tier Marvel is to me an average or maybe even slightly above average general movie. I gave it like a six out of ten, five out of ten, something like that. I watch superhero yeah. movies. Like, like movies are different things for me. It's not just a movie. Like, not just a movie. If I'm watching a Marvel movie, I'm going in the same way I would go into watching a cartoon of the yeah. X Men. I, I have certain fair. expectations, and I don't necessarily. I, I will expect some allegories and some bigger thoughts to to be there under. And there's some a bit of subtext maybe, but I also expect a bunch of CGI at the end and a big punch them out cool fight. Yeah. Um, where where the the at, in the end game stuff the, what separates that is you've got Thanos finally a villain that has a sympathetic cause <laughs> you're like he's but Thanos, annihilating half of the population for yeah for <laughs> for a reason he wants he, he, he's he's yeah. trying to st- um, save the the universe by by getting rid of half of them in the in the movie at least in the comics he had a sillier more selfish reason but yeah, he, he, yeah like Kyle said he feels like cutting the universe's population in half would make every make the re- remainder happy which it, which, yeah, ha- which half the attack in a white car random it's well i would do it like thanos <laughs> did and i would make it random like random yeah. i don't need to take yeah. half only a very specific percentage <laughs> if, if you're gonna but if he, wait, so he he really did it randomly the women yes <laughs> the, the, the women, the women. <laughs> pull over. the fuck out all right uh, one generation gay, you know is, gonna, gay is gonna go back to being happy i promise you once all the ladies are gone <laughs> yeah <laughs> fucking take me to then I, I yeah. Dude, if, thanos was gonna, if thanos was trying to do it man he, he just why did he, why would he do it solely randomly he couldn't be like all right rapists you're in the you're in the you're in the next half thanos does yeah, yeah. for a lot Taylor. of administrative he, work who was like, thanos to stand in judgment worthy. of any one man he's looking out for the the, the universe mm-hmm. as a whole and trying to solve this mm-hmm. overpopulation problem this this hunger problem this poverty problem um thanos just had... double the food idiot i know <laughs> you, I, you know what taylor you know what taylor he should double the food and then the Eng- the eagles should don't even fucking rain. say it oh no oh you don't like that one you don't like that one well how about this one you goober maybe gandalf should take that those tongs he used to pull the ring out of the fire and just never let go and walk hop on an eagle himself and fly the <laughs> ring to the volcano. Then he can drop it in. Don't worry. It's very cool to the such. <laughs> Dude, that's not work. There are time release tongs. Eventually, uh, <laughs> Ring would have overpowered the tongs themselves. <laughs> uh, well, wait a minute. Shit. Sam was able to carry Frodo, who wore the ring, right? Why didn't yeah. he just put the ring on a necklace, yeah. put it around a chicken, and carry the chicken all the way? Sam to started getting <laughs> perverted by the ring just in a short amount of time, though. It showed. Frodo. What if the yeah. chicken so, becomes evil? The chicken so gets. What? Uh, <laughs> then the chicken becomes it. invisible. Man, I'm afraid of birds. Fuck that. I don't want to make <laughs> yeah, chicken. Yeah. I, I mean, I did think about that, like even watching Lord of the Rings as a kid when I'm when I was like like 10, 11 watching that beginning scene where it's like, and it was lost to legend or whatever, and it was just sitting in the bottom of a riverbed. I was like, all right, so this guy's not totally omniscient or anything. So it's like a movie where they're like, you can run, but you can't hide. Like you can hide in this circumstance. They no, could have no. like they could have put that in a really deep have, uh, well, and nobody he he probably didn't would have, have like it. specific power at that time. Is yeah. his power like increases? That's, That's like, true. like if you if you watch the Hobbit, like they they shoehorn shoehorned all that extra story into it, but he comes back at that uh that Dogledor, like he uh he regains mm. his power and that he can yeah. see where it I, is. I will so. not watch the Hobbit movies again. That and they're um, pretty shit. That scene, the all I remember of it is a terrible memory of them bobbing around in that water in the oh, oh, that's I, you're gonna call out. Yeah, and when and when, uh, when Legolas is like running across the stones with that inserted character, 
that yeah. that lady elf, and it's like a love hey, interest insert. Yeah. Isn't Legolas yeah. an inserted character himself? N well, into this story yeah. he is, but yeah. not into the Tolkien universe. Oh, okay. Yeah, the whole storyline yeah. inserted. And they yeah. CGI'd him to look younger, and they somehow made him look older. Just makes no yeah. fucking sense. And, and then the also, Legend like that that grown ass that man. river he town. Can't be that elf boy anymore. Like this yeah. is more critiquing the story itself, but like that oh, river God. town <laughs> was like all we can do to fuck it up is shoot these ballistas at it. Better yeah. make one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude, yeah. if I were in charge, they'd be like, what are we going to do, Master Tyler? Shall we get to crops? I'd be like, no, until we have a ballista in every house, <laughs> we don't do anything. Yeah. A ballista in then, every, in every, under every hearth. <laughs> like, that's yeah. Yeah. And then everyone, everyone starves see, like, to death making ballistas. Everybody's starving to death making ballistas. Yeah. And then the next generation. Blot like, out the sun also, with black oh, arrows. Also, yeah confuses me is that they have this like shitty town where everyone's fucking poor and they're all just floating on this river yet there's like fuck loads of usable land that they could just move to and make their lives fucking way better it's yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah. all right if we're gonna talk about awful movies like i guys i watched dune 2 last night has anybody seen dune 2 yeah i watched it the other night as well yeah oh. all right so i i i i've read the first book I love the first movie for it to be the, the yeah. corny Hollywood failure that it was. I, I do enjoy watching it for, for what it is. Oh, the original. I, yeah, the original. The, yeah. The, the, I, the, was it David, then, David Lynch that directed that? It was, but if yeah. you ask him, he won't tell, he'll yeah. lie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he literally disowned the project. Yeah. So, so and then we get this Almost new ruined dude. his career. <laughs> yes. We get this new dude yeah. with um, Chalamet, uh, who is a great actor. Who's, who's I like him a lot. I love him. He was amazing. Yeah, have you, have you seen The King? Oh, The King is so fucking good. I love when Robert The King. Pa the King oh, is this, the, the yeah. King in the the King in part is about the English king and the, that went to yeah. uh, fight at the Battle of Agincourt against the uh, the the French king's son, who was played by Robert Pattinson. And there's this wonderful scene where the uh, English king comes to Robert Pattinson, who is you know just a, he is Robert Pattinson, but French yeah. now, which is like. Uh -huh. You hate him as soon as you see him. He's sitting there. Oh, he, oh. But he's he's such a good actor like, as well, though. English, yeah. I like English, dude. French, do yeah. you know more? And simple, yeah. like like he opens with yeah. that. How good's the bit where he's like, "You have a tiny little cock." <laughs> he's like, "You tiny it's tiny little good. cock." It's so fucking it's funny. <laughs> Man, and that I, that movie is fucking excellent. I've watched that like three times already. I yeah, I so just you know, I like the new both dude. just saw Dune two. I yeah. liked uh, I liked the first Dune um, mm -hmm. that, that came out a couple of years ago. Uh, I liked it a lot, and I felt like it, w it it was a long movie where not a lot happened, but they took their time and you got some character development and you kind of melted into this world and got to understand it a bit. The mm. second one was awful. Like for mm. it's beautiful, yeah. the soundtrack's amazing. I love all the actors; they're doing great jobs. I like yeah. the 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 all this, the CGI is even better in this one somehow. The, the story is very interesting, and then they it felt like they took an hour of the movie out at random. There's a point in this movie, this isn't a spoiler, there's a point in this movie where Paul Atreides, the one, is trying to like join the, the desert people. He's trying to become yeah. one of the Fremen, and, the, and they're, he's going through these initiations, and the guy's like, this is the first initiation. You must walk out there, and he points far into the distance to the farthest dune, and then return. Beware of the sand dunes and the jinn, the desert spirits that will talk to you and try to trick you. Beware of this and that. And always do the secret fucking dancey step so the worms don't kill you. Are you ready? And, he, and this guy's like, wants him to survive so bad because this might be the Messiah and he's a true believer. Great scene. Then he starts walking and Zendaya shows up and then he never goes on the journey. And, and I, what I mean yeah. is they don't decide not to go on the journey. They just have a hard cut and the journey apparently happened, and we're weeks later in the future, and Zendaya yeah. showed him how to use a water filter for like eight yeah. seconds, and then snap again. Now he's doing a yeah. whole different thing, and you're like, what is happening? It is weird. It, I, found the, I found the pacing in it to be fucked. Like, the, the first movie has, like, has good pacing. It's slow all throughout, <laughs> but it's like a master class in cinematography. And then this one, it's, like, slow as fuck. Cinemat in CGI. And then, and then it just has weird fucking weird fucking cuts. No, and shot and, composition, and, and cinematography. Yeah, the, yeah, and, and, so and, and, yeah shot it's, composition. It's, it's I shot hate it. It was just like, I'm not here to watch fucking Zillow ads for an imaginary universe where I just look at room after room after. Oh, look at this magnificent room. It has a balcony and a pool. That That's yeah. what Dune 1 was to me.
I like I, I like that one. I, I like. Uh, I, 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 I'll, I'll I'll thought every good. shot in that was fan, looked fantastic. But you are <laughs> right. Like the story was like the story was kind of disjointed, but and they didn't show Nothing as happened. much as much shit as they possibly could have. Like there wasn't very much explanation or anything. Most of it was just like there's hey, no world look, building. Look at this dope room. You know what <laughs> you I know? noticed? You know what I noticed? Yeah. Like. I would like to see them just sit. I like the part in movies where we're okay. The big thing just happened. Now we're going to go have a meal and have a quiet conversation and like have a big, yeah, like a bit of exposition, moment. you know, some exposition. And what I'd also like to see, like, like I'd like to see what this guy's bedroom looks like. I'd like to see how they're surviving in those caves and how, where their yeah. food's coming from. What I did love. That was so fucking cool. They go to the Harkonnen planet, the bad, bad guys, and they're the pale people. And I guess they're, yeah, see, that, that bit was sick. Their sun is yeah. black, and it's like the color spectrum on their world is such that I guess everything is in black and white. Like their world is in black and white, yeah. and it was re- their fireworks were this weird, like inky explosion in the air. And and this at this point they they've waited until now to introduce Sting's character, who is like the yeah. big bad that that our guy is going to have to fight at the end. And it's like, what are you doing? Why are we only now meeting this guy? This guy gets like two scenes and then he fights the our, the good guy at the end. He wasn't built he's, up at all. He wasn't scene in the is first sick. movie. He's seen, his scene is sick. Uh but he, yeah, they they cucked that character. Like he was he was fucking awesome. Like they I, I was so the way, disappointed. Yeah. I, I'm wondering if there's an extended version someday that's first of yeah. all, it's a very long movie already. I it was three yeah. hours or more or something. It, it was very long, but it felt Honestly, like an hour of that movie was missing. It felt yeah. like the TV version of movies sometimes um, growing up. I don't know if people even are familiar with what I'm talking about, but the TV version would be edited for time. So they, they yeah, would yeah. take a two hour and 20 minute movie and make it exactly yeah. whatever. Braveheart's like 50 minutes. Always, oh, 91 on minutes. And you're like, yeah. whoa, what happened? How do we... Yeah. Yeah. We didn't talk after the big fight. We're just at a new fight now. That's what it yeah. felt like. If there you watch like the Patriot on TV, it went straight from his son dying to like meeting about what they needed to do next. And it's like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Like all the <laughs> all the fighting in the woods. <laughs> like in the, you got rid of it. Yeah, I, I was black. so disappointed because I had such very high hopes for it. Um, yeah, y- y'all, y'all should check <laughs> it out if like, you like it. I, I know Hutch like jerked off over it. I was so excited. And heaps of people were telling me how fucking amazing it was. And then I watched it and I was like, it's, this is mid, like. Very disappointing. Yeah. Very disappointing. I I wonder if Mm. there'll be a five hour version at some point that like tells the story. It, the problem is it's a big story. The kind of story that I hate to say this is better told in many, many series. Yeah. Limited many, Mm -hmm. like, like a, it's, it's a Chernobyl sized story. Shogun. yeah, it's a Shogun size story, and mm. and I, yeah, I, I I watched the whole Fallout show. I'm on the last episode. It came out last night. I did uh, the what? whole fucking thing today. It's uh, like seven hours of that shit. It's at least dumb it question. Is, is it like the video game? Is that Fallout? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, so it it takes place like 15 years after Fallout Four. So you're in kind of uncharted territory as far as the timeline goes, but. They they're in um, California. They're in L.A. They they mention things from prior games. And my God, it might be the best video game adaptation of all time as far as accuracy. Like like um, oh, everyone really? really likes uh, what's the zombie one with the little girl and Pedro Pascal? The Last, Last of Us. Us? Last yeah. of Us yeah. is one of the best as far as acting and production value and just really making me feel something. I, that that mm-hmm. that gay episode I'd love. A lot so of wasted much. time there. Uh, I sure. love the, the second gay episode when they're uh, we don't have to relitigate. I didn't like the second gay episode, but I did like the first gay episode. Now back to Fallout. It's so accurate. I, I enjoyed my first time as well, to be honest. Oh my god, it's so accurate. <laughs> yeah. But I was sore the second time around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. They made uh if you remember they made Halo uh, a couple years ago and I think it might be doing well viewer wise, but I, it, it's awful. Ah, it's a real it's departure weird. from the canon of the games. And I don't just yeah. mean that they made a character the wrong color. I don't mean that they're on a different planet. I don't mean that they combine two characters into one. I mean, they go off the fucking rails and Master Chief showing his ass and his face. Master Chief's getting yeah. laid. Like, get the fuck out of here. That's not Halo. Fallout wise, this is Fallout. This is unflinchingly Fallout. This is gore, murder, rape, slavery. I can't like, tell how much you like it. I you love really, it so much. It, you watched I seven it so hours much. of it. I watched seven hours of it? it today. Well, he's um, also a huge Fallout fan. I might watch Amazon. a lot. That's it. true. Yeah. Amazon. Oh, All yeah. eight episodes dropped yesterday uh, or last night uh, on Amazon. Mm. It's got Walton Goggins, 
uh, playing a ghoul um, cowboy. Um, it's uh, it's got this cute girl with really big eyes. Her name's like Pernell or or something like that. She's very pretty. Uh, she plays like our, the main character who's sort of there's there's like three main characters and they're uh, all Ella, sort of bumbling Ella around yeah. trying to yeah yeah yeah. It's yeah. very good. Uh, the weapons even are perfect. Like if you've played Fallout, you're gonna be like oh the whole way through that Leonardo. You're gonna be that Leonardo DiCaprio meme the whole way through. Uh, as you watch, it was whistle, hear, like, yeah. references. <laughs> is, the, uh, is it like stop frame fighting in in the TV show? <laughs> Nats. Or is it, is it <laughs> Nats? Nats, Mats, Mats, Mats. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. I, I don't no. play the game, yeah. if you can't tell. No, no. There, yeah. there's no first there's, person shooter for lobster accountants, that is. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. there's no uh there's no vats. Um it's it's telling a story. Um, you know, it's um lots of characters and uh it's very Super good. good. I, I like it a lot. Um I, I how I think much I would of your like enjoyment it. of it. Do you think is because you're like a, an enormous mm. Fallout fan? Um, I think I would like it even if I was new to Fallout. If anything, I think this would be making me want to check out Fallout now. Um, it's it's interesting. They it's a fine line when you're at when you're um, adapting a, a video game like Fallout, for example. When you get hurt, you could be really badly hurt, but enough stim packs or the right med fix you right up. Yeah, and they do that. So like you'll think someone's dead and you'll be like, ah, I've got a stim pack though. <laughs> and it's like, oh, thank God he had one. They seem to be very rare, but we'll come up with one if we need to. And uh, <laughs> like like characters will get just terribly maimed. Just terribly maimed. Lots of gore. All the weapons are even right. Like the 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 vaults and the vault tech stuff, the the you know, the the vault boy. Um and uh I I love it so fucking much. It, it the sound effects are exactly right. Um, and it's an interesting story. Uh, it's, it's post-apocalyptic. If you like post-apocalyptic stuff with um, like dark fucking humor and dark twists, you'd you'd like this as well. Without that's funny. Like is. I saw I saw someone uh, nitpicking on it. Like I, I know that you're know, like saying how close it is to like the game. It's it's mm. hilarious that some people like have that. There's like the level of how close they want it to be. And there was this dude on on Twitter nitpicking that like they had uh, one of the power armor suits. And then the dude like jetpacked over, and he's like, he he doesn't even have a jetpack attachment on his on his power armor. Mm-hmm. And this yep. guy, the show is so gay. Yeah, it's gay. It's yeah. Just- <laughs> yeah, so those guys are assholes. It, it, yeah. it, and I know exactly what you're talking about. The jetpack's yeah. whole other thing. You hop throw on your back, but yeah, like yeah. he had like jetpack arm things that that let yeah. him fly for just a minute. He flew for just, and it was a comical thing. Like he didn't know how to fucking use them, so he like loses control and falls and it's funny yeah. and that that's absurd to be mad about that'd be like being mad because in the lore actually vault 31 is the vault with the lobster people it has nothing to do with the story you exactly yeah yeah get over it get over that yeah. like it's the right world was they there may anything have... in there that you as a fan were like oh they did a bad job with this i wanted to see this portrayed a different way no no everything's exactly right like the guns are exactly right like they made the guns and there are so many different guns because it's a video game you know there's different classes of guns the way that um when when people get shot the way their bodies react like like when you people get shot in the head and fall out their, their heads explode into all this gore so heads are exploding into gore everyone's very awful even the food you know there's lots of food items like blanco mac and cheese and Mm-hmm. everything's corporate everything i didn't know all the fallout games were supposed to be in the same universe i guess i probably should have i've only played the one so. very much so okay there's yeah. a there's a, just different times in the same but and and in, in, in like 10 seconds basically it's a it's alternate reality where instead of micro chips they advanced into like fusion technology and uh but they stayed with transistors so everything is that bulb um tech but you got nuclear cars but you've got like old school TV sets. You mean vacuum tubes or transistors? Vacuum tubes. That's exactly okay. what I mean. Yeah. And um, there's there was a big resource war with China, and the U.S. won it. And because of that, the Chinese nuked us, and so we nuked them. And at the center of all that is a grand conspiracy um, through what was the largest corporation in the world, a trillion dollar company called um, Vault Tech, that kind of owned a little bit of everything. And was not only responsible for the war, but also responsible for a great many atrocities, including the vault program, which is just to experiment on people. They sold them to people as like your salvation during the war. But in reality, most of the vaults, 95 percent maybe, are experiments, social experiments, science experiments, 
all sorts of weird things. Like maybe like one of them might have 400 women and one man. One of them will be completely ruled by scientists. One of them will have a computer that tells you if you don't elect uh, a leader every year and then execute him at the end of that year, you'll all die. And so they've been doing that for 200 years, not knowing that nothing happens. It was just an experiment. And the monitors are already dead. The people who are mm. monitoring the experiments are long gone in many cases. So it's really dark universe. It's fun. Interesting. Well, if I get into the Fallout universe, I'll check that show out. Oh. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, like one of the best ones out of Fallout 3 is like you end up finding the president and it's just like some fucking shit old like BBC computer that's like a piece of shit and he's just like, I'm the president. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I did. I tried to play Fallout New Vegas, but I tried it after Fallout Four, and there yeah. were, like, you know, if you're not used to an old game and yeah. you get and you learn, you gotta have the nostalgia. The, like you, not even the nostalgia, but like you jump in on a version that has a lot of quality of life changes added, as far as like user interface and all that shit, and making it smooth. Like, if I would have started on Fallout Two or whatever the fuck, like one from twelve years ago was, I probably would have enjoyed it. But going from Fallout 4 backwards, I was like, oh, this looks so much worse. And it's going to mod the fuck out of it. Yeah. New Vegas is the best story wise. Um, That's what everybody says. Four is the most stable and easily moddable. Yeah. And I find, I find uh whatever. I find New Vegas to be kind of annoying. Like uh, a lot of the way you like move in between, like when you go to the towns, you have to go in through like a certain door and then you it's have like this loaded this, or you'll go to like so you go to the town and you get there and you have to walk all the way around to the other side of the town to go in the door and it's like mm-hmm. and it's annoying as fuck but you ha- you can mod all that shit but it's like yeah. it's a like you need a hundred gig of mods to make that, that game good that's, now, I, I remember think. that specifically in New right. Vegas where mm-hmm. I was like showing up at like some town and I'm like I'm here all right there's no possible way they want me to walk around the entire fence to go in the yeah. like the uh, two miles of in-game from here. I'm clearly missing an entrance somewhere. Where's yep. the missing entrance? And it's like, I looked it up online. It's like, no, you're just supposed to kind of meander through the desert and, and survive with your cap gun until you get to the main I entrance. I tried to get into Fallout, but Kyle ruined it for me. <laughs> How so? What he doesn't so, like RPGs. At the time, I was a live streamer, <laughs> and I was like, all right, I'm going to give uh, Fallout a try. And Kyle pops in the stream, and he's like, hey, I play this game a lot. I could be your tour guide. So he does. He pops in. We're playing in the same game, but he's so high Very that high. we just get lost for like an hour or so. <laughs> the game couldn't be more. <laughs> it's just a walk around in the desert lost simulator. And I'm like, this game sucks. And I never played. So it. So he's a terrible so, god. So, well, so, he also like the way Woody played the thing, Skyrim. Like, was for anybody who's played Fallout New Vegas and just heard that, they went, but that's the game. It is <laughs> walk around. This is what no. I always say about you and RPGs. Look, look I'll admit I was high was, and I did get us lost. However, he apologized afterwards. It didn't really happen like that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I often apologize when I don't think I'm right. I I, I thought that or when I still think I'm right. Now you're just, gas, <laughs> now you're just gaslighting him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was terrible. It was a horrible uh, game made that's, worse. Uh, no, it's that's what you do. When you play RPGs, you seem to want to like speed run the main yeah. quest. And but like I'm a bit of a way winner. to play that ge- like like <laughs> the way to play that game is to get lost in the desert and like yeah. run into some uh, rad roaches and you're all yeah. jealous because I beat Skyrim somewhere. faster than you. Yeah, the way you play Skyrim pisses me off because I <laughs> you like, just, I, love, you I, I, I just this speed runs it. Go. I love RPGs. I just have to like get into the universe, and I just as listeners know, like I'm much more sucked in by the fantasy magic world of like Skyrim man. and and by the time I that. rock up. By the but time like, I rock up to the final boss in Skyrim, man, I'm fucking one hitting that guy with my pinky finger because I've done so many side quests. <laughs> oh, that dude, Alduin or whatever, he's yeah. never even given me a second of trouble because, like, man. I'm known, I'm like the fucking prince of of Winterhold. I'm the head of the Thieves Guild. Exactly. I, actually, I'm not the head of the Thieves Guild yet because I'm not going to finish that quest because I want the skeleton key. <laughs> so I just like I want the, I'll, uh, the, the way Woody I'll, played Skyrim. I'll play Skyrim and forget went, the uh, shouts because because yeah. I don't want to do those quests. I'm like I'll, I'm not doing those quests. I do that exact <laughs> thing where like yeah. I'll get to a point in the game where it's like you have to shout yourself through some barricade and it's like fuck now I have to go do that really boring part of the game where you're like talking to wizards at the top of the mountain. I want to get to the fun yeah. bits. But the way Woody plays Skyrim is literally like he's See, never done those, uh, the. There uh, another one of those organizations with those gay, uh, gay initiation rituals. Or, 
the is there an assassin's guild the, the yeah the assassin brother the uh, the dark brotherhood you never okay. did that that's the most fun side you, like, quest of the whole game it. like I, I did something wrong and I, there might have been a bug and it was just impossible to ever try again that, that oh, just I know the, like yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking freezes. about. It's like you walk, you keep talking to the person, and they pretend they're like, "What are you still doing here, initiate? You need to go get the magus macacus." And you're like, "Here it is! And you're like, <laughs> this is it!" You like drop it at their feet, and it's like, "Well, enough wasting my time around here." And he walks away with like a MacGuffin yeah. at his feet, and it's just like, yeah. that is that was frustrating. But like mm. to to speed run Skyrim is insane like I'll a lot of the fun is the just I'll never know. J- just meandering about is so much of the fun like being the most powerful wizard in and like when you get late game you can just fuck around where it's like all right can i kill every guard in every city and of course you can or can i paralyze every single person in jarl balgriff's employ where you go in there and he's like ah here comes the helm of winterfell and then you're like, and you paralyze him, and everyone's like, you know, no, come with me peacefully. Uh, and then you hit B, and then you fuck them up. Good times. Then of course you have to load I, uh, your save. Did you, uh, did you play? St- did you play Starfield? No, I I, I had uh, friends get into that, and with incredibly high hopes, and yeah. all of them two a one. After like four hours of playing, they're like, "This sucks. Like yeah. it's not." There's I, nothing else to do. I'm just, I walk, I, it's the, not like Skyrim apparently where you're, you know, you'll walk through the wilderness in Skyrim and you'll find like a hunter in a shack and that yeah. hunter will have like his own lore and backstory and he'll send you somewhere to do something. Yeah. In Starfield, my brother and my buddies were like, yeah, you can go to a million planets and each one has nothing to do. Yeah. Yeah. I, I played that on stream and I was like, I went into it and I'm like, look, I, I have zero expectations here, guys. I'm loading up the screen mm-hmm. and I'm loading up and I'm saying that I'm like, I have zero fucking expectations. I'm the most cynical man ever because I, I don't like getting hyped. I, I, my hype my hype fucking gland was ruined by Metal Gear Solid Five and Cyberpunk coming out. All right. I was so fucking, I was so, mm-hmm. je- I, was, I was jizzing for those games to come out and then they ruined my life. Um. So I went into it with zero expectations as I do every game because I'm a cynical fuck. Mm -hmm. And I started playing it and then I was like, I'm kind of getting bored. And everyone's like, no, give it a chance. Give it a chance. So I started drinking and I was like, Mm -hmm. you know know what'll make this fun? 35 cans of beer. And so (laughs) I played it it for 20 hours straight and I just got drunker and drunker and more belligerent and by the end of like 20 hours like this 20 hour stream i was just abusing the fuck out of it and just like abuse like personally attacking todd howard <laughs> <And> just like <laughs> it was terrible and i'm like I, I i went to bed and then i woke up the next morning and i didn't really remember what happened and someone's <laughs> one of my mods is like yeah, I heard you didn't really like Starfield, bro. And I'm like, oh, apparently I did it. <laughs> apparently I, I didn't. It wiped the memory. Two games you yeah. said ruined hype for you. Yeah, uh, Metal Gear, and- Metal Gear Solid Five, and Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk got good though. They they fixed that. Metal Gear Solid Five. They mm-hmm. Konami forced uh, Hideo Kojima to push the game to release. And then they cut out like a bunch of the story and at like the whole like proper ending of it. And there's like this deleted scenes thing where they show sort of like the development of the last part of the story and it, it ties everything together and it makes sense. And it was just, and they just cut it out. And so, so yeah, yeah the two games I can think of that got good later are cyberpunk. And there's another one like sky or something. It's like a huge oh, um, planet, endless world sort of thing. You fly uh, forever. It's no on the tip of my sky. tongue. Yeah, no man's sky. Yeah, what, say it again. No man's sky. Okay, yeah. I think they just. I'm told they're both improved a ton since they yeah. got released. Yeah, that's. I, I I haven't gotten into those games. I really enjoyed Helldivers most recently. That that's a great yeah, is smash sick. them up co op. Um, mm-hmm. that that's that's a really good game. That that's what that's the only thing I've been playing recently. I need a new game. Honestly, I'm kind of done with uh, Helldivers. I've killed enough <laughs> bugs. I've, the, I've, uh, I've got one point there. This is a, this is an older game that I that I've been playing. Uh, t- uh, Crusader Kings, and it, it's on the outset. I was like, this is going to be the most nerdy shit ever. It's going to be boring as fuck. But essentially, you play as like a ruler in medieval times. I think I started in like the year seven hundred and something, and I'm I started as like a uh, some kind of like lord in. Um, 
Scotland. And the idea is that you have your, you, you, like there's fuck loads of other rulers all over the map. And it's just like this one big world where they all sort of do shit and they intermingle and, and breed and you can like sort of fuck with them and, and then go to war with them. And I was like, I, this is this is so detailed and so like nerdy. I'm never going to be able to get into this. So I just went into it completely blind, having no idea what the fuck I was doing. And it turns out it's it's fucking great. I was like, now I have this gigantic inbred kingdom in Scotland where I just keep like marrying my daughters and sons to each other. <laughs> <laughs> and my my character, my first king, ended up getting fucking um, getting what it's called lovers pox in the game, but I can only assume it's some kind of herpes that he got <laughs> yeah. off a whore. He's got he Habsburg like, syndrome at this yeah, point. He does. He's, he's, he is going full Habsburg. So I have these like inbred, like herpes infested kings that I'm just going around <laughs> and fucking like all of the queens in Europe, like fucking, fucking all their wives and giving them all herpes and inbred children. What and is this game? This is VR, it's right? Called- <laughs> this, is, this is VR. Oh, fuck. I've yeah, got a nasty case of the lover's pox. Yeah, it's called Crusader Kings. I, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 People, people have told me to check that out. Yeah, it's and it's fucking hilarious. Like uh, my first king, he drank himself to death in Ireland having a drinking competition with someone. I'm like, that's, that's perfect. Dude, that's a drinking me. competition in Ireland? Yeah. That's- yeah. It's it rough. was a bad idea. Yeah, and then he, uh, yeah, he's uh, he had two sons, and uh, I tried to disinherit one because he was a dumbass. Uh, he was my bastard, and uh, so and but at the time he died, he only had a he had a one year old baby, and uh, that 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 baby inherited the kingdom. So I was playing as a one year old baby, <laughs> and, <laughs> and then and then the fucking the older son uh, sort of took control, and. Uh, the the uh fucking some random cunt murdered him so i went back to playing as the one-year-old baby and then the one-year-old baby died <laughs> and so i ended mm-hmm. up as like is this some, a, like a turn-based uh, uh it's not kind of it's strategy not turn-based thing? it's like uh it's strategy but it's sort of like you all move at the same time kind of oh, thing it's, re- it's real-time strategy yeah. yeah uh kind of but you don't really like you don't move your armies in the same you same time same way you do as an rts so it, it's more like civs kind of shit but not turn-based Okay. Yeah, and it, it, but it's more like instead of focusing on like the combat sort of thing, it's more focused on like the the relationships between the different rulers and stuff. Like you can you can plot to murder rulers if they're pissing you off, or you can send them gifts, or like you can seduce them and and fuck them and okay. like Wait. say it's a, it's a grand strategy game. So it's kind of like yeah. the campaign version of like Warhammer games or Total yeah. War games. So like, it's like yeah. that, is it like that game that they were playing and it's always sunny in Philadelphia when Frank was dressed as a woman eating the peaches? No, that was <laughs> that I don't yes, it probably is. <laughs> it's probably yeah. Yeah. This, is, this, is a, this is a single yeah. player game, right? Yeah. Oh uh, no, you can play multiplayer as well. Uh, oh, okay. This is the this is the best part about it. You can have like sixty four people. This is why I mention it. I, I I I want you guys to get like your uh, your Patreon guys, and then everyone gets a country, and then you all just mm. your entire goal is the person who fucks the most other people's wives. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then that. we're all gonna get the lovers. Pops. Crusader kings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 fucking funny. Queen Victoria uh, got blacked. I like. Yeah. <laughs> what, that's, that's what that's what happened. I uh, in my game in my game I sold I I sold my daughter to the to the Prince of England. She ended up becoming Queen of England, and then my bastard son married her. So <laughs> they hmm. were they were cousins or or some shit. No, they're half oh, brothers. No, sorry, yeah, half brother and sister, and then they got married. So now I have these inbred. Habsburgs, and she was the Queen of England, and I was the King of Scotland, and then ended up, their children ended up being, being like the Empire of Britannia. <laughs> it's I mean, that's Br- the cost of power. That's yeah, but he's inbred as fuck. Yeah, yeah. and he's and, and they like as they get more inbred, like you can have like bad traits. So, like my car- there's a, a character in my like bloodline, and uh, she was a dumbass, so I married her to a um a dwarf guy, and uh, then they started producing these like fucking 
mongoloid children and then i started marrying them into like powerful families in europe and then they started having more mongoloid children so it's just like so you so are kind of like reverse yeah. eugenicizing the yeah, whole no, world I am. yeah and then they're i'm like, taking and i'm taking their really good like daughters and so like they're really smart and beautiful daughters i'll marry them into my family so my my like scottish household is this like testament to eugenics and it's awesome and then i'm using this like genetic warfare to make like the king of france yeah. retarded <laughs> dropping <laughs> retarded dwarf bombs all over yeah, the world exactly the yeah like oh, there's no way their kids are gonna stand yeah. up to my my yeah. six foot five danes e- that i'm exactly. reading exactly scotland yeah and i had to days. yeah but most like uh like they have like uh inheritance law so like uh my, my inheritance law in my land is that it gets split equally between my male children but i can't have that because i need to consolidate power so i ended up killing three of my sons <laughs> so i locked them in jail and tortured them to death you know, like no it needs to be consolidated on just this one on on slush puppy the third because he's the most powerful i need him to <laughs> i need i need him to be the best so i'll just like it's, these, it's, these are games you, you can just like pop into it and play for a couple hours save it back yeah. out like you're not playing yeah. whole campaigns but yeah okay yeah oh man i played it for 14 hours yesterday and the day before and the day before that i'm fucking obsessed with it is the world yeah. a better place than you found it uh i own britannia and uh and uh everyone's scared of me because they don't like me i had to uh sort of become a little bit despotic so it's better for him <laughs> Yeah, yeah. and I guess that's the point of the game, right? Well, he's doing great. He's on his fourth. My my current king. He's on his fourth wife. Uh, he's sixty one. She's only twenty. He somehow knocked her up. I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, <laughs> uh, which, but it's also annoying because if she has another son, then I'm gonna have to split my kingdom. So that baby's probably gonna get shaken to death at some stage. <laughs> Is that an option? You know, press you know V repeatedly to shake. <laughs> Uh, we well, can do you can do a bunch of different stuff. So like I can I can send the baby to someone that hates me and then they might murder him, or I can like send him to someone that's like has a plague grid in place and then hopefully the child gets sick, or I can fucking uh, I could I can murder the child if I'm like a sadistic bastard. Sounds and like it. I can murder I can murder my wife while she's pregnant. Like you know you. you wanna... It's probably easier for you to murder your fifth child than it was the first one. You're kind of in the yeah, habit of it now. It's, it's, just it's getting easier. It is getting easier. <laughs> <laughs> but you're 61. How many exactly. more years? You're going to come down with the lover's pox? And well, yeah, I, I, I think so. I mean, yeah, they've all got uh, they've all got the herp at the moment. I mean, one of the, one of my wives ended up uh, dying of it, which was a bit sad, but that's she okay. She died of herpes? Uh, it, it became worse herpes. There was like mega herpes. I don't know what the fuck it gave her. <laughs> but, it's, <laughs> but it's so dumb. It's like... <laughs> Uh, how old is this a new game uh no it's not new it's been out for a while but they have like uh lots of What's DLCs it called again? And shit like that. it's called crusader kings all right yeah crusader kings. yeah yeah so the shit you can do in it is just dumb as fuck are you playing cool. tarkov anymore no nah, not really i i i did all the quests and shit like that and will got you be back next year. wipe or yeah uh if they had anything good you know yeah. they, they're always saying uh oh, we'll yeah, we're going to do this and we're going to do this. And then they drop the wipe and it's like one eighth of what they said they're going to do. And it's yes. like, eh. yeah, I, I mean, oh, I haven't played for a long time, eh. but they still can't like link the maps together. Like, ah, oh, they'll never do that. There's no fucking way. Never. No, nah, I don't. They can't even get one map to run. Well, like it'd be maybe, well, maybe like 20 years in the future when we have way better computers and the graphics are super outdated, but the game just runs like is shit. Is it even and... hard? It, it seems like when you link the maps together, you're just going to another map instead of your stash. Like it's not. Oh, oh you mean, oh, I thought you meant loading them all at once and like having them all. No, I, I thought there was going to be, I'm going to fuck this up, but like no, to you escape right, from yeah. customs, you need to go through factory or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, they were talking about that. They haven't done that shit, but. I thought you meant though, like having all of them loaded at once and uh, like it's one big world. Because ah. they did talk about trying to do that at some stage, but oh, okay. Then they sort of deleted all record of it off the internet and never <laughs> talked about it again. So, <sighs> yeah. I think well, they closed like- the uh, the so called gun show loophole today, but in reality, it's this poorly worded legalese that would allow anyone who sells a firearm to another person to be prosecuted. Really. Yeah. Nationally, they did that. Yeah. Wait, what? Well, that's terrible. 
before the uh, the idea was you had to be getting i think the the majority of your income or like more than 50 percent of your income from the sale of firearms um if you were doing that you were um, said to be a you know a firearms dealer and you had to get a dealer's license and so you'd have to do background checks and document and everything and then report to the government um you know but you would always able to just sell your shotgun to your neighbor if you wanted to but it's sort of the wording of it says that if you're making profit from the sale of guns and it's like okay so anyone who sells a gun then well you know not always you could like like what your lawyer would say was he bought the shotgun for eight hundred dollars and he sold it for five fifty, but that's a scenario where we're already in court, right? Yeah, you mm-hmm. know. Sounds yeah, like so a bad move. if people don't know the background on this at all, in America, you used to be able to sell guns as a private person, like just like you could sell a bicycle, like it was just a thing. And uh, people said it was a gun show loophole because this activity often took place at gun shows, not people with booths. Oh. Those are dealers, and those dealers did a background check. But if you're just a dude who wore his gun there, that's a thing you do. You put a little flag in the barrel like so people knew it was for sale. Then you, just as a dude, could sell it to someone else who was just a dude. And then a couple of years ago, and I'll make it up like six years ago, they put some more requirements in an effort to close that gun show loophole. And like Kyle said, if a lot of your income came from selling guns, I didn't realize that's how the it, like that's what the loophole was. I thought it yeah, was that, it like hey, I thought that there was just no background checks if you brought it off a dealer at a show. That's what they I want swear you they think. like misleadingly make you think that, yeah. but I promise you, I bought. Guns that, that's that fucking I've, who was that? Who was that? Guns? Who was that stupid fat cunt that did the um. Uh, Michael Probably Moore. Michael Moore. Yeah, he's oh, like yeah, stupid yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. anyway, he, there was some other that whole tests movie on it that, like, if you have business cards, they would say you're not a private individual. You're a gun sale person, mm. so yeah. you would need to do background checks on the people that you sell guns to. It's only regular guys like me. I've sold maybe one or zero guns my whole life. I had something like that. Um, I'm allowed to sell a gun. At least I used to be able to. Now it looks like they want almost everyone to do background checks. Which, They've left that law ambiguous, which is a, a thing they often do, so that no, so, so that a mm. they're not taxed now with scooping up anyone who does it, but b now they can have another thing to prosecute people with. It, yeah. It's it's going to be another one of those, <clears throat> and and the way it was worded was so annoying. They they mentioned the ATF as this poor agency who's underfunded. Um. <laughs> it was like. Oh, oh, are they not? They, they've they got anyway. Not the ATF. It, oh, let's it, pull guys. The wording so they, of the law is is very uh, and, and the fact that the law has just been passed that that by, by a signature somewhere nobody voted or anything. You know what mm-hmm, I mean? Mm-hmm. Our congressmen didn't get together. Um, well, that yeah. seems like a bigger deal than it's being made out. I didn't hear about this at all. Happened today, I believe. They're after people who are engaging in the business of selling guns, mm-hmm. but I can't find the details that kyle knows like so we have how- a like in australia if you sell one you have to go to a gun dealer and say hey can you facilitate the sale of this gun and then they'll do a background check on the person that you're selling it to mm-hmm. and then that- essentially sell it to you and then they charge you like a small fee like 20 dollars or something that's basically what probably this will turn out to be like you, yeah. you need to use a a firearms dealer to facilitate the background check, like you said, they I used to charge to fifteen want to. dollars. That was a long time ago. Oh, and Kyle's yeah. right; they're not forced to do it or anything. Yeah, but and that's how we buy guns on the internet. Like you think you're yeah. buying it on the internet, but really they're shipping it to your local gun store, and then mm-hmm. that local gun store. Yeah, that, that, that works the same in Australia. Yeah. yeah, like I, I brought a shotgun recently, and I brought it from another state, and they just shipped it to a, a gun seller here. But the uh, the one in the other state did the. It's not even really a background check here. They just say, "Oh, yeah, he has the he has other guns and a license to have firearms, so it's fine." Where mm-hmm. I'm from, yeah. you needed a background check to buy a pistol, even if it was just person yeah. to person. You had to have a background check for pistols. Yeah, but uh, I don't know what the law is right now. Yeah, long guns. Like I know at least here, there's nothing required for that, or there wasn't until again this afternoon. <laughs> like so, could, was the uh, pistol thing true in Missouri also? I don't know the pistol rule oh, okay. here, but I have heard in like different states, like some of them have pistol restrictions. But like my understanding is, long guns are always fine. Just being like, "Hey, what do you want for this double barrel?" No, three fifty. All right, here's three fifty, and here's your shotgun. Done. Legal. Yeah. yeah. But I well, guess- I don't like this one bit, Kyle. I don't like you brought it up to me. 
I, I could have gone a long I really hold Kyle responsible for all this. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, pa- who passed this law? Where where does this come from? Biden Biden signed a piece of paper. Son yeah, of a bitch. Was it an executive um, order? Is that yeah, what they called? Exactly. Yeah. It, was, I, it yeah. sounds like it was an executive order. Yeah. It was a royal decree. I mean, executive order. <laughs> yeah. Very different yeah. in, in, in what those are. I wonder yeah. who guided his hand this time. Oh, a, a kind staffer. I, look, I, don't know who's gonna, I don't know. At this point, I don't know who's going to be the next president, and, I, and I'm not sure which is scarier. I'm genuinely a little bit worried about both of them at the wheel, if I'm being 100% honest. I really, mm. really wish. Like, like if, I, if I remove myself from the com- comedy of it all and just the entertainment of it all, and I, I make... Let's pretend I get to be one of the joint chiefs. Like that's going to be my job at the end of the year. And I know that one of these guys is going to be my boss and I'm going to have to make big decisions. Oh my God. I'm so stressed. I'm like, am I going to be a war criminal in history books? (laughs) Am I going to be like the dummy who was asleep at the wheel because one of these goofballs was the president? I don't know if there are any like of my friends that I wouldn't want to be president more than like our high level politicians. Come on. I don't. All right, all right. I, My buddies, I, any of the I guys have some I went to high school would be terrible. with, I'd rather have them. I went to high school with people who make lousy presidents. There's not a lot of jobs where you look at it and you go, "That's a high class job," but I reckon I could President do it better. T-bone. You know, like I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be like, "Hey, I reckon I could run J.P. Morgan better than the guy that runs J.P. Morgan," because I have no idea what I'm doing. But mm. I reckon, I reckon I could even, even as a as a non-American, I reckon I could run the country better than both of those two people. <laughs> I, I'd vote just, for I would I would pick yeah. slush over either one I think I I think I think he's I not could, an American I don't care I, I, we could I, use I, a guy with a fun accent in there yeah, exactly I, can you imagine yeah. instead of it being all somber he could be like well there's yeah. some real rough stuff going on over there in Gaza yeah <laughs> and I, I don't those like fucking, it any more than you I eat you those fucking I cunts in Russia I man <laughs> fucking shit up over there we're gonna yeah. fucking do something about it bro <laughs> Russia? I would like to hear a Reason president there. say Want nothing to do with it. <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I don't think I've ever heard that before. That no, would be good. I, I don't know who I want to lead the country, but it's not either of the, those guys. It really the isn't. Yeah. It's no, not, not the, the fucking Rock. rock. That guy you know, seems the, like a, the Rock's a, a Trumper, dude. first of all. He's and, not. Uh, oh, the, the, why is he getting so much hate? You know, it's funny how that happened. So people don't know, in 2020, Rock endorsed Biden. He said, look, I'm a celebrity, and uh, I feel like I have a responsibility to use my voice to push people in what he thinks is the right direction. All right, cool. And then in 2020, he's on Fox News, and they're like, are you endorsing endorsing Biden again? And he explained what I just explained and said, I'm not going to endorse anybody this time around. Not Trump, not Biden, whatever. So right-wing news ran with the story. The Rock not uh-huh. endorsing Biden. And uh, he's like, I'm just staying out of politics. I feel like I shouldn't use my voice for this. I was, it was a mistake last time. And uh, like Kyle did this, I agree. I think he just, whichever way the wind blows, he feels there isn't yeah. a safe person to endorse, that no matter what side yeah. he chooses, he loses oh, half the people. So he's worse. just staying yeah, away. So right now yeah. his money is coming from WWE. Yeah. I think yeah. they made him like a board trustee. I know. Yes, yeah. I think they I, made I actually him- I actually do know, but this is something I know about. I watched WrestleMania on the weekend. Yeah, they made him he's on the board and he is fully back. He was in WrestleMania now. And so, uh he, he not just put that all he's on his, the board. He's, he's, he's like back. the head of storyline production. Like yeah. he's a big part of what the story is and and I didn't really yeah. know this, like you know this, but maybe others don't. Like, there's like a content. It's like a soap opera. In, in yes, it is. Yeah. So, and just, so the, his, his story, story is line. called the his story is called the Bloodline, which is like him and his cousins, uh, and he's like he's I, I don't know if they're actually cousins, but like his big blood, like the the big fucking Islander dudes, uh, yeah. and they're fighting against uh, uh, Cody Rhodes, Rusty Rose, who's, uh, yeah. son. Yeah, uh, who is the called the American Nightmare, and uh, so they're like that's their sort of they're fighting he against. Be, he should have called himself the Aryan Assassin. He looks like he's right yeah, out of does. fucking. We're getting um, off does. topic a little bit. Dude. Like the WWE yeah. is tied in with the UFC, and they're very tied yeah. in with Trump. So he's just staying out of politics this time. Yeah. Oh, just the viewership of wrestling is. I reckon Fed he's doing it to American protect investments. Conservatives, goddamn. Yeah. All right. I reckon he's doing it to protect his investments. Like, I, I, mm. I highly doubt he endorsed Biden for any other reason than this will make you look good. I would right? imagine the UFC viewership as well is much more right leaning, right? Yeah. 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 You'd have to think Maybe. so. Yeah. I, I mean, imagine. based on the crowds, you get so at baseball games, you'll see like, especially 
a World Series baseball crowd is not the people of this country, I, as you can imagine. Yeah. When the, those seats are thousands of dollars a piece or whatever, so he'll get boos there. But when he's at those UFC events, it's like 85, 90 percent good, like thumbs up. And then you, yeah. you hear that occasional. But everyone who sees him is clamoring to touch him and, yeah. and to get time with him. All the, the celebrities guy, yeah. you see, like the B list celebrities. And I mean that like respectfully, like like real celebrities, you know, but they're just not like a triple A celebrity. Like they're in line over there to maybe get to talk to Mr. Trump. Like it, it's definitely a pro. Trump it's cultish. It's kind of fucking freaky the way that mm. they worship him. They want to touch him. It's like he's Jesus. It's weird. Yeah. At what UFC? Sorry, I was yeah trying at, to, UFC. Yeah, at a UFC. Funny UFC. clip yeah. of uh. Have you ever seen that picture of all the people laying hands on Trump and uh, like he's praying, and Did then just... everybody's laying hands on him in the Oval Office or maybe maybe in the there's a table. It's called the something something. Anyway, the red. He's at this table. And they're all laying hands on yeah. Trump, like like praying I, for him. And I saw him. the Arizona one recently. Did you see that? Oh yeah, they're speaking in tongues on the floor of like the the Senate uh, house or, or, or what, the congressional. What are they called? Like, what's what's that religion called? There's, Christianity. There's a, Christianity. It's no, uh, no 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 no. There's a specific uh, branch of Christianity. No, it's it's um. I watched a video about how the how Christianity's broken down, and it's shockingly. Yeah. Um, like branched off, but I'll say this: it's not just this one obscure group. I grew up yeah, in the no, church where it happened. No, no, like, like Catholics, but like yeah. Catholics don't. Do that. Oh, it's Protestant, Pe- yeah. Pentecostal. Protestant, that's what it is. Pentecostal. Yeah, but but like it happens in Baptist and Methodist churches. It happens yeah. in churches of yeah. God. It happens because we had we had a, a uh, prime minister. Well, wait, we, changed, essentially. we were talking about the Arizona thing yeah. that happened. I'm pretty yeah. The, about that topic. The, the speaking of tongues, yeah. They yeah. uh they were on the floor of like the Arizona Senate House or whatever the fuck it was, like a, a government building speaking in tongues and praying because they had just removed a woman's right to choose entirely. Like no exceptions for health of the mother, no exceptions for rape or incest or any of that fun stuff. So oh, you're telling no, me no hang on, hang on, whoa, whoa, don't you're Am I wrong? So, you're almost perfect. It's okay. just in, in the in cases where the mother's life is threatened, abortion is okay. Okay, so maybe I'm off on that. All so right. you're telling me that they caveat. you're telling me that they passed a law where abortion is illegal no. and then they all jiggled around on the floor, essentially. Um, close. Yeah. They, they actually <laughs> actually a judge chose to recognize a law that was already on the books for. Oh, that was law. like that 160 year old law from before Arizona was a state. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah, a state yeah. law from before it was a state. Now that's yeah. the it was a territorial. Just... It was a territorial law, but those who were grandfathered yeah. in, I'm sure. I bet there was lots of good laws they grandfathered in, like. Don't shoot people in the head. And like, yeah, don't steal horses. Dude, that's got to be an early law everywhere you go. Probably. But yeah, I, I think we could all learn something by recognizing that people in the year 1797 knew that this was wrong. Okay. I think that's where we all stand, right? Suddenly, <laughs> Kyle's pro choice. They did. Someone here has to be. <laughs> I am. That's You're going to see my girlfriend it. running uh, and start like beating my ear. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'd say you see. You can kill have, the babies. You can kill them no, all. <laughs> I have no you opinion on it. Big. I have no opinion on it because I'm like I'm never going to get pregnant. It's not. It has nothing to do with me. But my uh, my opinion on it is, what does my wife think? Because I don't want to have a massive fucking argument with her. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> um, what I genuinely believe, like, is that they're murdering an unborn human being child that should have all the rights that we have. I also think porpoises should have those rights. That's that. That's not neither here nor there. But I also don't want to have a baby so i say get in there doc and make us proud all yeah. right like don't come <laughs> out with nobody yeah no <laughs> i agree with you it's it's murdering a baby get in there yeah. and get it i'm gonna see, i want to i want the doc to be in camouflage when he goes mm-hmm. in you there, have though. a good katie like, show some i want to see his stats like, go in there like yeah. seal team six fucking quad mm. nods <laughs> Like you're gonna be a Bravo be a six going assassin. dog. <laughs> gonna be an assassin. Represent. Yeah. Like, like he should have tactical yeah. lights and stuff like that. Like like imagine if he had that abortion vacuum they use, but it was tactical. It had a smoke <laughs> and a laser. Yeah. He's got a big yeah. big stock on the back. Big grip of solid. Yeah, the, the Republicans are gonna lose yeah. this next election badly it's double because they're focusing twins. on abortion instead of like the economy and immigration. Like, yeah. Like focusing on, how, like, uh, focusing on abortion is a surefire way for yeah. them to lose. Like that's how I, Trump, I, I don't that's how I'm Trump against abortion. abortion. Like, the president like was that. so pro-life that the left is attacking him and saying that he's a liar because they can't attack his positions. All right. 
They can't even attack the president's positions anymore. So they simply say those aren't his positions right as they come out of his mouth. Wait, are you the president Biden? President Trump. Oh, he's the president in this conversation. I, <laughs> I, think, I think we're all well aware that you refer to someone as president whatever forever. But usually not the president. Like when you refer to the president, yeah. it means the current president, not the well, It might not be not your the, president. You don't call Thank Carter you. the president. I've never no. heard you call Carter the president or Obama the president. Because I hate Carter. He's from Georgia. He's a disgrace. I haven't, seen you, called I haven't seen you call the president. I haven't seen you call anyone else no, the Trump president. is me and Kyle's president. Get over it. Move on. <laughs> You're just being silly. Jefferson Davis <laughs> is my president. <laughs> you um, still hold on to that. Yeah. <laughs> Trump, uh, Trump is doing the two-step thing, right? Like he 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 made all this happen. He's name? the one that set into motion know. these women who you know get put into life threatening situations or people just having unwanted babies. Um, but he's also he's like trying to sort of own that legacy while also distancing himself Trump's, from it. Trump made a statement on it. Trump couldn't week, care less, and he work. said that it, he True. believes it's a state. Yeah, he's not guided by principles. He's guided mm -hmm. by self interest. So Trump's um, policy currently is the one. Like he made a vid, he, he makes his video addresses. I don't know if you've seen him, where he just stands That's and he solid. speaks for three minutes, and it's like, good. That, these work. I think they do work. They're effective. And he's just like, here's my, here's where I stand on abortion. He gives you three minutes on abortion, maybe sixty seconds even. A minute of like, I'm Trump. Have you bought my shoes? Have you bought the water? Have you got <laughs> Trump steaks? They're coming back. They're coming back. Bye -bye. <laughs> yeah. it, be it would be Australian beef or something. You know it would be. <laughs> hey, we have good beef. They have the second best beef. That's all you do. There, second best sport beef. Second best our beef. Second best. Now, have, you, have you ever eaten your beef? That's terrible. I eat it all the time. You just oh, have to buy the good stuff. Nah. No. Nah, what are y'all doing in Australia again? Like, like, we like, make, we make cows, bro, and we're good I, at it. I, I, <laughs> good at cows. <laughs> we looked at uh, Australia's exports, and it was like our crime. favorite movies. After our favorite movie stars, it became like. Yeah. Yeah, you Cows. guys fell off after Mel Gibson. I think it's iron scrap ore. metal. Uh, yeah, uh, iron ore. I think. I think it's scrap metal and maybe beef or something. I think you do have a lot yeah. of cattle there. So uh, yeah, in that desert. We do. I, we have a uh, we have a cattle ranch in Australia that's bigger than Texas. It's a singular ranch owned by one really? family, and it's bigger, bigger than, than Texas. Texas? <laughs> yeah, that's, fucking, wow. that's so fucking massive. Dude, <laughs> Texas awesome. takes a day to drive through. It's yeah. something. Yeah. yeah, this is a this is a big fucking farm, bro. <laughs> For any, for any Europeans listening, yeah. when he says a day to drive through, he means seventy miles per hour in a straight line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it it was. I, yeah, I knew it was big, but it was exhausting. Coal and iron ore, coal briquettes. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's that's a lot of good stuff. A little bit of cotton, a little bit of yeah, a bit gold. What's a coal briquette? It's like charcoal. A, uh, it's like just, what you put in a grill. Mm. It's scrap wood that's been burnt up and turned black. Henry Ford invented it, as far as I Why know. Or at least he invented better? the idea of, of selling it. As a... I think it's compressed as well in the like a brick. Yeah. Mm. It's like I just don't understand color. why partially burning wood makes it burn better than it did. Like you'd think that the starting place had all the energy, and when I burn the wood a little bit and make it coal, I've removed I some of that. The, I'm glad I think it's the opposite. This, I think you're making know. the potential easier, easier, mm -hmm. easier. Uh, I think you're making it combust yeah. easier because you've done the hard part and burnt yeah. and got the burning. The last part, part is only, only the last part energy. is like easy to ignite yeah. and all the fuel. Like you lost so a little. Not fuel, that it has more energy. It's just that it's yeah, better to answer. use. It's wood that burns easily. I think Henry Ford was using the like the ends when you know they're making all those cars, the Model T or whatever. Those were wood cars on the inside. And he was like, "We've got this huge pile of wood that is the, the and he invented charcoal. He started bagging it up and selling okay. the shit." I have another stupid question: well, What is the coal that comes from the earth made of? Is that just compressed dinosaur goop? Not dinosaurs, uh, mostly um, plant life and marine I think it's life. just compressed carbon, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, carbon that came so, from the compressed like marine life yeah. and plant life, like like. Oh, hmm. Yeah, that that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So is oil and natural. All all of that is just byproducts of that of of those great dyings of plant life and marine life over time. I um, wanted it to be actual dinosaur goo, but it's not. That would be nice. It's not. They there fit. must be traces of dinosaur goo in there. The scientists told me it wasn't. They they, they had a, yeah. they had everything. They had a summit, 
and they said, <laughs> "We got to come clean about this, guys." It's not you're that, not burning that, dinosaurs. The Sinclair, Tread lightly with that anti-dino shit. I I can see it coming. I can smell it. <laughs> I'm one more pro dino than you. I don't uh, like I don't, these I, dino revisionists coming around saying they had feathers and they were little. Fuck you. <laughs> they were huge and they had scales. Yeah. They were scary. See, I saw them in Jurassic on Park. This little thing for the Velociraptors, and it's so. What it is is, there was a dinosaur that looked like the raptors in Jurassic Park and behaved like them, but it wasn't called that. There was a different dinosaur that was this small little fucking thing that you'd stomp out if it came at you, called a Velociraptor. But it's got a cool fucking name, so they took okay, that. Okay, what's name the cool one it, called then? Let me look that up. I sent it to you the other day in WhatsApp. I'm not going to send it again. <laughs> I'm not sending you any. I'm not scrolling <laughs> past 15 videos of people dying to find where it is. In our chat. <laughs> Those videos are the creme de la creme. Actually, I'm going to scroll past just to see Kanye's wife again. <laughs> uh, yeah. That was worth I mean, it. Okay. Is that, is that right. everything on your your guys' Twitter lately? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you have spent any time scrolling Twitter, but my entire Twitter now is just do dying tits, do dying tits. And that's like post after the post. The algorithm like, knows you. It's, it's crazy. Me? Yeah, man, yeah, I, the, I am scared of becoming sexually aroused by Chinese men falling into fucking sinkholes and dying. <laughs> it's, it's, I swear, it's my brain is going to get aroused by that because there's just it's yeah. just tits Chinese men dying on live leak. You just like, see a lathe accident, and then yes. there's some girl saying tits in bio, which are, with a bunch of weird characters in between the letters. Oh, exactly, and it yeah. shows up below posts that have nothing to do with porn or Chinese people yeah. dying. It'll I, be like, here's here's to- hockey highlights for today. And someone yeah. will be like, what a goal. Reminds you me of off Gretzky Twitter. in, in like, 87. We shit on Twitter every week. Tits. Like, like, like yeah. I, I can't believe you're on. The- What's the alternative? On- Everybody loves to hate. What are you Twitter. looking use for? It, but- Tell me that. Like, like, like what, is, hmm. what is the experience that you want? When you oh. go to Twitter and start scrolling, and you end up seeing, I just want to say tits. Well, you usually it's just okay. Well, then that's right, that's a Reddit sweet, right? That, that, that's that's like yeah. a free. That's like that's 18, just a that's like eighty site. different subreddits compiled, and then like yeah, press go. Reddit pisses me off though, because like it's just it's Reddit. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty. Don't gay. you like about that? It's all, the look, users. There, you there is not yeah, the users. That the users not, in the comments and they're gay yeah. sense of humor. Not, it, not, not yeah. if you're in porn. The, the comments are great in porn. They, they'll reference Man. video games. You look at comments sports. in the porn sections. Yeah, because they'll be funny. They, like they make the crack jokes in there. It's good. Oh, shit. Porn no comments. politics. Porn hub it's, comments. Are the everybody's best thing there in the with world. their dick in their hand. Like nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all the comments are very short and type left-handed. I guess I, like, I, was, I, was, I was watching a porn video the other day, and uh, I, I scrolled down to the comments because I always like to check. And the top comments on it was like, "All that work she put in, and all he gave her was two measly poots of cum." <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> two measly poots. <laughs> yeah, it's so fucking good. <laughs> we can help out there. Yeah, yes, yeah. we have the answer. Yeah. Secure a. a like at least eight or nine poots have come for that guy. Yeah, there's no way I go to Twitter for for pornography. Reddit's clearly the, the no. place. Oh, to no, go. I don't want to. No, I that's that's what we're there. saying is bad about like, it. Is that like you don't want to see a bunch of random porn on Twitter? What? That's you, not you what you're there for. You. Like, like, what are you there for? Oh, just no, like no, seeing I, I what like, like the most recent I, latest news and like what's going on. Yeah, I use it, if, if something if something happens, I just don't want to see people. Twitter always hits first. Like if you go on Reddit to find news, you're just seeing a posted Twitter. Like not my, time. Sometimes. Yes, yeah. yeah, sometimes, but but the beauty of Reddit is it's comp- it's drawing from the entire internet to this one place. So I feel like if I'm if there's a sporting event that I'm out if I'm driving around and like the Bulldogs are playing, that's where I'm getting my score updates. That's where I'm getting reactions and stuff because some numbers on a scoreboard mean nothing, but some comments going, that's a bullshit call. Fucking McDavie's foot was in. They're going to win this on the on the challenge. It's like, cool, I'm getting like a play-by-play with 100 commentators oh. simultaneously well, I mean, about I guess that, exactly that's what the I want to know about. Same way Twitter is with sports. But... but it's so specific. That's what I mean with the porn, too. Like, like you'd be like, oh, no, I like nipple porn. Oh, ho, ho. that's 800 different fucking like, yeah. subreddits. What yeah. kind? You like that's puffies? What- I suppose you're getting the choice and you're being you're like able to like, and uh, engorged. Yeah. Yeah. For like news and stuff. Like, like inverted Reddit is, nipples? Reddit is too curated for like news <laughs> and stuff. Reddit yeah. is, is super curated curated for porn though. Like Kyle, are you familiar with Do the Twist? No. This is rare that I know a subreddit Kyle doesn't. Do the Twist is a blowjob subreddit that specializes in a particular kind of hand job that coincides with it. And uh, it's a technique that ladies should learn. 
Is it the grape, yeah. the grapefruit? How <laughs> yeah. does Kyle can do the twist? Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. the pepper shaker. I like <laughs> you got to play that song. Yeah. Like, come on, pepper baby. <laughs> right. Oh my god, I'm so Are you glad telling me there's up. an entire entire fucking subreddit related to that? As Just long as he doesn't do the mashed potato. <laughs> <laughs> the mashed potato. Uh, yeah, You're just mashing it now. I had this experience. I, I asked my girlfriend if it happened to her in school, and she had no idea what I was talking about. But, but let me lay exactly what this is out because I don't want you to confuse this with like a momentary thing in health class that happened. Everyone in my elementary school would go to the gym occasionally. These are old memories because elementary school, but so, but we would go to the gym occasionally and assemble in lines and rows, and then we would dance. Like we would do the old timey dances, like the mashed potato and the twist and the jerk. And we would also do line dancing, like nickel, nickel, dime, dime, quarter. We would do like achy, breaky heart line. You're bringing dancing. up some bad memories for me right now. Did you, this happen to you too? This happened to me in music class in grade school. We'd have to get up and do this, like, the dance, like did you do the Macarena. We did the Macarena. We did it. Man, I had buried that. I bet that was a Clinton era. <laughs> Here's what I'm guessing. I bet that was a Bill Clinton era, like health class kind of get out and get fit for the was kids. Was that Hillary's kind of initiative? That bitch making it me literally dance like might a have been. <laughs> Like while he was cramming down quarter pound pounders, we were doing the Macarena. Yeah, I think that's what <laughs> hey, fucking happened. It would be funny as if we make all the kids dance like retards. <laughs> 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 Jeffrey, 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 do you have any fun uh, dances the kids could do? The Jeffrey, few things I like about this job. I had that, but it was earlier. Reagan shoved that shit down. Reagan and Arnold Schwarzenegger had these <laughs> fitness tests. Oh, man. And like Arnold Schwarzenegger set the standard on how many pull ups you should be able to do, stuff like that. Oh, and that's not fair. <laughs> you had to be Arnold. That feels, that feels, it kind was of 12. Rough. It was 12. It was a doable number, but it was hard. And uh, I think points started at like eight. But anyway, I don't yeah. Think, uh, they do jump presidential. Rope, how many times you can jump rope in 60 seconds? That was a mm. thing. Sit ups. That was one. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember getting the ribbons? We're talking about the presidential fitness the presidential test. Presidential right fitness now. Uh, test, which I don't think they do anymore. That's if a we, John I think, Kennedy, I think, uh, so kids that's are a John Kennedy thing, by the way. Um, so oh, maybe it wasn't a Reagan thing. I'm like 99% it's John Kennedy thing because I, I, I've seen like comment um, quotes of his about fat kids and getting kids healthy and stuff. Um, it's, it's he might be the one who said like the, the worst thing you could see is a fat child. <laughs> it was something great yeah. like that. <laughs> the most abominable sight in modern democracy is the fat child. See, I would have, I would have guessed Nixon Proof for that. Positive of our there are too many fat kids me. running around. <laughs> <laughs> to me, that's Matt me Gates. hungry. Because <laughs> you know, it, Matt get him out, dude. <laughs> he does fuck children. Well, not uh, technically. He's a he's a hippophile. Isn't that what you say, Taylor? Taylor, help us in. This like, is your like, area of expertise. Cool. Uh, 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 he uh, 17 year olds. A heebie jeebie file. <laughs> there you go. Right. The uh, I think you call him the uh, congressman. I congressman. I don't know who we're That's talking about right now. What are we doing? Matt Gates, the congressman who like fucked the 17 year olds and like was moving the prostitution, the girls across state lines. Ah. And then there was a big scandal about it. And then when the Speaker of the House thing came up, like he screwed over the other guy because that guy had ordered the inquiry about him fucking the 17-year-old. And now that guy is being very public about that. He's like, the only reason I'm not speaking to the House is because Matt Gates likes 17-year-old pussy. Well, do you know who the real victim in all of those laws is? <laughs> it's not the 17-year-old pussy that got paid. Jared Fogle. <laughs> you know, we, we had a guest who assured us that he's uh, the... You can't meet those ladies of the night. Those they ladies, paid. they're like 15-year-old <laughs> girls, and he's like, and these whores. <laughs> and it's like, they're, they're like, like they kids. Them with their <laughs> uh, our, I, that's the only time I didn't call out a guest, because I didn't feel like I knew enough at the time to call uh -huh. him out, but I watched a documentary. Right, who was the guest? He was Jared Fogle's buddy, and he, he did something else. But, what, but the, like the, the fucking uh, subway pedophile, dude. Yeah, the yeah, subway yeah. pedophile. Yeah, 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 they yeah, were yeah. boys. Our, and no, so was, yeah, he was yeah, like friends. after he was our guest and and we kind of didn't like get too pointed with him i watched a documentary called jared fogel and it was like hidden evil or something was the subtitle <laughs> yeah like something wow something hard, something hard like, like something like evil. that and i read and, and after watching but. the whole documentary it's like these girls that he was going after don't picture like a pretty girl who's trying to get attention or a girl who's dressing too sexy for her age and is being flirtatious and out there picture mousy slightly overweight girls with not great haircuts who would love some attention especially from 
oh, you're the subway guy. I've seen you on TV. Uh, like, yeah. like those are the girls that this guy uh, was calling ladies of the night. And he, he was called them. He's like, they took money. It's like, it was a settlement for the pedophilia. <laughs> yeah. It was a settlement. <laughs> well, the the <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, I, one thing yeah. I, I, I don't like, want to be brave. I don't know about put myself out there, but I don't like Jared Fogle or his <laughs> antics. Oh, you Not stole my one joke. Bit. <laughs> I was going to do the same joke, but about pedophiles. <laughs> yeah. Just blanket. Uh, Look. Oh, you can ask me anytime. Two, thumb, two thumbs down. I know I'm stuck yeah. outside the norm here, yeah. and uh, mm-hmm. forgive me. Don't, yeah. don't shoot the messenger, but so those pedophiles are rascals, and we we better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rascals, yeah. tone it down. We're going to get drinking the rock. Do you reckon the, yeah. the rock knows where to stand on them, or do you reckon he has to ask his PR team? <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. Like, whoa, yeah. uh, whoa. Uh, I don't want to have an opinion on them. Yeah, like, I'm just I'm stepping, I'm stepping back. <laughs> Makes great sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. I like Black Adam. <laughs> I, I think I'm the movie. only one. Oh Jesus! I don't know who Black Adam is. It was a movie. The Rock starred it. He was Black Adam, a superhero movie. You wouldn't like it. Uh, I would yeah. not like it. The The Rock came in with his ego and crashed a whole fucking like <laughs> the uh, household uh, name that is Black Adam. Ruined? <laughs> no, Shazam. Yeah. No, the the fun, quirky D- DC movie that they made called Shazam, where oh, yeah. for once it's not a super serious thing. Basically, a child gets superpowers, and when he does the thing, he becomes like a giant, muscular Superman looking man. But he behaves like a child would actually behave if they got such powers. And it's a fun little quirky movie. But he exists, like, kind of coincides and interacts a lot with this Black Adam character. So The Rock comes in. And makes this Black Adam character that's just so unlikable and dark and douchey. It's like, why do we like it, this guy? It's my understanding that Black Adam in the comic books is sort of dark and douchey and doesn't speak much. But what The Rock is good at is like Jumanji type stuff. Big smiles, yeah. muscles, charisma. Um, what's Moana? Is that the cartoon he did? Yeah. That's the that sort was, of thing that Rock sure. does really well. So he was kind of miscast for Black Adam. He's the lovable giant. Like, like, like seen, I don't uh, even want to see him beat people up anymore. Have you guys seen uh, Red Red Notice? I've never Before, heard of it. I haven't heard of that. Yeah, it's a, it's a, I think yeah. it's a Netflix one, and it's just uh, the the Rock and uh, fucking uh, who's uh, no who's it? No, not not Kevin Hart this time. Um, the guy that played um, uh, Deadpool. Uh, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds. Yeah. Yeah. and so the whole the whole movie is just like the Rock and Ryan Reynolds hanging out. Like they, I don't, I don't even remember the names of their characters. I don't know if their characters had like had any specific quirks. It's literally just an hour and a half of the Rock and Ryan Reynolds hanging out. And I was like, look, on the outset, like you could look at that and be like, that's a really shit movie. But I mean, they're two likable dudes. Everyone yeah. loved them at the time. Fuck, I want. Like I, I would earlier, watch. I would watch the Rock and Ron Reynolds just go and get ice cream, man. That'd be oh, that's entertaining, you know. I, that's good like, enough for like, me. You didn't need the set. <laughs> yeah, people. When you, when I say good movie, I always have different criteria. Like I watched mm. The Godfather this week. It's yeah, I, mm. it, that is a great movie for a lot yeah. of reasons. It's a classic. It, everything about it is is like a five out of five for me. Like all the ways that you judge a movie. It's a little. It's a long. Yeah. But I feel like it needs to be. It's a big fucking story. Also, it's something like Gladiator. Like that's like that kind of or, movie. Yeah. Or or then I'll like, but then I'll switch over and watch some ninety minute um, horror movie that's about Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. That mm. Thanksgiving like stab em up movie, and it's like you know what? Also a good movie. Yeah. Like for none of the same reasons that The Godfather is a good reason. Yeah. It's yeah. It's just a fun little ride to go along, and like it's this guy's so quirky. He's killing everybody Thanksgiving style. Like he bakes a lady like a turkey. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I enjoy I, I enjoy shit movies. I, I like shit movies. I do too. So, Samurai if, Cop to me is the greatest yeah. shit movie of all time. The greatest so bad it's good. Yeah, uh, movie of all time but, is Samurai. Uh, Cop. Especially if you if you're high while watching it. Um, it's, it's a given, prerequisite. <laughs> those have you ever watched uh, <laughs> the uh, Indian like Bollywood action films? Right, no, I would never. No, you lose trust me there. Me. You lose trust me, there. me. Trust me. Get high and watch Bollywood action I've seen films. It. You have, you have the best fucking time of your life. What's a good I, one? Do they like rip off in American uh, Hollywood? Yeah, so there's, one do, called, uh, seat, there's, there's one called there's one called Entheron. Yeah, they, there's one called Entheron that's like the Matrix and that's fucking insane. And uh, and then there's one called uh, Bahubali, which is like Bollywood Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Watch that high. It, it's it's it, the the special effects. None of this is real. Insane. In reality, you are yeah. chained up in a call center, <laughs> making <laughs> return calls uh, about Microsoft man, accounts. It's it's fucking awesome to watch high. It, you would love it. 
Let me give you. I'm gonna send you guys a video that we obviously can't play. And, oh, I think you've shown me that. Like the audio is even off in Samurai Cop. We're like. Oh no! I'm sending you a Bollywood thing. An example of why the Bollywood stuff is. I think the Bollywood stuff is better in GIF form. Like, look at this one scene because there's a take on CGI is absurd. Like, like they don't care about the rules of reality or or gravity or like that human bodies are made of flesh and bone or like how anything works really just they're in another they go to another universe when their cgi happens so people will get like catapulted into cities and stuff and they'll be spinning and shooting as they go all sorts of nonsense that stuff's funny yeah well i mean this guy's pretty badass is he indian 007 um probably i have no fucking idea i don't i don't, I don't like that shit <laughs> Yeah, this one, uh, this one's the end theorem one. It's like Indian Terminator slash Matrix. Fucking hilarious to watch. High, mm. you you would love it. <laughs> the the special don't... effects are so retarded. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, I'll, I mean, I'll I'll watch right. a few Bollywood movies. I guess Do not watch a Bollywood movie before you watch Terminator Two. You scum. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is just something. It's something we kind of got you there. So you, would, you would not. You would now not watch a Bollywood this movie. foreign Indian language. Movie joke of a movie before you watch a fucking nah. like <laughs> even, an American classic. Nah. Trust me. It's an American classic. I'm agreeing you, with you. You would never watch you would never watch this if you were you weren't extremely high. If but if you, you are, you would enjoy it. Because it's just ever, so absurd. Yeah, yeah. If you do watch Terminator 2 Taylor, don't tell us. Oh, <laughs> oh he, he'll like be able to talk about it. He'll do up wearing the leather jacket. He'll become a Termi fan. He'll Get be all Harley, about it. All right. So boy, it, whatever, right. Are coming. They are test. coming, mm -hmm. and they want, um, and, and we've got to get, sh give them a movie, and they're they're going to believe that movie's real and is representative of our like, of our race. Like like, what movie do you do? You, Independence set? Day. Oh, oh yeah. shit! You show them that one. Good mm call. -hmm. They'll be like, change the operating system immediately and double the guard on the <laughs> on the on the on that one gate that lets people blow up the other yeah. ship. Let's actually they let's move the mother ship to the moon. Technology for technology they've never yeah. seen. These I knew we should have run our spaceship on this. Yeah. Now give them, give them, give them one punch, man. So they believe there's a guy that just kill anyone in one punch. That's what, that's what Wait, you so want. gonna believe it? it yeah. Or, yeah. Or perhaps, or perhaps Superman. They're like, they're like bring us a, bring us the the tale of your people. Like, like bring us, yeah. show us one of your stories, one of your true stories, one of your historical mm -hmm, yeah. archives. We want to open that's it. They want to see our historical yeah. archives. Oh, was it oh, yeah, Galaxy Quest? <laughs> we have studied your <laughs> gal historical archives. <laughs> What's that? It's, ga it's Galaxy yeah. Quest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sending up T2, baby. I'm letting yeah. them know that Arnold is still kicking. What about T1? You're not going to send them both? No. No. Why would I send them T1? You would know if you'd seen T2. Or You haven't seen Terminator 2? No, he refuses. It's almost a running what joke at this point. What the fuck is wrong with you? Me. I'll He's get to you. That, that is upsetting to me. That's Guys, so I'll upsetting. Get around to it. Uh, Terry's nah. infecting the blood of our population. <laughs> log, log off right now. Go and watch it. Sucks. Yeah. It's a, no, how no. long is Terminator 2? What, like an hour 40? I'm it's like, two yeah. hours. It's like two, two hours. hours. You Man, you can, again. If, you go, if you go and watch that right now, you could come back at the end of the uh, at the end of the podcast. <laughs> how fucking yeah, out of here, you. It would be so yeah. fucking funny if I left, watched Terminator 2, and came back for the no. last 15 minutes. Actually, yeah. watch it. <laughs> two and a half watch hours. It, watch it with the volume on right now, but mute us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then tell us how good you think it is. Holy <laughs> shit, he's the good guy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think, like, the, yeah. the, the joke would be like the joke would be to go watch it and then come back and be like yeah sucked it was fucking gay this one's all like, empty like nah, it, no, I, no, I think it possible. might actually damage mine and Kyle's friendship if I came back and was like that movie sucked nah I don't even think it. that you oh, I don't even think for the joke you could possibly do that because it's that good it's really good Really yeah. good. I've never it'd heard be like it getting, it'd be like getting sucked off by Sydney Sweeney and then saying oh that sucked yeah, like you wouldn't, you wouldn't be might able give to. Give a toothy blow job. We can't say for sure, yeah. but I know that that Arnold is going to come through. Would never matter, man. She can do sand, She can do sandpaper, and ten out of ten guys would fucking love it. They're it's well, good. as long as it's like a maybe a fine grit. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, I, I, I'm twelve hundred. <laughs> Polish that. No, is, is is so fucking attractive. I, I don't understand, like. like I wa after watching that Dune movie, Zendaya just sort of like frowns for for three hours and forty five minutes or some shit, mm -hmm. and and I, I'm just I don't find her to be attractive in the in the slightest. I do the when I see her award shows. I saw her in Whiteface today. Zach, can you find Zendaya in Whiteface? It's, um, that 
It's got to be hard to look attractive while wearing rags, though. Uh, like, tell that to it, tell that to Timothy Chalamet because he was looking fucking fine. All yeah, right? like, like I, I tell you what, yeah. Timothy Chal- Chalamet is a good looking it. man. He get yeah, it. He can get it. His hair was nice. <laughs> all he's living in the desert where, where you know they yeah. can't wash their hair, and that shit is pristine. Yeah, like Meanwhile, Zendaya, Zendaya <laughs> literally needs to put something on her head. That's the, that that's the one up. thing he took from uh, from Arakane. Like he jumps in his ornithopter, and he's like, his his dad's like, take me, and he's like, oh no, I've got this massive barrel of seafoam hairspray, and he's like, <laughs> she, she looks bright. like Middle East. Uh, it, it does look like she just has a. She's looking at a flashlight. This right. isn't it. She's uh she's on a runway and she's got white face on. Like like the, It looks like that Japanese thing where they put the white. It's that. Oh, oh I don't like that. that. My like culture is not a bookie maga. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Appropriating your culture, word. appropriating Missouri, appropriating, appropriating my, my white <laughs> yeah. skin. What? I'm pretty sure she so, is that culture, right? Isn't she half black and half white? Probably. I don't know. No, but I, I, I did. I saw the do. pictures of her like grimacing during Dune Two. And I was like, well, there's no way all she does is fucking grimace the whole time. Green yeah. text? She doesn't do it for me, to be honest. I am a, I saw I'm, a different one, though. Yeah. I like her when she's at her best. Like like on a runway or whatever. She she cleans up yeah. really well. But she also like seems to relish in this idea that she doesn't need makeup and just rolls out of bed. And there's a lot of shots like that where she's just okay. Oh. Yeah, I mean she's not she's like not as hot as Sydney Sweeney. Is that Sydney Sweeney? No, uh, that's that, Zendaya. Is that Zendaya from a much better oh. angle. Yeah, she, she looks great there. Well, when you make her hair that tall, her her face doesn't look so wide and pudgy, does it? You also have to go from this I, angle, though, I suppose. She yeah. looks like a fuck. She looks like a fucking Dog, cone head. Then you bounce a bunch of light off her and make the background look fuzzy with her arm there, and her face doesn't look like it's this fucking wide anymore. It, dude, yeah. if it's a still shot and you know it's been photoshopped and like, you know, there's fucking oh, some dude off camera with one of those reflective discs. Yeah. I don't trust this very picture pretty. at all. I don't know. It's true. Everyone can look good in that. Yeah, yeah no, I, I think I think she's I think she's very attractive, but um, I just don't think she's like a sex symbol, which is what it feels like to me by the way I like notice the internet reacting to Who's her. Who's the Hollywood it girl for you right now? Sydney Sweeney. Sydney Sweeney. Yeah. Kanye's wife. Sydney Sweeney's got, <laughs> most, got the most buzz. Yeah. Um, I do Sydney see her Sweeney's, a lot. Is the, she's yeah. the hottest. But I, then again, I'm not really plugged in. There's probably, I, I don't know many other female celebrities who are in the hotness run right now. Maybe because it's like she's a, Sydney Sweeney is running a dynasty. <laughs> He's the 2010 through 2015 Chicago Blackhawks right now, like <laughs> running the board with everybody. So yeah, man. good for her. Star too old for Leo. Yeah, 25 now. Yeah, I saw that. Damn shame. Who's this? Sydney Leonardo Sweeney? DiCap. Yeah, oh. 25. I now. bet he'd make an exception for her. I, I think maybe I don't know. Maet. Maybe He's a man of principle. I bet he's got a rule. You think so? He looks like a man of principle. To Is me. he going to hang on uh, to that rule? I, I feel like 26 year olds are going to start looking attractive to him. Every every you know, single what? woman he dates has to have a watch with like a bomb style countdown. <laughs> 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 I can get one more fucking. And he's just, <laughs> just stops halfway through. Beep, beep. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You don't get to count. Bye. <laughs> Midnight on your 25th birthday. I'll call you yeah. an Uber. And that'll be the last you see of me. <sighs> that's what he does seem to do. I appreciate yeah. that. I, that's the one thing that I see like being it's a, it's a, it's this weird culture shift um, where any sort of age gap seems to be predatory. And I think that it is coming from women who are finding themselves to be age aging out of the dating market. What? And so and so suddenly <laughs> the same chick, the same chicks who wouldn't who were when when we were 18 wouldn't date us. Because like an eighteen year old doesn't want to date an eighteen year old. If you're a girl, eighteen year old guys want eighteen year old girls. Eighteen year old girls do not want eighteen year old guys. Yeah. But Largely suddenly, the, the, but the inverse becomes true on the opposite side, where let's just say forty year old men don't want forty year old women, but a forty year old woman would be just fine with one. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, and then and they're like, oh, what do you mean you're dating a twenty five year old? That's a you a ten year age gap. You're a pedophile, and it's like she's a twenty five year old woman with a yeah. PhD. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I think that's <laughs> another one of those like hyper online things. Like in the real world, like no one is looking, or at least no sane people are looking at like 
a, a 35 year old guy dating a 25 year old girl and being I mean, like, if, oh if my the, goodness if, like, if they're like 80 and she's like 18 then it's like yeah. okay but I, I, they were, and they're the, the daughter of a family friend and they've known each other for five like 10 years then it's like okay that's a bit weird but if it's like yeah. if they, well it's different if, they, if it's if like they, oh he was her right, yeah. if, if it's like a that that French president situation, Macron. that shit's yeah. fucking weird. Where it's like, oh, yeah. she knew him when he was a wee lad. You know, yeah. she was his Re- wet nurse. Lansky? And then it's like, whatever the yeah. fuck was. Macron. Yeah. Mac- yeah. Macron, like president of France. Like, he divorced. Yeah. He's married to, like, what would she... Rich aristocracy in, in, in fucking France has have all yeah. sorts of servants. She was one of them. She did ah, something yeah. for them. Like she worked for the family or something. She was in a position of like tutelage or power Maybe. over him as a child. Yeah. And now they're married. Yeah. And it's ridiculous. Wait, Although wait, she that was dude, like she was look, like his babysitter or some shit. Something like, like that. Y'all are oh, okay. I don't remember this exactly. It's some of the fancy yeah. babysitter. Do you reckon, that, do you reckon she still breastfeeds him? Like, oh, I hope so. I hope she's oh, yeah. milky mommy oh, forever. Let's go. There's no <laughs> way she's got any milk left in those. No, she's all dried up. It she just never stops. No, she's an old lady. Women only dry up yeah. if you stop sucking on their titties. <laughs> well, maybe Macron. Yeah, that's Fama Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> 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 he wasn't sucking on them hard enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got the black. Just, just got don't the quit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The uh yeah that guy's creepy but he um he does seem to have like a hard on for this Russia thing I I keep saying it yes. but like every week he says something more hard he's like hey maybe this in some troops to uh, Ukraine I don't know and was, I don't like, know if seems, I was, I don't know if down. I was France the the last couple have gone pretty shit for France if I was France I'd be like hey we're gonna fucking do they something did okay in one really. they're they're I eager see, to uh, make up for but, their record in two because like uh, World War Two was like that was a that was a 4 0 sweep in a seven game. They got it posterized. Was. They got they posterized. Got posterized. They, they're that yeah. guy with Jordan's junk in their in their ear. Yeah, they are. It's, yeah. But it's Hitler's junk. Yeah. Yeah. They, now, I would be I would be worried. If, if I was were Larry if, Bird coming in. Yeah. To, to if I was if I was Hitler. Poland or France, I'd be like, this is like this is coming. Like you, you I don't went want to that w- again. I went to Wikipedia <laughs> to like look at France's military history. I tried to scroll to the bottom like a UFC fighter and look for the grid, like the win loss. It's not there. <laughs> it's on paragraph form. Wait, you're telling me war's more complex? Than- <laughs> yeah, I just Damn. want a W's and L's, maybe yeah. judge yeah, scores. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure that yeah. exists somewhere. Oh, yeah. I, I would imagine they got a very high win. France, is, France would have a, a very high win, right? They were yeah. fucking warmongers back in the day. They have a wildly yeah. impressive military history. It's just yeah. like well, there, when you there, lose there, in the finals, there, uh, most I mean, recently. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. A, there's a wicked that's story. That's like saying the Bulls have like a great championship like pedigree, but we're just talking about the Jordan era. It's 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 almost not fair to say that yeah. it was great because they had Napoleon, like the greatest military leader of all time, like just ran ran. He still lost. Europe. He's like for hundreds, like he's hundreds still of years. Eventually, he well, he lost twice. Napoleon, they, had, yeah, but, they had they had leaders in yeah. the war. But but see, he's like he's like the GSP of fucking war uh, uh, of but, emperors, right? But yeah, he, he also, lost once or twice. But he but, he, but, 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 so but his losses his losses were massive though. Like he he tried to invade Russia and like losing half of the fucking army in the winter. That's a big fucking half. loss, man. You know how big that like, army was? That that was like an eight hundred thousand yeah. man army. They got whittled yeah. down to fifty thousand. That's a lot of fucking loss. Dude, Russia's not a place you yeah. want to go in winter. Yeah. Seems like seems like war goes badly when you're like, hey, let's go into this yeah. tundra wasteland that's freezing, yeah, and fight in like fucking J- January. Have you ever heard of the? Have you ever heard the story of uh, uh, Napoleon? Apparently, had a um, a cavalry uh, assault on ships. So like across, there yeah. was like a, a frozen a, a frozen like uh, lake or something, and uh, and uh, and a navy was stuck inside the frozen lake, and it's the only recorded. Uh, time in history where they cavalry charge ships. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like, can you imagine being the sailor who was like waking up to the emptiest piss bucket and, <laughs> and a fucking mounted Frenchman comes yeah. charging by and hits you with a fucking lance? It was, so the, it was the Dutch, and the Dutch have used their influence to bury that because you can't yeah. come back from losing a naval battle to guys on horseback. No, that's you can't. That's, what were they riding seahorses? Like that's you got you got conquered <laughs> by a fucking Aquaman, you that's fucking awesome. stupid Dutch cunts. Well, let's see let's see what happened here. 
The capture yeah. of the Dutch fleet at Dan Helden on the night of January 23rd, 1795, presents a rare occurrence of an interaction between warships and cavalry in which a French Revolutionary Hussar regiment came close to a Dutch fleet frozen at anchor at Nui Deep, or some shit, just east of the town of Dan Helder. After some of the Hussars had approached across the frozen Nui Deep, the French cavalry negotiated that all 14 Dutch warships would remain at anchor. The capture of ship by horsemen is an extremely rare feat in military history. <laughs> no, no shit. It feels like a one-off, you know, like it's, we call it extremely rare, but I feel like that's got to be a one-off. And you that's can't even go down like master and commander style gloriously. Yeah. Just, you're looking down at the people you're surrendering to as they neigh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so embarrassing. Yeah. Uh, well, good for, good for the French. Yeah. You want to do the, uh, the ads? Yes. I'll be right back. It's having so much fun. I forgot. This episode of PKA is brought to you by Ferrodistro.com. Ferrodistro.com, folks. Have you been interested in THC but aren't sure where to start? Look no further than Ferrodistro.com, your premium source for THCA, flower dabs, edibles, and other smoking accessories. THCA, not your tup, not your cup of tea. Then check out our expansive assortment of Delta products, including edibles, vapes, and disposables. That's right, folks. Ferro Distro is your go-to destination for all things THC related. Get ready to elevate your experience with Ferro Distro's exclusive Ferro Exotics THCA buds. These buds are so premium, they practically come with their own red carpet. Crafted for all cannabis lovers, these USA indoor-grown beauties are the epitome of luxury. And for all you dabbing aficionados, get ready to savor the richness of our THCA diamond sauce. Trust me, once you try it, you'll wonder how you ever dabbed without it. These are the perfect pairing with DabX products like the DabX Go and the DabX Rocket, our premium dabbing equipment. And let's not forget our mouthwatering assortment of high-quality edibles, perfect for anyone looking to elevate their edible game. From Delta 8, 9, and even 10, we have an incredible assortment of edibles and many delicious designs. If you're looking to add a touch of wellness to your routine, explore Ferro Distro's range of CBD products and therapeutic mushrooms, because self-care never tasted so good. PKA fans, use code PKA20 for 20% off your whole order. You heard us, 20% off your whole order for being a fan of the show. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to ferrodistro.com to locate or to discover a world of premium THC products that cater to your every whim. Elevate your 2024 experience with Ferro Distro and make this year the best. That is ferrodistro.com, code PKA20, PKA20 for 20% off. That's the edibles. That's the dabbing equipment. That is the pre-rolls, that's the carts, that's anything and everything they have over there, 20% off. So check it out, particularly the DabX Go and the DabX Rocket, very high-quality dabbing equipment. If you're still dabbing the old-fashioned way with all those torches and whatnot, just know that when you have people over to your house, it looks sketchy. It looks sketchier than what you're doing. People who aren't familiar with weed and, and that class of drugs see a torch on your table and they go, this guy's not into weed. He's into something else. So mm. just know that. He's gay. Know that, folks. This guy's gay. This guy's as gay as the day is long. That's his gay to torch. <laughs> so that, That's homosexual paraphernalia. That is. Like to- yeah. Under under one of those grandfathered laws from Arizona from the yeah. 1542. That's for wax play. That's for wax play. So check it out, ferrodistro.com, code PKA20 for 20% off your entire order. Check it out. This episode is also sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about sex. Guys, shouldn't you always be at your best? 2024 is the year to maximize your performance in the bedroom. Listen up, bluechew.com. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online, so no visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversation, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. And we got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code PKA at checkout. Just pay the five bucks in shipping. That's five bucks in shipping. The rest is free. That's bluechew.com. Promo code PKA to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And big thanks to Blue Chew for, for sponsoring the show. Bluechew.com, B L U E C H E W.com, code PKA at checkout. Just pay the five bucks in shipping. And as always, to Dalafil, Kyle recommended that to us. That is the Cialis uh, ingredient. And 
Kyle did not lead us wrong. Seems to be the highest, uh, uh, highest satisfaction rate, at least of the three of us on this show. So check it out. We recommend it to Dalafil. Pay the five bucks in shipping. Bluetooth.com, promo code PKA. Get your first month free. And of course, this episode is also always brought to you by Lock and Load, the premium, premium ejaculation increasing mm. supplement taking the world by storm. Are you tired of, as Slush mentioned someone earlier, who's having li- two little two little poots of cum coming out of your penis? Because that's disgusting. No one wants that. Girls are going to jack you off or blow you or fuck you or whatever. You're going to finish nutting in your girl and she's going to go and be like, where's where's the load? It's, it should be dripping out of me right now. It, is it a ghost load? Did he fake his cum? They're going to think, think I'm fake. ugly. Am I fat? Should I start cutting? He must be gay. He's gay. He must be a homosexual. I'm going to leave him for faking orgasms in me and take the children. People are saying it, folks. If you don't come like a man, you're probably gay. I didn't make the rules. You're going to lose your wife, them. pussy? You're going you're gonna to lose? You want you're your children to have a new years? daddy who comes big, fat? Thick loads with the help of lock and load load. loads. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. (laughs) I think so. Nine pills a day, folks. Nine easy peasy pills a day so that you can start coming like a man and never disappoint your sexual partners with too little. uh, They say don't chew them, but I see that as a challenge. Don't chew them. They will taste gross. I don't (laughs) recommend chewing them. As with any pill, you're going to chew and you're going to go. <laughs> powder, don't you? <laughs> it's powder and it's not pleasant. It's going to be them? like a, a cinnamon challenge. You don't want to do that. Can you snort them? I uh, we don't recommend you that. You can boof them, but we don't recommend it. Oh, Use as directed, boof. folks. <laughs> Use the cum products as directed. Can Nine you, pills a day, five in the morning. You sound them. Don't do that. <laughs> that will both not work and be un- unpleasant. You get right to the source, though. No, it needs to go through all, all right. of the. I'm not going to okay. get into the science. All right, you're of, right. You're right. You're right. The science. I'm I not going to get into the science of, that I could very easily go into for hours on end. <laughs> Talk nausea. about the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell, uh, <laughs> all the other, uh, the cell wall, the membrane. The mitochondria. I read that the uh, mitochondria was was. Uh, it's like the fuel source of the cell, but uh, they they said that they think it evolved originally as like this separate being, like a single celled organism that was like. Friends with another and went inside. That sounds like hokum. A whole bunch oh. of nonsense. Do you reckon? Do you reckon the you mitochondria God went like was that. coming big loads into the other it's cell? It's either that or that. I, it, it I, was, it, the mitochondria came from coming big loads into other cells <laughs> scientifically. <laughs> and so lock it. and load, ejaculation increasing supplement. Get it for your dad. Mm. Get it for your brothers. Get it as a gag gift or get it to start coming like a man. Code PKA or code JIZ gets you 10% off any and everything over at Derek's wonderful site. It's a great Mind. idea for Father's Day. Father's it is. Day. You want Father's your kids to have a stepdad? Up. I don't huh? remember. Yeah. You want your kids to have a stepdad? They're going to call him daddy, yeah. just like your wife will. All right? Mm-hmm. Uh, start coming my, like my, a man. My True. dad's on the out. He shaved his beard, so I've definitely got two mums at the moment. So <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm going to have to uh, yeah, I'm getting strange. some lock and load yeah. for Father's that's Day. That's grandfather did in Australian law. Yeah, we, we now decree yeah, any it, man without a beard is a woman. There's, a, <laughs> there's, an, there's, an, there's an Australian band called uh, The Beards, and the, all they write is beard-related songs. And they 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 had one song called uh, "If Your Dad Doesn't Have a Beard, You've Got Two Mums," and it went really big in Australia for for a long time. And uh, it's great. Wow, it's, it's definitely true. If you don't have a beard, country. if I wasn't American, yeah. I'd want to be Australian. Can't believe that didn't make its way over at our shores. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it all the way it's here. just beardless Americans, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, should have followed Mel Gibson right along. Mel you guys got both beard it propaganda, out. dude. Great yeah. beards are not good looking. I yes, think you they guys are. are all crazy. No, you're you no. you're in they beard denial. You, You've grown your beard out a bit before when Jackie's out of town, and every time Kyle and I in you sincerity are it, like, you like mean parent. beards. I, I, Here's what you need to do to you need to do the Omni Man shit where you or or like. All right, Omni Man's the nice version. I'm listening. What I want is Hollywood Hulk Hogan, though. Zach, will you show me Hollywood Hulk Hogan real quick? Can you throw up a little image? You I think he'd look really Hulk good Hogan with a uh, yeah. with a beard, would he? Just uh, like a, not a huge beard, like a neat well, one. My no, beard comes white. in very gray. It's it's whiter than you might guess because I don't have much white. I have a little white hair under my um earmuffs yeah. or earphones, but um mostly I don't have white hair. But my beard yeah. grows in pretty gray. So yeah, uh, yeah, I get I get uh, I get a lot of gray around the sides, but mine's starting to go fairly salt and pepper as well. But, uh, Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> that's yes. a, that's a mean beard though. Pull that's up not a mean John beard. Stewart. That's hard as fuck. Dude, that rocks. Let's get a John Stewart pictures, Zach. This is how my beard actually oh, grows in. Yeah. Show. 
Oh, uh, see, that's younger me. But you can already see where the gray is like leading the charge. I don't even have gray over you, my you ears. You wait two more weeks after that point, you're going to be in primo beard land. Could you, could you do like some mutton chops for me? What do you just want? Just grow mutton chops <laughs> for me. Uh, I want you to look like uh, Lemmy from Motorhead. Oh, that's a good looking John Stewart. That's, that's nice. him at his best. I, I don't know. If... Show me Rick from Walking Dead when he's got that beard. <laughs> <laughs> don't you uh, mostly get the gray in like the the lower section too so that like naturally shapes it yeah i feel like it's mostly gray now i i'll, I'll take a look next time yeah it, i felt like it was do it sort of you know mixed in everywhere like, I mean, it gets grayer get really every year i think you can pull off mountain shops i think you'd look fantastic yeah <laughs> this is the beard look see that's that. a bit that's a bit wild like you got to have a certain look for the to pull that off it is that's like uh, that's longer than I would ever want it grown out yeah. because it's that's uncomfortable. That's Feral Rick right there. Like your, that's the most, beard uh, this is Rick at his highest power level, in my opinion. This is yeah. Feral mm-hmm. Rick. This is when See, he I, just I have got a, to Alexandria. Like, yeah, you have a long yeah. beard. I, I get. I, I, I have like, a I have a wild like a bushman beard, but that kind of that kind of suits my style. Clay, Woody's got more clean cut than me, so he'd look if you if you took his like his neater haircut and his his sort of neater aesthetic and then put a bushman beard on him, and it just looked like he was down on his luck. Yeah, you don't want that. Like, uh, I don't know. Okay. Right, it, it works for you though, Slash. Yeah, Dove, it but I just my it's my whole aesthetic. I just look like a piece of shit all the time. I'm happy, <laughs> with that, you know. I, I like to keep it. Mine's too long right now. I need to chop it down a little bit. Yeah, like mine's uh, your own hair on a live stream. Mine's, mine's getting there. Um, <laughs> go full cue ball, and I will donate. I, I shaved so, mine on uh, on live stream the other day. I, I'm still was, worried. I'm going bald. There's two dollars. It, it doesn't look like you're going bald. <laughs> uh, I think I'm like right. short hair. Yeah, oh, I shaved mine the other day. Uh, let let it me was, see the top. Long. You going bald? Let me see. Yeah. It's a little bit thinner oh. up there, but for a I 35 can't. year old man, I think I'm doing okay. But it's I so short, it's thinner, or like if that's it. just the way it's cut. Now it looks like it's a, a cowlick more than anything. Yeah, it's more like a cowlick, but it's a little bit thinner through the cowlick. But I think mm-hmm. I'm doing all right. I think I'm I'm, I'm definitely going to make it to sixty. I, I think without it, you could do. You could guarantee yeah. it with little. Uh, is it finasteride? What is the drug? It is. Yeah. 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 yeah would we you don't be like a uh, bald slush? Would you be a hat guy or a just? Like I, a I have a theory guy. that hat guys. Uh, the so like you know that like a hat guy is usually a hat guy before he's bald and i have a theory that wearing a hat all the time actually makes you go bald quicker i i think so too but it rubs at the side yeah i think i think that if if as they evolve into a hat guy they accelerate the process i think yeah i i I see the body gets up up and down yeah Yeah, yeah, they're just like, oh, we don't need that anymore, you know. Yeah. I see so the hat guy. The hat guy pisses me off. I uh, I remember one of my friends dating a guy, and he was a hat guy because he was bald. Mm-hmm. Obviously, at uh, he was he would have been about thirty at this at this stage, and he was fairly bald. Um, you, we went out to dinner to a nice restaurant, and the dude doesn't take off like his baseball cap. That's fucking weird. Like I don't. Oh well, you that's know. rude. Yeah, you got to take your hat yeah, off. You got to take your hat off. This is a nice restaurant. You don't go walk in there like we're wearing like we're wearing like sh- like almost suits, like sports jackets and and stuff like that. Like not full suited up, but he walks in wearing a sports jacket with like slacks on and he's got a baseball cap on it. Just yeah, fucking I'm weird, you. man. It, I don't want to guy, sit with that guy because he looks fucking weird. You know, if a guy mm-hmm. wears a hat because he feel like it improves his look because he's balding, I'm okay with it. But if a yeah. guy won't be seen with the hat off. That feels yeah. like a weakness, and I'm not impressed by that guy. I, yeah. I was teaching a guy how to fly a paramotor, and he was a hat guy. But I swear, when he switched to a helmet, it was like he'd get the helmet and the hat, and it was like the Indiana Jones scene where he drops <laughs> yeah. the crystal skull for the, <laughs> for the sandbag. Yeah. And we yeah. were just like quickly switched it over so nobody saw him, and he would like hide behind the golf cart to like make the change. Oh, and it's yeah. Like, that you is, know, you know, I, I have a plan. If yeah. I go bald... I'm going to become a gold tooth guy. No one will even <laughs> notice that yeah. I've gone bald because I'll I have, have, a gold I tooth. have considered gold tooth before. I, I've talked to my wife about it. She's on board. I think diamond I'm going to go gold tooth. <laughs> diamond grill, baby. <laughs> Not a full diamond grill. I'm thinking just one, just one yeah. gold tooth. I think, I, as as I said, the, the, the scumbag look, I'm leaning into it. 
Like I, I just go gold too. Yeah, complete. I, I, think, you know? I think you look pretty tight. The beard, yeah. the glasses, and there's just a gold glint every time. You know what yeah, make yeah. it better? Peg what? leg. A peg, peg leg. leg. Yes, That's exactly. He's not going pirate right. mode. Jesus Christ! <laughs> you know, but, don't but, put restrictions on who he can be. But that's that. The gold tooth would suit me though, because you know, okay. what, I'm, I'm like rough. I'm rough looking man. I'm covered in tattoos. Like you know, that's the vibe of that look. Yeah, the, the gold tooth. I think would suit me. I, I think I don't, the move I don't is to get it. a hat. Is to get a job that requires the hat. So you become a green beret. You start losing your hair, and you're you're solid. You're Everybody a construction a worker. Yeah. You're always prepared for falling objects. You're like, honey, you're you're at home. You're you're still wearing that yellow fucking hard hat. Ah, uh, you know Airline. me. I can't keep work at work. Airline <laughs> pilot, right? You're dressed in uniform all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. everyone calls you the captain. Uh, <laughs> this is good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, gold Woody, you see this? Cool. I'm sure you've seen the UFC 300 card. It's absolutely mm -hmm. astounding. I think. I think it's a very good card. Okay. Um, I, I'm. I'm, I'm, it yet. I'm super jazzed for this. I know everybody on the the main card, the prelims oh. and the early prelims. I know at least one of the guys who's fighting. Like I might not know both of them, but like all the way to yeah. like the very first fight of the night is uh, Davis and Figueroa versus Cody Garbrandt. Like that's the early prelim, like jerking the curtain first thing of the night. The second fight of the night is Bobby Green versus Jim Miller. Jim Miller has fought in at UFC 100, 200, and now 300. He's on that's a win crazy. streak. He's on like a four or five fight win streak or something like that. They've tried to feed him twi to to uh, young and up and comers twice, and he beat them both. So now they're <laughs> letting him go against Bobby Green, who's just a real fun fighter to watch and an older guy himself, um, barely in the top fifteen. Jessica Andrade. I hate Jessica. Did you Andrade. mention that he won it 100 and 200? Did you I say didn't that? mention that. I didn't know it. But, but I mean, I, that's great. I, he I actually he showed, showed up, up at like a press event with his UFC 100 jacket that's been in the closet for like 15 years. That's Sick. insane. <laughs> yeah. And Holly Holm, I forgot she existed. Mm -hmm. How? She fights every three months on a on a, like a, a fight night card. Yeah, man, I thought she just beat the <laughs> piss out of that other chick, and then everyone forgot about fucking Ronda Rousey. Rousey. Holly Holm yeah. it gets rolled out. She, I don't know how she is very active. She's always fighting, hey. um, and she's always one fight away from the belt, literally, uh, so, mm. because that those divisions are so fucking shallow. But yeah. all the way up the thing, like like Aljamain Sterling is is fighting uh, Calvin Cater, and Good that's fight. in the prelims. Yuri Prohaska is fighting uh, somebody I don't know, some scary man from Serbia, but mm -hmm. he's the number two uh, uh, heavyweight or light heavyweight mm -hmm. versus five Again, good fight. on the prelims. Bo Nickel um, is one I'm very excited about. I thought I saw him on the prelims, but on the website right now, he's not in the prelims. So I don't know. What yeah, to... they've got he's the main card, which is like huge yeah. for him. This is they're going to. Mm -hmm. I, they're, they're making sure they don't break their toy before it's ready to roll. I don't know who the terrible fuck odds. Oh, it's Cody Brundage. OK, well. You know, Bo oh, was going to stomp him, but still. I didn't, I uh, I remember having a look at this when two ninety nine was on, and the, and the card was definitely not this deep. I was. Built, I was he's like, been building as they went, and now yeah, interesting. This came out today, uh, so Max. I wasn't Holloway, pumped at all, and now I'm seeing it. I'm like, this is this is going to be good. Holloway versus Gaethje has um, Max Holloway pointed out today. He's like, hey, I'm looking around and I'm seeing all the promotions for UFC three hundred. Seems to be Max Holloway is fighting Justin Gaethje. You don't seem to be too worried about the Perea fight. You're not pumping that. You're not pumping um, the the Chinese fight. You're not pumping that. You're pumping my fight. It feels like I'm the headliner of this fight. So, uh, Hunter, you need to talk to my people. We need to get this money right because it's not looking. Uh, it's looking a little uh, not so good. And it's like they fight Saturday, don't they? Or is it next Saturday? <laughs> I saw that too. There was no conclusion. I you know think it's a little. They're what, I'm sure there's somebody I don't know scrambling either. right now negotiating. I, I did see um, a little late to start altering the contract three days before it's on. <laughs> that <laughs> like, might be the time. I don't. They might, maybe a, you time. know it's hard. The UFC negotiates well. I, I feel like if I was yeah. negotiating with Dana White, I would walk away with no money and a good lesson. Unless you yeah. wait till the last minute, where you can't be replaced, where they've made all the promotions already. They've they've put they've spent all the money. They sold all the shirts. Your name's on nah, the Nah, there would already. be there'd be there'd be walk away contract like uh ramifications. Like if he's just, just like, I'm not gonna fight and he's not injured, they'd be like, Okay, well then we're gonna ass rape you. Like they can't do anything to him. Yeah. I don't think they can do anything to him. Surely they can. They, they have they'll to. have ideas, right? Like he'll, he'll say I don't see him. He'd never, he never fight again. We're gonna he give you the hardest away. up and coming, no he name. Um they have to Vegas offer him. If, if for the rest of your career. He's Max Holloway. You don't give a fuck. That's what he. That's. I mean, he's. 
He's he's fighting Justin Gaethje. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Can you yeah, think yeah. Of, do you know any Dagestani scarier than Justin Gaethje other than Islam Makachev, the champion of the to world? To me, a lot of the Dagestanis are on Gaethje's scary level. No. Nobody okay. hits harder than Justin Gaethje at that weight class. It's scary. I well, there's more than one way to be scary. Go back and watch that Ferguson fight and listen to him. <laughs> so that, people Ferguson. don't know, that fight was during COVID. And there was no crowd. So you would just yeah. hear the crack like of those hit. punches. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it's like a car dude, hitting a carcass. It's he was yeah. tapping <laughs> that man's face with, with yeah. these huge power His punches. own coach was like, dude, chill. You're going to kill him. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to kill him. Take something off the like, Yeah, though. he's like, he's like, you're hitting him at 100%. Yeah. You're down to 70. Something close to that. Yeah, this is one of the, this is obviously a, the premier card of the year um it's it's one of the biggest mm -hmm. cards ever uh it's to me it's frankly lacking i mean look they brought out a lot of names i know and i get that like i think 10 percent of the champions ever are fighting or something like that like like it's the mm, okay. you know what i mean like 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 it's it's crazy the pedigree of that these fighters have but it is lacking that real name because yeah we're I stopped. I didn't even mention Ferreira because I don't look. It's cool that he's fighting. I don't think he deserves to be fighting for the belt at that way. It's kind of a weird fight. Ferreira seems to be this weird, like actual mythical fighter who could mm -hmm. just go into a weight class and karate chop the the guy you thought was the goat at will. Um, and but just some of like, the biggest draws. John mm -hmm. Jones comes to mind. Conor, Conor McGregor, McGregor comes to mind. You know anyone else that is really yeah. big? I mean, Sugar Sean, I guess, is trying to get that big. Okay, I don't know if okay. he is. But, uh, like, Sean Strickland, you might argue, is one of those like names people come to watch. Yeah. Uh, none of them Just, are there. Uh, Conor McGregor the other day talking about finding the uh, Paul brothers. He's uh he's like I oh, they, they just uh they call it a nixer in uh in Ireland. It's where you go and just do like a cash job on the weekend for one of your mates. He's like, yeah, it's not that serious. I mean, if one of them offers me, yeah, I'll just go and kick the shit out of him, and then yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> it's like. I'd like to see that because, um, okay, let's all agree that Conor McGregor is a really skilled striker, but those Paul brothers are gigantic and weight classes exist yeah. for a reason. So, it, yeah, yeah. Conor hadn't fought in a long time. Um, I feel like lately <clears throat> he's not fighting because the UFC is like saving him for some sort of th plan that they have. They're trying to find the right spot to put him in, and he seems really restless and angry about that. Um, the they real put him in at 300. Oh. They should have done something with him at 300. I, they, they, like, I can't tell what the truth is long because enough. he he was filming Roadhouse oh, he for a while tested. and he was oh, okay. promoting Roadhouse. Not long for a while. enough. And when I watch yeah. Connor promote Roadhouse, he is clearly on drugs. Like he is ha mm. struggling with substance abuse right now. It, he the, didn't look well. Uh, I haven't watched that yet. But I hear it's a, a good laugh. Uh, I plan to. I watched. But, every yeah, he fight didn't look scene. good. I saw all the highlights on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, I want to see the talking and I want to see him okay. try to act. And I heard he was better than you might guess. Yeah. So yeah. Apparently, to... apparently, he has a few really quotable, funny lines. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, it's uh, but he, I mean, he's Irish. I mean, anything Irish can't so, say you can just quote because they they sound right. hilarious. So Taylor, yeah, the greatest had... fighter of all time, had a little trouble this week. George St. Pierre. Uh, John Jones. Oh, John no, Jones. Taylor's right. I tried hard um, to like. No, you did fine. He, I was hoping always. when I said that you're going to be like, "Wow!" <laughs> <laughs> so the UFC hired these new drug testers, and uh, <laughs> one thing they've always done uh, with the previous system and with the new one is they'll pop in on you wherever you are. They they they'll show up on Conor McGregor's yacht. They'll like sail out to him and be like, "Ahoy there! Going to need some piss and blood, matey!" And they come <laughs> aboard and they take it. Um, so they show up at John Jones' house at the crack of 4 p.m., dude. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the crack Literally the crack of 4 p.m. <laughs> all right. You know, and he, as you can imagine, very upset about that. And there's a little he said, yeah. she right said. Right in the middle here. of the second lunch. <laughs> right in the middle of his second lunch. And there's a little bit of a he said, she said here. She says that John Jones was like, you people are fucking stupid showing up here like this. Don't you know? People show up at my house like that, they end up dead. And then he that takes seems... the fucking phone away. He's like, maybe, and he puts in his pocket, maybe hangs on to it a minute. And then I guess he gave him their sample eventually when he was good and ready. And then she went and like filed a police report. So now he has a summons. So he's got to show up in court um, to, to answer for these, these um, supposed alleged charges. Interestingly so enough. What's the charge? What well, telling her that he's showing up on his stealing, stealing her phone? Oh. Uh, I, I don't know what the charges are, but I know that. Um, 
uh, he he. I know part of his defense is going to be the security cam video outside where he like high fives her and kind of has a, a jokey <laughs> "see you next time" kind of interaction with her on the outside, and it's like that that doesn't look good. But she's gonna be. Like, I was afraid for my life. I yeah. felt like if I didn't dap up John Jones, he was gonna snap me. <laughs> like maybe that's her side of things. I don't know. We but it is wild that he seems he, like a real rap scallion, dude. He's the best. He's the fucking best. Like, Do you think I you should have done more? To shut down what? corrupt uh, drug testing agent. I think he did enough. Like you don't want to hit a woman like who's who's not your wife if you're John Jones. Um, but uh, right, wives only. Why would you hit his wife? wife? It's like hey, it's like keying your own car. It's your wife. Why the <laughs> fuck would you do that? That doesn't make any sense. That's true. I like no. That logic. It's like correcting your dog, but not Woody's dog. I would never slap Woody's dog and correct it if it like stepped out of line. That's for Woody to do. It's mm-hmm. his possession. It's his. Property. You've both made strong arguments. <laughs> I, feel like, I, feel like, I feel like hitting other people. I've got an Arizona territorial be. law that'll back up anything. Uh, I, I feel like hitting other people's. I feel yeah. like hitting other people's kids should be allowed because I see a lot of kids oh, yeah. that my, my friends have that are really poorly behaved, and they don't hit them. I feel like they should be hit more often. I should be able to step in on that. Yeah, you, you know? should be able to give them a little thump in the forehead. Yeah. Even just like it fucking uh, just a backhand slap. Like, I'm not going to punch him. Sure, yeah. sure. I mean, just, uh, it takes a village to raise a child, right? Exactly. Yeah, like, a mm-hmm. village of violent men. <laughs> 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 to raise a terrified child. That <laughs> goes on to terrify his children. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, mm. so is John Jones. Did you, did you hit gonna... your kids, Woody? Let's... No, I didn't. Um, my wife would give him the soap. And she has regrets oh, about that level of corporal so, punishment, but yeah. um, I think she was right. <laughs> there uh, was I a swear, time, oh, dude, I've I told this story like four times. Um, my daughter Hope was maybe eight or something like that, 10, I don't know. And she was yelling at my wife, just yelling, like in your face, screaming, no holding back. And Jackie's like, you're going to get the soap. This is something she threatened, but never followed through on her whole life up to this point. And, uh, I love this. So Hope is undeterred. She knows this is a baseless threat, right? This mm-hmm. isn't going yeah. anywhere. The and book. she's screaming at Jackie. They're in like the downstairs half bath. And Jackie has this um like liquid soap. Right, so and she puts it on her hand and she's like, you're going to get the soap if you keep it up. And Hope is right inches from her face. Like, ah, 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 just screaming. I don't know what. And like a ninja, Jackie comes in. Whoops, right? <laughs> Coats her tongue with liquid soap. Hope keeps yelling and she blows bubbles. If Jackie were here, she'd be like, Yeah, that was a parenting mistake. But I don't agree. I, I think no. she was right on the money. I right. think that was I, necessary. I, I had many beatings as a child. Oh, I, I oh, felt yeah. gommel. I, right. I felt Dude, you could set a clock by how often I got spanked as a kid. <laughs> my, my dad, my dad got my brother with a really good one once. He's like, uh he, my my twin brother kept saying shit, and he's like, Don't say that word. And he's like why not it's just shit he's like if you do that i'll put shit in your mouth and he's like he's like uh oh, shit 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 like saying it we're, we're pretty young he's probably about eight years old as well and my dad uh my dad got up and left the room and we, we were just like oh he's not going he's he's going to pee or something like that and uh he comes back and he has this like brown on his hand and it looks like shit and he comes in and he just like grabs the back of his head and just like smears it all in his mouth and my brother freaked the fuck out but it was it turned out to be nutella but my brother <laughs> fucking freaked because he told him it was going to be shit it looks yeah. like Fucking shit! His face is covered in shit. Uh, he, he, he did swear. <laughs> he didn't swear yeah, he's got yeah, he's got no towel over his face. He's like, oh, but b- fiddlesticks! Yeah, ah. yeah, yeah. It, was, it was very funny. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he got him. <laughs> I love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I don't man. know if you should beat children or not, though. It's hard to say. Um, I, guess it, I think it depends on the child. Some kids just seem so shitty. You know, you know, they piss you off. You got to take that rage out yeah. somewhere. It depends on the kid, I think, and the. Than yeah. the parent, like, so measured. you guys are like, What did you ever hit kids? No, but like, I swear, I could just be disappointed, I could bring them to tears if I ever wanted to. You know, yeah. I didn't need to hit them to get their full attention. And well, some kids will respond that. like that, and yeah. some kids they don't respond unless you get physical. Yeah, I wasn't scared, I wasn't scared. You had, you yeah, had, you see, had... we're. Kyle might have needed the a little ruler <laughs> on his bottom or something. A ruler? <laughs> you get the fucking belt. <laughs> it, it right. depended who, like, like my, my, it. I, my mom was too weak to really corral me, so she yeah. had more of a like a 
like an attack that she would do. Like she'd come at you. me. Oh, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. Five to five to twenty, somewhere in there. Twenty. Um, <laughs> I would have guessed. Still that. Hit by your mom at twenty. <laughs> no, probably like probably to like twelve, or thirteen or something. I remember yeah. the last time she whipped my ass. She tackled me to the ground and beat me up. Um, and and uh, yeah, uh, I was I was like maybe twelve, and it, and it was it was ridiculous. And, and after that, I decided that. I, I I wasn't gonna let that happen again. I was gonna get a low base, you know, yeah. and, and and keep her at range. Yeah. You know? Low center of gravity. Yeah. Jab, jab, jab. jab circle, work on, yeah, circle. work on your work on your spicing. You know? just jabbing and circling. Just jabbing and circling. There's this family yeah. lore in the Woodworth household of my father. He used to get hit by his mom all the time. And uh when my dad was like twelve or so, he held both his mom's wrists, my grandmother, and and said, Listen. The you hitting me days are over. We're going to have to start talking things out. And it worked. And then my brother, knowing that story, inspired by it, that same thing happened. Held my mom's wrists. Hey, the you hitting me days are over. You know, you, we're going to have to start talking going forward. And it happened. So Woody, who didn't hit puberty until he was 33, <laughs> held his mother's wrists. And, and I'm like, hey, the you hitting me days is over. And she's like, what? Unleashed a combo. So began the worst down, up, down, left, of, right, left, right. Uh, <laughs> so began the worst uh, beating of my life. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> no, my mom would attack me, so she'd be swinging a belt or a, a clothes hanger or something like that. Maybe throwing that if I like sparked it off. Like we'd go back and forth, and I'd really punctuate something with a mean word or something, and. She'd fling a shoe at me or something, but it was usually in a full on assault. The Lachanka. Because, because I would <laughs> run from her. Yeah. Um, but dad would e either capture me or he'd be like, get over here. And I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> he's so fucking scary. <laughs> you better get over here. He was, he was sub zero. It's going to be worse if get you over make here. me run. Scorpion. You know I Scorpion. hate running. <laughs> that's so funny just, you're true you're right when dad yelled it was like i would get a sinking feeling in my stomach like oh no i know what's coming i shot the window out of his truck one time i was like four or five and he starts chasing With me gun? And, and i yeah and i start running and he was working on the truck bb gun and uh shoot that shoot the side window out and he chased me and they had a water bed and it had this crawl space and like back behind it and i got under there and he was like <laughs> <laughs> Reading so like a like something out of Lord of the Rings, like ah, ah, like trying to pull me out of there, and I'm back. You know, I'm four or five. I'm I'm, I'm like down in this little crevice, like <laughs> dragging you pit in this case. Okay, I, I don't remember. I don't think he. I don't think I got a whipping for that. I think he like cooled off enough while I was in there to be like. Why the fuck did I give a four year old a beat? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you loose. know what? Part of this is on me. <laughs> yeah. I, well, now, explain so. the how did you shoot at a truck window? Were you shooting at the truck window? I shot it. Yeah. Bad decisions. Yeah. Okay. No, I, 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 I remember it wasn't distinctly. Like a I was negligent. standing. No, no, I was standing in the front yard. We had a big sand um, box. Um, mm -hmm. We had a big like oval shaped sandbox that we play in a big oak tree in it. And then on the other side of that, like our yard was asphalt with a big like circle drive. And he was working under the hood of his truck over there. And I was standing over here and I looked and saw his and I just shot the window out on purpose right next to him while he was working on it. 100 hmm. percent on purpose. Bad decision making. Four year old, you know, you know, it's just like, oop, bitch. Like, you're not even thinking, you just do it. I didn't know it would have broken. <laughs> How could I? I mean, that was probably part of it. I probably shot it before or something like What's that. What's the and subreddit called? Oh no, consequences. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I hit my uh my half sister, I cracked her skull open one time when I was also like four or five. Yeah, I was literally a broken yet. skull. Uh no, split yeah. the skin open on her head, requiring stitches. I hit her in the head with one of those old timey like uh, carpenters levels, the ones that are wood and with steel corners and stuff yeah. like that. Not Oof. that like plastic shit that everybody sells now. Big heavy fucker. I hit her right in the top of the head. Like me swing over overhand with both hands. What's the age head. difference again? She has a few. Years I was like her, right? four, and she was probably fourteen. Probably oh. something like that. Like okay, maybe twelve, so maybe four and twelve. That that sounds closer. One of my like a pretty big gap. Yeah. In yeah, college, I it, uh, one of my swim teammates had his skull cracked open. Uh, one of our friends was like a really large, like black eye with dreadlocks. And 
The swimmer thought it would be funny in a dorm room. It's a steel door. It's like an external door, even though it's a dorm room, like a hotel. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he thought it'd be funny to crack the door open and go, hello, like like he didn't know who was outside. And the guy who was outside thought it would be funny to kick the door open like a policeman and have it swing. These were not coordinated jokes. Yeah. So his head was like two inches from the door. And when he kicked it, he cracked his skull and I saw the x-rays. It was literally a broken skull and Ooh, yeah, yeah. he had yeah. bad headaches for a while. How were his grades? <laughs> they were <laughs> they never good, but uh, well, yeah, they, they went for bad and stayed right there. <laughs> <laughs> didn't negatively impact him. Yeah. I accidentally greenhouse. Now like, I didn't crack. break my brother's skull, but I did hit. We were having a pillow fight and I hit him. I like, I borderline took him off his feet with a pillow swing. It was such mm-hmm. a, a heavy swing at him and it knocked him right into a fireplace. And he needed a bunch of stitches up here. And I remember like, we were at, we were at a friend's house too. And so like there was blood running down his face and he was like, ooh, ooh, because he was freaking out. <laughs> oh. I, I was already in my head like, all right, how do we. How do we frame this for dad? Like, <laughs> because how do we make this more palatable yeah. for We're only dad. a year and a half or so apart, my that brother and I? And so it wasn't like a wild mm. amount of bullying. It was just, I've said it before, like I was very large for my age and he was not. Yeah, I cracked my other age. sister too. Like, when I was, when I was, when I was like five, I was out in the, the sandbox I mentioned. I had a hoe and I was your sister. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I had a I had a garden implement and I was digging uh, in in the sand. And every time I dig and like, you know, remove a little sand, she would lean into the hole and like add some with her plastic shovel, which is infuriating, you know, four or five year old me to no end. And I gave her a couple of warnings and then somehow she got hit in the head with the shovel, with the, the hoe. Yeah, and, who's to know, say? Who's to say? Cracked her, mm. cracked her, like her eyebrow open, like, like cut her open there. We got my got my sandcastle made. Let's just say that. Does she have a permanent scar? Ah, eyebrow covers it. Okay, okay. Yeah. That adds character. <laughs> it adds character. We we yeah. mostly had a, a rule about like or I I, I guess it mostly come, came down to me cuz I was the biggest and the oldest, but like I never used weapons. And when I d- would hurt my brothers, it was always an accident. Aside from one incident where I did tie my younger brother up, put him in a wagon at the top of a hill, pushed him down the hill. And he ran into a tree and bounced his head off that tree a little bit, a little like a minor. Tell me this, because I see this mm. in the movies. Is there when when something like that happens? Is there a big, like, initial effort for you and maybe your your the brother that's closest to you to make the to be like, you're not hurt, you're not hurt, ha 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 ha, don't cry, don't cry. Yeah, Woo, it's literally, cry. Uh, it's literally Reservoir Dogs. I'm like, you're gonna be okay. <laughs> You're not dying in the back of this car. You're not. You're not dying in the back. Yeah. Well, yeah. that one was especially bad because, and I know I told this years ago, so I'll keep it quick. I, you know, those play school wagons, like those like big plastic wagons that you would in like the '90s oh, see a woman okay. like pulling young kids in, not mm-hmm. like a stroller or a tram for the Brits and Australians. Not a red and, ladder uh, either. I, I don't remember radio. I, I don't remember what I even tied him up with, but it wasn't even a good tie job. He could have escaped if he had a little gumption. And I have I <laughs> wrapped him up in it, and then I put him in this. And I was like, we had a very steep hill. Like people would come from around the neighborhood, like neighborhood friends, to use our hill for sledding because it was so steep. And there was one giant willow tree in the back, and I was holding it. I was holding him up. The only thing was keep that was keeping him from flying down this hill was was me holding it. And my dad was up on the the patio behind us and he goes, Taylor, don't you let that go. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and, I, and I wanted to see what happened. And so I let it go anyway. And like, as soon as I did, cause it should have just there anywhere else in the yard, it could have come to a gentle rest, Dude. like of its own volition. But he just went, bop, 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 slammed into the tree. He bounced out of it like a crash test dummy, smacked his face and head on the, the willow tree bark. Jesus. And my dad came down there and he gave me, gave me what for. That was Did he set. steer it so into scary. the tree, or was he just a passenger? He was, he he was, was just, bound he was just to a chair. Pa- he was bound to it, and the so wagon. he had no control to the wagon. And so okay. I didn't try to drop him into the tree. I just didn't plan. I remember seeing him go down and being like, don't hit the tree, don't hit the tree. Dad's going to, if I if he hits the tree, then the dad had a point this whole time. Like a guided <laughs> missile. Like a guided missile oh. smashed into that tree. And then also when I was like 
four, definitely four. Uh, my dad was shooting sporting clays with his buddy. His buddy was a deputy sheriff, and I'm trying to get his attention. Uh, apparently, I'm like, hey, 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 and you know, nobody's talking to me because the two grown men are talking. And I found the biggest rock that I could that I could pick up. You know, I'm, I'm four, but must have must have been pretty big because apparently I smashed his I did down on his friend's foot and broke his foot, <laughs> and he could <clears throat> and he had to take time off from being a sheriff's deputy for for like. So broke his fucking foot with a rock. <laughs> That's my favorite story. That like and the dude like needs milk. Yeah, yeah I love it. his bad yeah, bones was clearly strong. the cause of all that. Yes. Not the delinquent child. Mm -hmm. Were you were a strong four year old picking up big stones. Perhaps so. Perhaps so. Yeah. Oh man, that's. I'm trying to remember any other silliness I engaged in that like actually resulted in someone being hurt. I pulled both of my friend's arms out of his shoulder sockets Jesus on Christ. accident. Were you swinging him? I was swinging him. Yeah, you were. Yeah. He, wa he wanted to do it. Swung him around. Everyone else had a good time That's with strong something. shoulder ligaments. And like, I thought it was, everyone was having a blast. Then he gets hurt. It may have only been one shoulder. I think he was being dramatic. That's, yeah, no big deal. Yeah. He was whining the whole time afterward when it was like, Alex, come on, let's just play Pokemon Red, make a couple of trades, forget this whole thing happened. But he what was you in think a about sour mood. I want to shift gears and talk about, first of all, you sent me that hilarious picture of Mac from It's Always Sunny in <laughs> yeah. Philadelphia. Um, I put it in the chat over there. It's If you scroll up just a little bit, it's the fucking, um, ah, shit, I'll relink it. I oh, can't find Yeah, here it shit. is. I'm yes. going to relink it. I got to grab it from somewhere. It's like the uh, the actor in Shogun looks so much like Mac from It's Always Sun Mac, uh, from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Does Shogun have two episodes left? Either two one. or one. I'm not sure. We're either. I, I don't like know if we're on seven or eight. Slowly. Am I crazy? Mm, I think. think well, there's there's a big build up for the final battle. That's that's what you know. That's what we're doing. I mean, it's ten episodes, and the big build up is a good the last four, maybe. Probably. That's. that's um, I think there's two episodes left. It's my it's my best guesstimation. Mm. Um, I, I'm digging it. I'm liking all the character stuff. I, I'm. I'm still. I'm. They're trying to figure out if this guy's given up or if it's a ploy the whole time, and then finally you, you figure it out. Or we know, but they, not not everyone in the show knows. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. Um. Still loving the show. Can't wait till it's complete. And I think, like I said earlier, it's, these mini series like this, when you've got a big story to tell, are so wonderful. Yes. Uh, especially when they're well made. I, I bet it's yeah. a lot of money. Um. To make something like this, I don't know what it costs per episode, but you would think. 10 million, 25 million an episode, somewhere in that range. Um, so it's it's ex expensive fucking thing. It's like making a movie, but it's... I can't even estimate. The CGI, I suspect there's a lot of CGI, and I can't tell. So that I says can't, something. Yeah, I can't tell either. Obviously, when there's... I think there's some people who got shot with a cannon, blown apart, you could tell there, but... Um, but like, um, if, there's... if they're like making the buildings... So they've got buildings that are clearly buildings that we're living in, and then you've got CGI in the distance, and then there's this really good blending of the yes. foreground and the background that makes that lends to both. It make the the real shit makes the CGI stuff look better, and the real stuff is made to such high levels, like the craftsmanship that's clearly been put into making this little these all of these cities and villages and yeah. places we like, travel to. A couple of times, um, the main in charge character, not the white guy, but the Japanese guy. <clears throat> yeah. has fallen either like off a cliff or from an earthquake or something. And I can't tell how much of that scene is CGI and how much of it is like studio. Mm -hmm. um, there's been fields full of armies and such. And I'm like, I don't, I have no idea what this costs to make. Is this CGI? Is this people? So yeah. to their credit, <laughs> it's like Wolf of Wall Street almost where you didn't realize how much gosh darn CGI was in Wolf of Wall Street. None of those mm -hmm. buildings look like that. None of those boats look like that. That prison didn't look like that. The tennis courts didn't look like that. So much didn't look like that. But I had no idea when I watched. They've the always done it. Um, but but and and like their CGI in Sopranos, their CGI, and I'm not just talking about Livia's head. Their CGI and The Wire, um, mm. and and uh, some of that stuff looks shitty. When the, when they put Livia's head back on, it's ghoulish. Who are we and, talking uh, about? Livia, Tony Soprano, Soprano's mother. Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh, in her last episode, she's all CGI'd in. It looks absurd. They take footage from before and they like. Oh, she's dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in real she life. died, yeah, and, and they and so they just take her her head and like. 
whatever technique they use, just cut a circle around it and then put it on a different actress's body and have Tony talk to it. And the and 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 she's it's she's so iconic, or maybe it's because I've seen the show so many times. But I'm like, I remember this scene clearly. Like mm -hmm. I know what she's actually saying. Yeah, get out. <laughs> Whatever she's saying, mm -hmm. like I remember that her already oh, saying that before. You know the audio that they used. Yeah, it's to iPhone. me, it's like hearing a, a lyric from a song. It's like I, I just need to hear Brandy. She's a, <laughs> and I know. I I I'm know. addicted to that song lately. Yeah, I don't need the rest of the lines. I, I I know where we are in the melody because I've heard this so many times. So that shit. And then in the wire, they would have buildings that like the towers that that the that they were running drugs in. Those weren't mm. real. Like those are CGI buildings. And then in Sopranos, mm. they'd have some like some a uh, lot of lot of signs. Like if you if you've got a fake hideout or a fake business, they'll take like a nice fancy library and then just put Acme Chemical Company like CGI mm. up there and make it look look official. Mm. Oh, it was like but a, yeah, it was two thousand. But yeah, I'm um, I'm looking, I'm uh, I'm really enjoying Shogun. I'm watching that, and I'm watching uh, Invincible. Invincible came out tonight, and I'm super excited to see Wait. the next episode of that. I thought it was over, Invincible. Not even um, so. <clears throat> so they broke the second season into two halves. Mm -hmm. uh, the first half ends with Mark and Omni Man being defeated on the insectoid planet, and Omni Man yeah. being taken away by the Viltrumites and Mark being maybe dead. Well, the rest of that season has been debuting for about a month and a half now. And uh, so we're like four or five more episodes deep, something like that. I'm uh, maybe three or four episodes, but it's been excellent. It's been very good. Huge monumental things have been happening. Main characters have been have been dying and like dying heroically and like really cool scenes. Uh, it's been very good. Uh, I love, love, love Invincible. It's one of, a, a, honestly, I hate to say it, that that Jeff Bezos guy over there, they're making some good fucking entertainment. I, outside I looked of the it up, Kyle. I'm right. In Invincible's done, but I don't know. Um, the last episode came out on the 4th, and I saw it. The 4th? April 4th. Uh, was that the end of the season? Yeah. April 4th. So last week was the the finale of the. Did you see it where Omni Man said, "I miss my wife"? Yeah, I think is that that's the end the, of the season. I think so. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Oh, Are you sure? Oh, God is burning. I I thought I, think I my son told me the slush puppy. Your audio is not right. Um, my son told me it was over, and I was like, "Oh, is it?" And I googled it, and he confirmed he was right, and he told me I was wrong. So I I looked it up just now again, and it it seems like Colin's still right. Shit! I didn't realize that was the final episode. That feels that felt a little anticlimactic. What the fuck? It's a bit okay. of a cliffhanger. Yeah, I mean, it is the night before his execution, <laughs> <laughs> right? And he's decided that he missed his wife, so maybe he wants to live and come back to Earth. Yeah, I didn't realize that was the season's finale. Well, I have I have to wait another year. Then they they have promised that the animation is going to be much quicker now. Uh, and, and <laughs> there was we'll a scene it. in Invincible that I really liked. I, I forget. They were talking about comics or something. And he's like, yeah, you can save some money, you know, by just showing the back of the character's head or, you know, making it so just the lips move. And as they said the first thing, they did that. As they said yeah. the second thing, they did they're that. Hiding the character's mouth so you don't have to animate the lips. You know, stuff like that. And he's like drinking a <laughs> cup of coffee. Yeah. Having this conversation. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed that bit of meta to... Mm -hmm. I, you still uh, like I hear them say that animation takes forever, mm -hmm. but I just don't understand it. I'm sorry, I don't understand why. Draw monster. I don't understand why one person doesn't draw like these. Mark saying these five words, and another person right after them is drawing Mark saying the next five words. Your, your mic's fuck slush. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's oh, good. Jesus it's just sucks. too much gain. It's very loud. I heard that um, crackly vape though. Yeah, it was the yeah, right source. So everything's working. It's just the gain, I think. Mm. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, that's one of issues. Um, no, no, he's he's just exasperated at how annoying <laughs> it is. Yeah, that's disappointing about Invincible. Anyway, it's a very good show, regardless. Um, J.K. Simmons is great in that, and I like the story. I like how much. I don't I'm know. I'm fighting my microphone. No, no he's not there. You won. You've hey. defeated it. Yeah, you fixed it. Finally, man. <laughs> Me and PK, PKA audio issues. Name, <laughs> right. Name a more iconic duo. Yeah. So, what are you doing? Are we going to get a new angle of Kyle? 
And I'm just so trying gonna, to move. I like kicked the, the, the cord under, like under goes through there, and I kicked the cord and it like pulled it over there. So I'm just trying to pull it just back. Trying to get back to your normal. Mm. I had to take my dog to that's the, uh, the Patreons, the uh, under under desk cam. Oh, the under the desk one. Yeah. I mean, I'm wearing pants. Like, I don't know. Oh, that's yeah. all right. Are you kind of hold it? It's about the feet. I'd be surprised all, if you weren't wearing pants. You got like four layers on. You'd look ridiculous with no pants on. Just Winnie the Pooh in it all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a news a newscaster. Yeah. They never they never wear pants behind the desk. You know they don't. That's always an awkward look in the bedroom after sex if you're Winnie Pooh in it. Yeah. Like, bouncing that's around. A, that's the thing. You're, like you're a, a, a girl in first. a girl in just a t shirt, nothing hotter. A guy in just a t shirt, the ugliest fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm not Winnie the Pooh. I like to think of myself as an anteater. Yeah, when well, you just got like, yeah, it's like a sea cucumber just poking out of his hole, man. Like, you, you don't need that in your life. Yeah, I like, don't know. I no never put a shirt on before the whether yeah. it's jeans, pajama pants, whatever. You go, yeah. you go underwear, then you go socks, then you go pants, mm. then you go shirt, yep. then you go shoes. And that's I the logical. It as it comes. You yeah. just take you. You'll put a shirt on before you put shirt underwear on. or yeah, pants. Yeah, if I'm getting on. yeah, I'll just like like whatever's there in front of me. Like I'll throw you know like take whatever I'm gonna put on and put it over there and then just kind of grab it. In a, You're a real bon vivant, live and let live kind of guy. Yeah. I'm with Kyle though. I, I think this seems extremely structured. You're you're dressing yourself in order like it's a ritual. It's just yeah, the natural like order that it goes. Hey. Is, it, is it like when they dress, when they put the Space Marines armor on? They're like yep. got those incense urns from the chain <laughs> waving them about. Yeah. <laughs> First thing you do is you open your underwear drawer (laughs) and you try and find your most favoritist underwear. And then you go, oh, I don't have that one. And so, Mm -hmm. or those, that kind. And so I'm going to go with the second kind. Yeah, the golden boy. Not a specific one. That would be absurd. But uh, where's my, where's my cotton boxer briefs? Oh, I don't have those. Extra absorbent. It's hot out today. Extra absorbent when it's hot out. Mm. Dude, there's, There's they they were on this something with 100% cotton briefs for so many years. Really? Yeah. It's more Mm. comfortable. No, what is that material? Modal or something? My, uh, uh, Modal. Modal. I said my doll. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you ever gone with ba- bamboo once before? Yeah, that's, what, that's what Modal underwear? is. That's what Modal is. That, is. Oh, it is? Oh, okay. That shit's yeah. good. Oh. Yeah. that's. I'm wearing some now. They're very I thought comfy. it was literally bamboo underwear, like Dutch shoes. It's like something. <laughs> like, oh, so God. oh my God! Have you tried bamboo? They like take the bamboo and they like break it and open it slowly it's the until you got a that sheet get you. of it. Yeah, He's walking yeah. around crackling. Oh, Jesus, the things Gilligan never told yeah. us. It yeah. reminds me of those uh, those TikToks where you see like a nine hundred year old Asian man just making some really highly crafted like mahjong set out of bamboo except it's he's making yeah. underwear for. or i like yeah. watching the the really elderly japanese guys occasionally there's like youtube compilations of them making sushi yeah yeah that's solid it makes me so hungry every time oh, 100%. but even like i'll even be enjoying the artistry of it and at, at a point like even watching it i'm like like you you can hurry up a little yeah. bit Man, like, I got uh, you can go a little. The other day. I was uh, really I was hamming playing, it up um, there, aren't you, Hoshi? Yeah. I, was, I, was, I was playing. Uh, I love it when they do, and they like they like touching the meat fuckloads. It's like, man, I don't want that. Like, yeah, it's I, like part I, of his technique. Playing, is uh, not watching his hands. I was playing Dragon's Dogma the other day, and it's it's just like mm-hmm. the weirdest cut thing in this uh, in this game. Like, you're um, you've got like it's all the in-game graphics, and then you set up camp and you cook food there. And then for some reason, it just cuts to this like super high res, like 4K shot uh, of a campfire with like a metal plate on it cooking a tomahawk steak. And it and it just like pans across it. And it, it was the most fucking delicious steak I've ever seen. And I was already so starving. I'm like, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to end my stream. I'm going to go and eat a steak. Like, I'm fucking out of here. This game, this game fucked me. Like, Quick, someone donate me a steak amount of money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'd go to the supermarket, buy a fucking steak. Like, oh, you make your, you were making your own that night? I had to because I just seen a, a good looking steak. I had, to, good. I had to eat one. Yeah. That is a fun part of being like, like something I enjoyed in like very early adulthood was like, I could just go to the grocery store and buy whatever I want and make anything. Yeah. And then realizing, like, oh, it takes practice. You're bad at all this. <laughs> yeah, you, and, and you have to do it every night. <laughs> and you have to do it every night. Yeah, yeah. And then you eventually get to the point where it's like, oh, if I eat everything I want all the time, I'm going to die. Yeah. The or, trick um, is to, like, leave it out on the counter so it goes bad and you don't eat the whole thing. So, like, 
I do I that with pizza whole, when I order pizza. I, I made a whole cake one night. I was like, I want a slice of cake. I looked at what it caught. It's like, all right, I can order one for twenty-seven dollars. Okay. Twenty-seven bucks. <laughs> all right, or I could. I'm look. I'm like, I've got flour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm halfway there. It's just yeah. flour and eggs and fucking oil. So it's sugar. Like, just bake my yeah. own. Yeah, and sugar. Yeah, just bake my own fucking cake. But then I leave it on the counter to either go bad or the dog will get it. My dog's <laughs> fucking like a hyena. It'll get up if. <laughs> It'll climb all the way up on the counter and like get stuff that's all the way tucked away from them. I wake up every morning and I'm like, fuck. All right. All right. Let's go clean the yard up. They drag <laughs> out in the yard today was oh, a, a hammer, a bread knife, uh, <laughs> a pair of snipping pliers, <laughs> half of a bag of Tostito scoops from guacamole movie night and fucking <laughs> the guacamole dish. Very much empty. Yeah. And, <laughs> and what Love's else? Calling. He's going to shit like a demon today. <laughs> and, and just it's like an empty Amazon box they just took outside and beat up. How do they exactly get outside? The I went oh, outside they, they've got uh, dog door. They've got like yeah. free access to go in and out of the house yeah. all the time. There's, I see Slush's dog coming in and out. two dog time. doors yeah. they have to go through, so I've and created a fucking doggy corridor. I know. Well, I went out. I went out the other day to mow the lawn, and I found my fucking wallet and my vape out there. Right? They, they, I literally got rolled by two dogs. They fucking mugged me. You know, the worst part is what pissed me off is that they somehow got just my driver's license out of my wallet. I have no idea where the fuck it is. So now I'm gonna have to order another driver's license. And I went. I went to sell a car the other day, and the guy's like, "You got ID? Open up my fucking wallet after I'd found it on the lawn." And I don't have my fucking license in there, so I had to drive home, get my passport, and then go back to this fucking dealership because I got mugged by my dogs. Jesus. <laughs> Stupid little cunts. <laughs> it's so annoying. You guys need some corporal punishment in those households on your dogs. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't learn that way. I, nah. I don't. I'm trying to think if they've destroyed anything like valuable. Valuable. They've chewed some like. Hmm. Oh, they've chewed up some sh tables. expensive shoes. Shoes, like they've oh. chewed up a couple hundred bucks worth of shoes or something like that. Like Toby got a pair of shoes and that was like yeah. two hundred fifty dollars one time. I got my, yeah. my I got my sneakers, like a nice pair of sneakers, but all my other shoes are like work boots, so they can't really chew through them. So not, not my current dogs, but the yellow labs. I had good Red Wing work boots. If you guys don't know Red Wing, it's like an American brand and it's expensive but high quality. And uh, I took it to a cobbler to get fixed. I was like, I'm, I, I like these boots and I've had them for a long time. So it's so, like walking walk into like a cobbler. Is he just like, oh, finally? I guess <laughs> <laughs> they're like, a, now and they're like uh, a cobbler key maker. They sell knives and bongs and everything. You here for the blow or the girls? <laughs> <laughs> they, um, uh, girl? they have an extremely <laughs> heavy duty uh, sewing machine. So when I damage paramotoring equipment, I need it like fixed for fucking real. Like this is life support equipment. I go to a cobbler. Nice. That's Do you have a cobbler? Like uh, Dan's the best. Two. I have two cobblers I've gone to. <laughs> <laughs> I got a cobbler guy. <laughs> <laughs> I got cobbler guys. Yeah. I'll, I'll talk about animals. My Those fucking cat. My, my cat is on a mission to destroy everything in my kitchen at the moment. So I've got this fat cat. Like he's a he's a real fat angry bastard and mm -hmm. uh he he will if he's hungry he'll just start attacking you because he wants to eat and so he's worked out that he can get fed now because if it's near his food dinner time if he makes a ruckus in the kitchen we'll go to the kitchen and be like oh i guess it's his dinner time but he's like I, I swear we've accidentally trained him. Now he sits up next to the kitchen and he he pushes glasses and plates off and smashes them off the kitchen bench. <laughs> I'm down to fucking two plates, man. I need to go buy more plates. This, dude, this fucking cat has broken every plate and bowl and glass in my house. I'm drinking out of a fucking... I'm drinking out of a... a, a, uh, a uh, what are they called? Mineral water bottle at the moment because I'm out of glasses. <laughs> are you, are you just refilling that with water? I'm, I'm just refilling it with water. I don't have a glass because he's broken all my fucking glasses. Like, all I've got is mugs. And, you know, it feels weird drinking water yeah. out of a Are mug. Are you sick to death of your cat? Oh, man. I just want to fucking punt him over the face. Or is it your, is it your wife's mm -hmm. cat? No, no. Oh, it's both of our cats. But he's just, he's being a cunt at the moment. It's so annoying. I would, uh, I would hate that. Yeah. I hate my cat throwing my shit. Because, first of all, it's a cat. He's yeah. not pulling his weight anyway. Yeah, now exactly. He's, <laughs> he's, a, he's a bill, you know. 
Like, he is. How old is he? How much more time you got with that cat? Oh, uh, he's still got ages. <laughs> he's, he 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 goes through he goes through phases, but he, now he's just in a break shit phase, and it's it's kind of annoying. Yeah, it's, uh, terrible twos. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm like, I when I when I put uh, like a dirty plate on the sink, I have to like make sure it's actually in the bowl of the sink, like in the okay, otherwise he can push it off, you know. And he, I think that's why I keep getting mugged by my dogs because everything on the bench he just pushes off, and then the dogs steal it. So, so. Oh, that makes sense. A little yeah. bit of a. The Ocean's yeah. Eleven style thing. He pushes the oh, yeah. wallet off. He pilfers yeah. your license, and then they hide it in the yard, hoping that yeah. you'll chop up the evidence with your mower. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, he's, it, he, it annoys me a lot because he usually waits until like three a.m. to do it. So you just hear this insanely loud crashing in the kitchen, and you have to get up. Like you can't, you can't mm-hmm. just be like, "I'll deal with that tomorrow," because it's broken glass. You know, the dogs will go and fucking yeah. walk through it and touch it and shit, and you're like, "Ah, oh, fuck me." Does the cat give you affection? But that's the thing. He Is will. It? He starts out when he's hungry. He'll start out with coming over for a cuddle, and he'll be purring. And mm-hmm. then if you don't get up and feed him within like twenty minutes, he's like, "All right, time's up, bitch. Now I'm switching to fucking. I'm gonna bite you." So, <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, I wanted to be. I'm getting angry. I'm getting hangry now. I want to be fed. So, break your glasses. Yeah, no, he's yeah. a bastard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be a horrible way to wake up to the sound yeah. of your cutlery and dishes tumbling to the floor shattering yeah yeah that, you got, having to you wake up a, in the middle of the night to like take care of something when you're asleep is so annoying is so i had to do that recently with uh, a smoke alarm where oh, like yeah. it's never a convenient time when you hear that dreaded like chirp oh, just yeah. like, right <laughs> in the middle of the night and it is like you can't ignore that you can't no. be like i'll just go ahead and, and deal with this every 30 seconds for the next six hours of sleep yeah, <laughs> I feel yeah. like you're out there like yeah. in your underwear and i'm like oh, do i have a step stool and so yeah. i'm like, just going into my kitchen we, pulling one of the bar stools over trying nice. to the smoke it. alarms uh in australia you can get ones that just like they uh have uh they don't wire it into the house so they're mm-hmm. just like a battery and they last for 10 years and they just stick onto the roof so if one of mine starts beeping and it's the middle of the night i'm just there i like i'm tall enough to do it in most of the house but there's one that i can't reach i'm there with a the broom i just smash it off the roof and then just go and throw it outside it's like that's a tomorrow that's a tomorrow problem man <laughs> it's just like, why can't the dog or cat steal this exactly <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah that yeah. annoys the shit out of me i like I get it. It's a smoke alarm. It has to notify you pretty aggressively, but that yeah. aggressively yeah. every 30 seconds. It needs another well, tone, right? Like this little. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like once a minute. I'm not no, going to die tonight. Every right. five minutes. I'll catch it before long. You know, the chirp yeah, every I, 30 seconds is excessive. You, you only have to hear it once. Uh, and then like, at least for it. me, my thought is then dominated by like, like yeah. I, I, how fast until I never have to hear that again? Yeah, like because it's so grating and so shrill. It's a dog whistle for people. I think that's the point, though. Yeah, right. it is. It, but, it what, what they should do is uh, is set it up so it only plays during uh, like non sleeping hours. So they just like it's a timer on it, and it's just like that hey. sounds like a liability problem. It does, yeah. but <laughs> it would make my life a lot easier. It know? would. Mm. It would make our our lives a percentage I can't even imagine easier. Like point oh 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 oh. Life would be grand if it wasn't yeah. for chirping. And they last like fucking eight years on average. Yeah. Some nonsense where it's it's just they when you they exist. Years. I feel like I'm replacing a battery and a smoke alarm every one or two. I feel like they're depends, supposed uh, to, but yeah, you're right because yeah. this one I replaced. Depends what type you get. It was only like three years, probably. Yeah, the ones that I, mean, I get are meant to last ten years, but I highly fucking doubt it. Yeah. I, I, Maybe my problem is Amazon Basics batteries or something like that. I think that's what my problem is too. I don't know yeah. what they're doing in the Amazon Basics factory. Are the factory workers like kind of using them first <laughs> and then packaging them up? Yeah. Like, all right, I can get a couple hours out of out of this. Yeah, they're charging their Teslas. So Are they just hiring problem. people with the most chromosomes possible, thinking that's better? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Trying to oh, pump you're going, batteries. You're so <laughs> Like, you've, got, I, I was, you've got 38 oh man well, jimmy <laughs> down jimmy down there's only got 37 man you how many chromosomes awesome. do you have <laughs> more than you I <laughs> more than you yeah <laughs> I, I i didn't realize there was such a difference in battery quality 
I thought those Duracell guys were just huffing their own farts for a long time, but it turns out uh, Amazon Basics really is this the the retarded cousin of the other of Duracell in batteries. They have some products where they're I think the same as the other good ones. You know, like mm -hmm. if you need an Amazon Basics fucking drinking glass or something, it's probably fine. Yeah, yeah, but unless your cat smashes it, obviously. Yeah, I feel like I bought an Amazon Basics shirt once, mm -hmm. and like. Wearing it once, like it, like looked like I've been attacked by cats. Like it was just falling apart. <laughs> it's a disposable shirt. It's just a disposable <laughs> it's like, shirt. It's like you're washing it bat in battery yeah. acid. <laughs> yeah, you have to be, you have to be, I guess, thoughtful with what you resort to Amazon Basics for. Yeah, because a lot of it is just trash. Have you ever bought something horrible off Amazon Basics, Kyle, that you shouldn't have? I've got you're the biggest versions. Amazon guy. No. Yeah, I've got miniature versions of shit. Um, not like comically small, like itty bitty, but like I thought I was getting like a normal size bug zapper and they sent something. It's like, what is this bu bug zapper for ants? It's like, <laughs> uh, so yeah. I got a yeah. Yeah. My wife had one of those the other day. She got a, uh, a present for a friend and it was like a decorative pot. And then it got there and it was the size of a shot glass. Like, what the fuck <laughs> you, know, you know who does that on purpose? Pool toys. Pool toys are children's like hose based sprinklers mm -hmm. and shit like that. The the box has like nine kids playing on it together. <laughs> and you open it up and it's like two children could fit at the most. I did oh it with a shovel God. once. I, I just needed a, I was like, I need a shovel to, to scoop that much dirt and put it over there. I didn't have a shovel. I, or I was a quick Amazon, blah, 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 just on my phone. Bop. Mm -hmm. Next day, the smallest, it looked like that army shovel that like takes up, <laughs> yeah, takes just... apart into two pieces and goes in a rucksack. It, and, and I'm at, God damn it. So yeah, I've been gypped a couple times from Amazon. Dude, Close to slip and slides. I, As a kid, you were mentioning the like people playing on the box. I remember like having a whole summer afternoon ruined as a kid because uh -huh. like I was at Toys R Us with my grandparents or my dad or something like that. And they, he bought us a slip and slide. And like on the slip and slide container, like it looks like you could cover the entirety of a lane on a highway. <laughs> and that you could just it, it, like it looked Cover like I'd get tired. Alley. It, it looked like I would be tired of sliding before I reach the end. Of it. <laughs> and then you set it up, and it's just an exercise in like, all right, go straight down it because for some reason the spokes on the side are metal and they're made to thrash children. So, <laughs> <laughs> you don't hammer yeah, that don't, you'll cut yourself, and like you you get a tiny bit of speed, and then you're in the grass. Mm. I've never really cool understood the, end. the, uh, the, the cool idea of the end of the uh, the slip and slide <laughs> and thinking like, oh, I could uh, get down there and just like kind of wait around for a bit. No, there's four liquid ounces of water in there. I've never really understood the concept of a slip and slide. Like it, they've all they've done is just remarketed like uh, fucking trash like, bags, uh, or trash yeah. bags. Yeah. Oh, so what like, it is? It's cheating. It's like, summer water fun for poor kids who don't have pools or access to swimming pools and yeah. probably can't swim. Um, <laughs> it's something you can hook a water hose up to and you get wet in the yard and have an excuse to slide around. And have I'll, I'll get that. It's yeah. just that they, they, they've just remarketed plastic and then sold it. Oh, for sure. well, some of them, you know, like so they, some of them have like the reservoir where like the water is like shooting onto it all the way down and are kind of uh, neat or whatever. Yeah. We had, we never had any of that shit. We we always had like a creek or a pond or that we had dammed up and made a rope swing into or something yep. like that. I'd say we we, had, we just went into the dam and then used the uh the plastic sheet that you wrap hay bales in and then just mm -hmm. put a hose at the top and then you're done. Like <laughs> Yeah. We had the curtain material that poultry houses used to use and like yep. in mass it, so it's like a good eight feet wide because it's meant to be folded at either end and yeah. then it's as long as you want. Like it comes exactly, in 250 yeah. foot rolls. So we would put that stuff down um, at my grandmother's house. She lived on the river and they had taken, I don't know what it was. It looked like gigantic PVC pipes that they had cut a slice out of to make us, to make us make their own slide. And it went from like the top of a huge hill down into the river. So we'd like slide down that thing into the river. And, like, Look at that. Uh, no. Zach, pull up the first is, photo of the slip and slide. <laughs> Look at how long this like, it's over the horizon, the length of this slip and slide. It, it's, pull that picture up. That's the first one I found. There's, There's still no this way on. for $36. That's, it looks like that. Okay. And, and that, by the way, this is 22 feet long. That's seven <laughs> steps. 
It's I feel, I feel like, unless those Ow. kids are those children must be one eight foot. inches tall. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that looks amazing. It looks those incredible. Ch- <laughs> yeah. Those children, those children are clearly photoshopped on that. Oh, yeah. And those and those pads are probably you wear them like skates. <laughs> like, uh, so this go is to the awful. first picture. You Maximum can see, you can see the full length of yeah, it. Go to the- there it is. That, that, look at that. Look at that. They won't look like Change. that. No. And you think all those little holes are actually going to spurt? No. One of them is going to tear immediately, and now you don't have a barrier. <laughs> how, how long is it meant to be? 22, 22 feet. feet. 22 feet, oh. obviously. Just look at it. Yeah, look at seven it. Seven steps. It's seven steps. That's If uh, you're a giant. Seven meters. If you're a man. No, I'm saying according to this. Oh. You'd, this is, <laughs> this, yeah, on yeah, this, yeah. this is a 40-yard dash. For, <laughs> <laughs> Oh Please, man, they're really still, got the it's good to see it. some scams don't change. China <laughs> still pulling the wool over our, our kids' eyes for wanting fun in the sun. I can't believe uh, how tidy those children look. It's <laughs> ridiculous. I do have a trick for getting good pool toys, though. You know what you buy? Instead of a tube meant for a swimming pool where they're all shit and garbage that China shells, sells, buy a inflatable sled, like one that meant to slide down hills, and that'll last. That does oh. make sense. Yeah, I didn't. I mean, a lot of the most fun and most speed I got on sleds as a kid were from those ultra cheap ones that were at the front of Home Depot, like the turtle the little ones. disc. Yeah, the little disc, because like no friction, you could just fly on yeah. those, run into the, the other kid. Uh, the fastest Apple. ones have the like the radio flyer. Is that who made them? Yeah, with yeah, the, yeah. With the metal runners. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, Apple, uh, pool toys. When I was young, we had a um. We had a pool at a couple of houses that we lived in, and we uh, all we had was a tennis racket and a tennis ball, and we used to play a game called Pain Ball. And uh, all, you, <laughs> all you'd do is uh, you'd stand in the pool and uh, at either end of the pool, and uh, whoever you're against, say I was playing against my brother, I'd have the tennis racket and I could use it to defend my face, and then he would serve a tennis ball at me as hard as he could, <laughs> and, uh, and then oh, the tennis ball would be up my end, then and I'd serve it back at him, and we just so we just hit tennis balls at each other as hard as we could. Okay, I, mean, that's, I that's play like paintball. Normal. That's like okay. normal. Play. That's no, just I how brothers play. Paintball. We would play yeah. paintball with paintball guns, though. So what we would do yeah. is, um, oh, but we didn't want to. We, we don't want to get paintballs like in the pool. So this is just like it's just this. Pain, it, yeah, yeah. You know. this 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 memory is exactly why. Like we were, the only shitty thing I did as a teenager, I think, was bully kids at paintball. Um, <laughs> like 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 we took it so seriously. I remember we went inside of a poultry house the night before. Um, like the backside of that thing is is just a big room, basically. That's that, that you can with lighting. And we got like a certain distance from each other and took the hoppers off. And we were putting one, we'd each put a paintball in, like one paintball. <laughs> and we would just sort of like, I don't know, Napoleon style, like like take 10 paces, turn around. Eh, this looks good to you. I don't know. Does it look good to you? It looks a little close. Oh, does it? You think it's a little close, pussy? All right, it's fine. No, no, this is just mm-hmm. fine. And then we would like take turns shooting at each other, like working on not only, I guess, accuracy, but also not really caring about getting shot. Because I had a theory at the time that I think is still true that the braver you are at paintball, the better. Like if you're not afraid of getting Mm -hmm. shot, the fear Mm -hmm. and the pain is all that puts people's heads down. And it's how you suppress people. But if you're not Mm -hmm. afraid of getting shot, you can't be suppressed. And you can if you can take these big risks, you can take big risks where maybe a third of the time or even more, maybe half the time you get lit the fuck up. But the other half of the time. It's like COD when you get behind five guys aiming out a window and you're just in the room behind them like, boys, and you, yeah. get, this, you get those moments instead of spending a whole game like popping up and down. You get those those really huge adrenaline dumps of just, I called it bunkering. I don't know what the technical term is, but when you fucking run up on a motherfucker and shoot him point blank. Yeah. Also, it's fun to shoot a motherfucker point blank with a paintball oh, yeah. gun. You, you're usually lobbing and you're like, did I hit him? I don't. Yeah, yeah, he held his hand nah. up. But mm. if you run up on somebody, it's, it's it sad. was also uh, satisfying getting someone to surrender with mm-hmm. blind fires yeah. where like you'd be out of paintballs and you just think like, if I just charge at him and just keep firing, like he yeah. might sur- and I just say surrender, surrender. He might. And like every once in a while that would work. But most so you're of the time making the pop like, sound without any paint coming out. Is that what's happening? Yeah. You just yeah. pull it and it shoots air and like well, it yeah. sounds slightly different. So if they know, what they're listening for they're like he's got nothing but mm-hmm. a lot of the times they just got bamboozled and we were also like fucking 12 so 
Yeah. When uh, at my uh, Bucks day, what do, what do they call it in America? The bachelor's party? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So we uh, we went up to uh, – my friend has like a fairly large property and we got all paint, paintball guns and stuff up there. And um, we went up and uh, we, we got these like rubber like right control balls for the paintball guns and they, they fucking hurt so much. Like we were just like <laughs> lacing each other with them. And uh, while we're there, one of my uh, one of my friends, he's a, he's a bit of a dumbass. He always gets hurt, <laughs> and uh, he um, mid fight like lifted up his mask to like do something like rub his face or something like that, and he got shot like directly in the eye with a paintball, and he fucking ended up having to go to hospital and almost lost his eye. Yeah, <laughs> it was no. yeah, it's uh, bad. Yeah, you got to leave the mask on. That's what they stress yeah. so much. They, they do stress I, that. But we we played this uh, game mode where so we made up this game mode where we're like okay it's two two ends of the field and uh, there's a chair in the middle of the field this plastic chair and uh, if you're sitting in the chair you're invulnerable so you can stay there as long as you want if you get shot you don't have to run back to the respawn point but everyone can shoot you and you're sitting there in the open. And uh, <laughs> one of my friends, as Carl was saying, was completely unafraid of being shot, sat on this chair and just obliterated our entire team and just got fucked up. Like he had like 20 dudes just unloading <laughs> full auto with rubber riot control balls at his nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> just like, the, uh, he's got a heart not- of a champion. It's not he, quite he that at all, but but at Living Legends, which was the big scenario game we'd play in on the final, most of the game was played over m- a lot of acreage, woods and and small buildings and all sorts. If you can imagine a paintball, like what it is, they, is they've got like six different mini fields and they open them all up into a giant field for the big scenario game. So you get this varied combat thing. But on the final day, they have one side's on the left side, one side's on the right. And we're talking about two or three thousand people. And in the middle is a hill. And the hill is such you can't see the enemy unless you crest that hill and look over it. So it, it's almost like a, from a, a, a medieval war field or something like that. So you're, you're arcing the fire blindly. And I mean, everybody's arcing. They must sell so much paint. They're, it's the final day, too, so get rid of it. And it's just sailing over like artillery. And if you're just standing over there in the open, it's raining around you. So like, <laughs> there's no choice but to walk through the rain. And I mean, it's sparse. But then when you get to the front line, it's because what's on top of that hill are, is how we make points. You have to hit a slap stick and make it go from red to blue. And now your team has a point. Well, going to the top of that fucking hill isn't just suicide. You're, you're not, it's not about if you get I hit. I think you it's hit how it. many times. Have you hit it, right? Hell no. <laughs> no? Okay. <Stop> that. <laughs> nah. I, I, at nah. one time, at least, I was brave enough to go for it, but I don't think I was ever talented enough to move it. Woo, I wouldn't go in up there. Because <laughs> what happens when you go up there, not only can you kind of hurt yourself, like run it. It's a very steep thing at the peak. So I would see people run, and they'd hit the thing, and they dove, So, but they... They dove to the other side of the hill, and now there aren't just 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 people shooting you. There's hundreds of people shooting at you, and the (laughs) refs have to jump on you like an MMA fighter and save you (laughs) with their body. They have shields and stuff. They have to come (laughs) save you from the punishment you're taking, and they're quick about it, but it's Mm -hmm. still – I can't remember who I saw who had went for it, but it's you can tell what side of it. It's like a sunburn. You can tell mm, which side yeah. of them was facing the damage. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, oh, okay. So there. Oh, and this is when you fell and rolled over and exposed your butt. Okay. <laughs> like, cause they're just eaten up. Like, they're almost touching the, all the paintball welts. And like, that to me is the, um, that, that's no fun. That's I did. I, I remember that exact time and seeing everybody charge up there. Or not everybody, very few people charge up to the top and stand and be like, even watching. I'm like, that, that, that that's not fun. That's not what I'm here for. I'll wait nope. for some idiot on the other team to do that, and then I'll get some easy, easy shots in. Or when your team does it, you suppress as best you can. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then you like you see people like <laughs> take their twenty dollar paint grenades and then throw those and not work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, oh you my see god! A lot of that, dude. That it's hilarious. I think smoke is another thing too, where it's like, oh, he threw a smoke bomb. If you look carefully, you can see a little smoke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you would get more smoke from lighting a twenty on fire, <laughs> and throwing that on the other side of the, than they you were would from bad. the smoke I, grenade. I think they make good smoke grenades because I watch some airsoft shit every now and then. That the 
and and sometimes I see actual smoke grenades. It's like okay. They're not going to be able to hit them if they run across that path now. That's when it works well, when you've got to cross from like one building to another, mm -hmm. maybe, and like just making the alleyway smoky so that they don't know when to shoot. So they either got to just fire continuously or they're kind of fucked. Mm. Like, but out in the open, the idea of smoking that field, nah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, four what are we doing? Fields. Yeah. What are we doing? We need a forest fire. <laughs> you can yeah. have yourself and 200 of your best friends throw one, and it wouldn't be enough to cover yeah. you. Not yeah. in my experience, anyway. They I don't know like what they a, got now. Proper for that. Yeah. yeah. How and much is seems, a real smoke grenade? Like a, oh, a legit I, one. I, I I don't know that you can even... I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh -huh. I, is that something I'm you not, can't buy? Uh, that's kind of what I was thinking. Did you uh, mean Kyle can't buy or people can't No, buy? human. Like I people. people. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't need... Uh, Can't buy anything? About, <laughs> yeah, I can buy all sorts of scary stuff. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know much about smoke grenades. <laughs> <laughs> I get spear guns. I think uh... that would be cool. Getting into spear guns. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, spear guns. Has, are fun. Have you, hey, Kyle, have you bought your sword yet? No, I have been looking at swords. Plus, Kyle's going to be I a have, sword guy now. I'm a You're sword, a guy, sword now. guy. First yeah. of all, it's swordsman. Let's get this right. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna become like well, a, you, you'll 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 make your way there. You're a student of the blade, first and yeah. foremost. Okay. You're gonna, be, you're gonna become like a reformed virgin, like just stop having sex. And wear yeah. <laughs> See, that's, that's the reaction that I'm not looking for. That is what has stayed. Uh, uh, would you like my fear? Hand. Fear. <laughs> is that buy it on Amazon? People bought this also in Joy Fedoras. Yeah. <laughs> no, it'd be like Japanese kimonos and butt plugs or something that bought katanas. So what? What kind yeah. of sword are you trying? To get what kind of sword are we going for? So that's the thing. I don't want any Weevu shit. I don't have any Japanese heritage, any Asian yeah. heritage, not even on that mm -hmm. side of the planet. There's no sense in me getting. So you should get a, so get a spear from from your homeland of Africa. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I could do that, I suppose, but that's only point zero six percent of my heritage. I think I'd probably go with. I've looked at the Viking straight swords. I've looked at some Celtic swords. I've looked at some Confederate um, cavalry swords. It's sort of a uh, curved. Good. And it's got the handguard, and I've looked right. at That's the cool Roman, gladius. and I've looked at the Roman gladiuses, yeah. um, which are also pretty cool. Those often come with a very ornate sheath. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a these... warhammer, a warhammer. I reckon you look like a warhammer guy, actually. Slash. I feel like, like, that, like if you were right. to go into combat, <laughs> I could see you wielding a hammer. Yeah, yeah you're like a, a warhammer. natural warhammer. Yeah, wielder. I love warhammer. Yeah, <laughs> no, we, uh, mate, or maybe like, an axe in each hand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, like a, a medium-sized one, like a short like, axe. I wonder what I'd be. I feel like I'm an archer. Gotcha. I feel you like are an archer. You've got for like, an archer. You, no, he's got that broad upper body. He's got. He's gonna be yeah. pulling them back and letting them go. A eh, Rob. Those longbow. Those longbows are fucking. You know what movie that's back. from? No. Oh shit. I don't, I don't know. A longbow that would be neat. Yeah. I, I actually, heard, I've seen, I've heard they're hard to use though. Like, uh, very, very, very hard to pull back. Like you need to practice a lot to get it pulled back. To, to so those guys, they're, so strong. It's, they're, they're like a hundred pound draw. And obviously there's no, in a compound bow, there's a lot of let off. So you're only pulling the, 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 the weight rating for a brief period. And then the, the pulleys turn over and now you're holding back far less. And the better the bow, the less you're holding back percentage wise, you might be holding 70, uh, 70%, 80%, 90%, like weight less and less and less. You'll actually be holding back of the, the pull weight. But, I always shot like a when I was a kid, I shot 60 pounds. And when I was a man grown, I shot 70. And my dad always shot 70. And that's often what compound bows top out at. And it ain't that hard to pull back if you're like an active, regular sized man. Like, like if you're a five foot nine average guy who works out maybe once a week, you could absolutely pull back a 70 pound draw. You know, you're pushing with one hand and pulling with the other. Yeah. So 100 isn't that much harder. I, Looks like I, 105 pounds is for a standard yeah. six foot six English self U longbow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I, I guess feel you like, I feel like on. as a longbow with no cantilever system, uh, that would be hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like it's, that would be difficult. So they're not holding it back though. They're pulling them back and letting them go. Literally, they're yeah, right. Almost in a, in one saw. They're never holding and aiming like it's a rifle. They're every motion is is one sort of pull it back and let it go. I don't know if they actually did that sort of draw loose. I don't know if they yeah. ever did that. I wonder if they aimed it back at and, a target. No, like, I don't, do they practice in one motion? 
Yeah. Now, appara- apparently, the way to shoot most accurately is once it hits a certain point, then you fire because the like the Olympic the Olympic ones have like a little clicker and it's like on top of the arrow and when it goes past the when the arrow pulls out it clicks down and the clicking sound is the the that's when you fire apparently mm. like when you get to the, the perfect tension that's like that's that's what i've seen for like the accuracy accuracy wise that would uh, make it, it would be hard to just hold a 110 pound draw yeah. weight accurately like because you imagine you're fighting in a battle you're not you're shooting a lot more than one arrow so oh, yeah. the only arch that like I've watched a bunch of stuff about the Battle of Agincourt where there was a lot of English archers and they kind of made the difference. It was when the, the French knights charged down the muddy field and get bogged down and the English archers just went at them and, and rained down. It I don't know that they aimed right at targets. I don't think you want your archers so close to a target that they can aim straight at them. I think it's always that big arcing, oh, no. yeah. you know, sort of aim it up so you can hit the guys 175 yards away. That was the, what, like no. that was what made them so strong, wasn't it? That they had like such long range. They definitely yeah, had more was... range than the crossbows. We've, we've talked before about like longbows and crossbows and how the crossbow was considered this like sort of low, low class is the wrong word, that less honorable low skill. weapon. Yeah. yeah. Less, no, less honorable that, weapon. Like yeah, crossbows had like a uh, high velocity and were able to pierce like plate armor though was the, the point of them, I think. Any idiot yeah. can operate you a crossbow can just hand it to someone. Point. You had to train like, the, the, the archers yeah. a lot, but you could just hand that crossbow to somebody and do their thing. Yeah. I don't know if I'm sold that Woody would be a longbow guy. No, I'm oh, 100% yeah. sold that Slush is either a double sided broad axe guy. Mm-hmm. I'll go with that. Or a double axes, little ones guy. That could go, I was yeah. thinking either that or like. Like you know, Gimli's axe in Lord of the Rings, where it's the, got the, the little ones or the big boy, the big boy. Yeah. Okay, so I, I like the big boy. Ones. I see Slush is like. I thought that's versatile as well. If you get a, if you get a good enough one of that, and uh, you don't mind. Oh, sort of I got it, Shillelagh. No, wood. get yourself a, a good fucking. <laughs> no, that's so. Exactly. Lame. You pull up the picture of the Shillelagh from Gangs of New York. Oh that yeah, that? is that a musical instrument? What is what is that? Um, close? It's, it's an Irish things. musical instrument. It's a percussion <laughs> to beat people. Out Wait, am I, are you pulling my leg? Uh, well, I'm sort of making a joke without pulling your leg. I'm, I'm saying mm, it's a percussion okay. instrument because they whack people ah, in the head. Okay. It's a it's a cudgel or a, or it's a, an impact weapon. It's a, it's a kinetic big, force, heavy stick. Kinetic, force, like, a kin- a kinetic energy transfer device. Yeah. In it's, Gangs yeah. of New York, you might remember hmm. the scene where at the beginning they're going to have the big fight. All the gang's going to fight, and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's father. Go, um, Liam Neeson, his character goes and he tries to recruit the big Irish brute guy, and he's like offering to pay him so many copper coins per per scratch on the on his shillelagh, and he pulls it out, and it's yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's got like all the you can't really see it because of the quality, but he's got tons of etching marks for every man he's killed on this thing. Oh yeah, boy, that's good yeah, wow, that there you go. That's, it's pretty much a, it's pretty much a golf club. Yeah. It is solid on the end. <laughs> Fuck somebody yeah. up. In there. See, I don't but think the golf club. I think golf club I think the is golf a shit weapon. I think it's a shit weapon. You're absolutely right. That shaft is so fragile. Oh man, I've, I've shattered. I've shattered drivers just like swing. hitting, just hitting the ball hard enough. Like even yeah. a fiberglass or like gra- I guess it's graphite. I had a graphite yeah. driver. Graphite. Like we, yeah. we just went and bought some like random shit to drive balls with. Yeah. And ah, those things are tough. Like I, now that I think about, it, but the thing it. You wouldn't they, attack someone with a driver anyway. You'd use an iron. But but those have those, usually strong. the metal. Sh- are there? I'm sure there's graphite. There is graphite irons, irons but the, I I think they're just. As I have metal break. irons. My dad gave me old old pings from like yeah. the. Are they, are they, are they really metal. old? People use uh, graphite irons because they're more flexible, so they okay. can get more speed. I had a so, whole bunch yeah. of I had a whole set of Callaways, and I'm gonna tell you, like you break that thing right over somebody, and then they beat you up for trying. That's yeah. the fear. Here's the thing. Unless you, you're gonna, unless you got it you're in bringing the head a weapon, the actual iron bit. If like, you're gonna yes, bring a weapon gonna into the combat arena, just know that that human nature is that they have seen this as an escalation and permission for them to also escalate. So you better yeah. get the shit done. You yeah. if you show up with your nine iron, take a swing. He he takes a step forward, and the thing hits his shoulder and breaks on his shoulder. Best believe he might take that shaft and stab your ass with it instead of just beating you up like what would have normally happened. Like I, I ain't swinging a golf club at somebody. If the, if I'm in that scene from Pulp Fiction where Bruce Willis is looking up at the pawn sh- pawn shop wall at the weaponry to take down to the fuck dungeon, 
that golf club is on the bottom of my list. I'd much oh, rather yeah. have a hammer. Give me a what hammer. He, what is a regular he, what claw he hammer. Take? He takes a katana. <laughs> uh, yeah. Katana, katana would be above. Like I, I think that like uh, I, I had someone uh, say this to me once. He was like a uh, he, one of my dad's mates who rolled with some f- fucking angry motherfuckers, and he said, uh, "You only carry the weapon that you're willing to do the time for." And uh, mm. he said, "A uh, a hammer, hammer's really good because you you don't you don't have to kill someone with that. A sword." You hit someone in the leg, very highly likely that if you hit them hard enough in the leg and they're going to bleed out. But yeah. you hit someone in the leg with a hammer, you know, then they're not going to they're, they're not going to die. Yeah. Still gonna be a lot and you're going to get your money. But if you go for the head with a hammer, <laughs> you can yeah. still kill them. You can still you can still kill them with a hammer if you really want to. So I, I still I don't see Slush as a Shillelagh guy. I see him as no. a war axe guy or a war hammer guy. I got hammer. Woody, I'm growing on Woody as a longbow guy. Exactly. Like that was an image of Gull Moraz. Gull Moraz. The, Kyle, the, the, I don't know where. I'm trying to peg you. Maybe just a swordsman. Dude, I, just I officer. A, uh, what I would honestly want is uh like if I actually had if, if you're gonna make me go fight in a gladiator arena, I would want a okay. a sword, uh, like a short sword that I that's one handed, yeah. and I would want a shield. Like I would yeah. want a uh, a teardrop shield, uh, you know that start. I believe the they were called Mermilla. Caught. Right, thank Caught. you. Caught. A Mermilla. Oh, the teardrop. No things oh. that are wild. So <laughs> Just the teardrop stuff. stuff. I, like right, because I, I want to be able to lower it. Because if if he swipes at my legs, I want to be able to lower it all the way to the ground, right. like stab it into the ground to like See? like check a leg kick. Basically, that's Gold mm. Mirage. That is the Warhammer. Uh, Warhammer. Okay. Basically, that yeah. is what. But Warhammer is named after this item. The whole I would go that. I would, I would, I would run that. Yeah, yeah that's pretty yeah. cool. It's it's also imbued with the soul of some sort of ancient, you know, entity, yeah, and it's basically course. sentient. Yeah, well, obviously, we want a hammer you can talk to. You know, at least that's the way I remember. When it. you're tired of killing, um, yeah. here's, so you would want to be like this guy, Kyle. So got this coffee, this Mermillo right. picture, which you'd need, like. You need to have oh, a good body actually, to pull this off. Oh no 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 no! So, so I'm talking about like the shield that at the top it's like it's shaped like a teardrop, and the top is the fat part, and then at the bottom it, it becomes a point. Like it's it's fat right. at the top and skinny at the bottom. Ah. The shield is, and I would want a longer like, sword than like that. A that shield. I'm gonna have to be so close to that guy to make this sword yeah. do business. I want like eight more inches. Yeah, we, we all. all... Do. <laughs> <laughs> We're racing to that one. Look at that. Tell me, you, this isn't slush. That's my slush. Ah, so Definitely what you have right. there is a um. Oh, what are those fucking called? It's a uh, like what, angry. It's, 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 a, it's called a dwarf. I'm, it's the unit <laughs> name. This is a specific kind of unit because it's not wearing arm. It's the um. Oh, slayer. Um, it's a slayer. slayer. Yeah, that is a slayer. Yeah. Uh, yep. I, I feel like a shield. Like uh, I going going back to paintball. When we actually did the paintball thing, we made a shield, and uh, the idea was that uh, I would get the shield, being that uh, I was getting married, and then everyone was going to shoot me at some stage. And we had we, so we made this wooden shield, and we were fucking around with it afterwards, and we're all drunk. And uh, my friend was holding onto it and had it on his arm, and he held it up, and I grabbed it and just sort of like turned it, and he was just like. Uh, and and because he's like we're not trained to obviously operate a shield or strong enough to stop someone from just grabbing it and turning it and your arm just sort of being like bar locked inside it so i feel like a shield would probably fuck me more than it would help me yeah right. this is my shit right yeah. here this right here is it secutor is that what this you is exactly what i would be i would want to rock like like if i, if, <laughs> if I this is literally the whole fucking like everything he's got on i love he needs gloves he needs fucking gloves, but otherwise, this is so perfect. With carbon fiber knuckles, I I, I want some. I want Man. mail. I, I and I want. I want my finger. My my biggest fear, uh, and it's because uh, in all yeah. the sword fights I've ever had, I got my knuckles wrapped uh, like yeah. a lot. Like it happened a lot. Like we would have fights with mm-hmm. PVC pipe or with the, we had these wooden dowels that were oh, I don't yeah. know quarter inch or maybe oh, three yeah. eighths. Yeah, like, and and we would have like some, I always wanted to have a real sword fight of some kind if there had been kimpo or or whatever it's called that that sword uh, karate kendo. martial art kendo thank you yeah. i would have done anything to do that as a kid instead i was in bullshit karate but we made our own way and it was i was always getting hit like in yeah. my forearms and my hands like 
and if it was a blade, I'd be crippled. I wouldn't You'd be able need to a hand guard, anymore. a sword with like a hand yeah. guard. Yeah, those whenever I see those old timey those... swords that have the full on, like yeah. your your hands like in a, a, a yeah. like a sphere of protection. So like I'm a like, rapier yeah. or something. That makes sense. Yeah, the rapiers yeah, have rapier. really ornate ones too yeah. that are beautiful. What about like uh, those big gloves that look like big um, like lobster claws? We have some. Oh of those. yeah, yeah. Okay, those are for um, um, lancing though. I think for like the yeah. mounted guys. Ah, uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those oh. they have really. It, uh, that's another thing that I guess happens now in modern days. It's got to be like a rich guy sport, huh? Like it's. It, it, that's what all right so the, the the guys who have class and money they do horse dancing and the guys who are rednecks <laughs> and have money they're like i want to i want to do a little lance they're, they're, they're on the horses lancing i want to get into jousting. Yeah. jousting yeah have you I, seen I mean, how much day jousting i have no. it's it's i i want oh cool? my god it's more it's, it's so more violent. it's more brutal than it shows in in television you're like oh i kind of get it now that's a lot how of inertia <laughs> how much is more the horse abs- but so they, they do make the that. joust to be weak, right? And like, they make it to break, but you can like people died doing that. They show. always made the, so they so even in the medieval tournaments, like the ones we watch in Game of Thrones, those are also made to do that. They're the the blunted um, weak mm-hmm. ones, but they deliver like, such an incredible amount of. Force. They all, I mean, they dehorse each other full gallop, you know, because each horse is going call it thirty miles right. per hour. We've got all of that, and then they're aiming for each other's fucking upper body, trying to turn yeah. them. You know, mm-hmm. so they do horse them, and they hit hard as fuck. It's how much fun would a watch. horse? How much would a horse cost? Like, what kind of what, horse? Though that's the thing. Like, you know, you what get kind a of horse? horse would you, a good what one. kind of horse would you use for uh, for something like that? Like, because because you gotta you gotta, you gotta think like uh, so it's not a race horse, so you don't want to. It's similar mm-hmm. to a destruction derby in a way. You don't want a Ferrari in a destruction derby, so you're not getting like a fucking Kentucky Derby winning Philly. Hear me out. Yeah. Clydesdale. You just want a shit horse, you know. He horse me out my fucking that's Clydesdale. Got, that's a specially yeah. trained jousting horse. They're not just grabbing yeah. some fucking pony off the, the yeah. ranch yeah. or whatever. Some bag. <laughs> that's gotta yeah. be an unbelievably <laughs> stressful job for a horse. Yeah. I, I think they like it. I, I, I think they yeah. enjoy uh, uh, how, you know, going into battle and doing how much would uh How much would it cost? You reckon? How much should a horse to like be a goes? jouster and like roll out every weekend? Right. Probably about the same as it costs for every guy that get, like we score the drag it's race. It's the hospital weekend. bills that's going to do yeah. you in. It, it, yeah. it like everybody, you know, it, all those hobbies are similar prices. Honestly, like like yeah. if you if you I suppose if it you're a hobbyist, if you drive a race car, I know that that you, you've got a thirty or forty thousand dollar car and you're spending several thousand dollars a weekend and you go out a couple weekends yeah. a month and it gets expensive. Yeah. But the horse is the same fucking way. How but much do you, you think a Clydesdale costs? Just a regular old Clydesdale? Yep. Garden uh, variety. Five thousand dollars. Whoa. Okay, 5, more guesses? I'm gonna say twenty thousand dollars. Oh no. One to five thousand. Although you're not wrong because an award winning Clydesdale is twenty grand. Oh wow. Well, there you go. Well, I was, I thought I, I could have sworn you said, what is an award winning? <laughs> yes, yes, I did. Pal yeah. wasn't listening carefully. He would have known too. I bet you can go to the Budweiser. Oh, here we go. Right we've got, here we've and got just, horse, like, horse deals. We've got horse deals in Australia. What's a horse set you back over here? A grand. Oh, 25, uh, 25 for a camp draft mare, apparently. So if you actually want a horse, you'll find that there are tons of people. You got a horse daughter. There'll, there'll be tons of people who, who their daughter wanted to be a princess for a week. Yeah. And they bought a fucking. Oh, here we go. Three thousand dollar horse. And Arabian now they have a horse that's nine hundred dollars. Yeah, Arabian why chestnut it? gelding, three years old, five thousand dollars. Why is it now? Why is it nine hundred now? Because they don't want a pet that costs uh, three thousand dollars that they got to feed that nobody rides because it's mean as a cuss. <laughs> <laughs> I've always, wanted, a, I've always wanted a horse. I've only ever ridden a horse once, and I, I enjoyed it. But he seemed like he was extremely well trained. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, he was a higher out horse. Like you, you don't. Yeah, put, nobody like, will a, let you on a horse that's not. There's yeah, no this looks like they're gonna have like that's a black true. horse stallion. Really? <laughs> it's like, I, uh, have so you been I, used, I used to go to this dude ranch. It was a, va- a family vacation that we do a lot, and oh, cool. we ride horses. And I thought I was good at riding horses. I now know I was a tourist who overestimated his skills. But we could gallop and trot. We went through the woods and whatever. Cool. So then I go to this like Christmas event where they had horses you could sit on. And they warned me that the horse bucked and didn't like people. And I said, don't worry. I'm good at this. <laughs> I'm like 11. So he thinks he's Aragorn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I get on the horse and it bucks me. 
And everyone is like, you got to get right back on. You got to get right back on the horse. So I did. And it, and it still like shuffled around. But this time I stayed on and then left on my own accord. But I've, I've, yeah, uh, I've been bucked by a horse. And they all knew it was like a bucking horse. They're trying to toughen I you eat. up. For the, but you got back on it. You range. got brought back I've up always, on that horse. You know, there's a lot of peer pressure. <laughs> yeah. I've always enjoyed horses. I think if um if I ever moved out west, I would get myself a hat and and uh, and and a, and a horse. Dream maybe. big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Back no, to the I, fedora with his sword. Yeah, he's gonna no, get I sword say that hat. because because I've said this before. <laughs> One of the things I despise the most is a fucking poser, somebody mm-hmm. who's all hat and no cattle. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't like that. I don't like those people who fucking walk around in their army fucking fatigues and the and and like mm-hmm. how and they they play Call of Duty. You know what I mean? Like like I don't yeah. like posers. So I can't buy that cowboy hat if I'm not riding a horse. That's, I, I, I feel that way very hat. strongly. I here's here's my take on it. You can tell me as a subject matter expert, tell me if you think I'm right. Straw hat mowing the yard on a tractor. Of course. That's a that's fit, a, right? Yeah, it's a uh, mowing hat. Yeah, oh, yeah. Straw hats, are, straw hats are only after Labor Day, mate. Oh my bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's the fashion. But, but, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I can't. I can't. Get, I don't think I could get a horse because I just couldn't trust something that could kick me to death. Mm-hmm. Um, you could take mm-hmm. a horse. Don't be a sissy. No, fuck him. Why? Man, yes, yeah, you could. Fuck you're a fucking six hundred kilo animal. Dude, there's not an herbivore so, yeah. on this planet that I can't fuck up. Dude, it is scary. Gonna, what is gonna, you're just gonna knock it out. Rhino with your can't fist? beat the shit out of me. And are you you're sure they're knocking it out with your fist like blazing Positive. saddles, bro? <laughs> well, then they're fucked. <laughs> well, then they're fucked. <laughs> Elephants? Oh, they eat meat, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like it watching. It's scary it. being way up on a horse and and not having like an off switch exactly. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. Like knowing he can kind of do what he wants if he really yeah. crazy. It's, I, it's I talked about child me who fell, but adult me weighs so much more. I, I think I'd get hurt if I fell off. It's a long way down. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And, and, at our time. age, Woody, man, if you went down off a horse, you'd be in hospital for months. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> our age is so generous, youngster. <laughs> <laughs> man, we don't. You don't bounce once you pass thirty five, man. At our age, <laughs> you don't. You, you are don't. fucked. <laughs> <laughs> How much uh, higher is a Clydesdale than a normal horse? I just about know when twelve I'm hands, dance, like oh, about twelve hands. What's that in uh, yes. Imperial? In... <laughs> but, oh, is that the man. Imperial? Magic? I live in a democracy. Yeah, I think, I think yeah. that it's about about six thousand. I mean, if feet is Imperial, readers. hands should be also. Oh, you're wait. How many hands did you say, Kyle? About twelve. 12. Man, no, fucking Americans. Seventeen to twenty with anything, hands. Right? You said wait, how more much? or total for uh, Clydesdale? Oh wait, no! I didn't it's answer the question. Twenty is hands it... bigger than a normal horse. Thank you. Mm. That okay. can't be true. Uh, how big is a hit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> how big is, the... is Cora leading me down a path of lies? It's four inches exactly. There's a hand is four inches and a foot is twelve inches. I didn't know this. Yes, have, uh, sir. have you guys ever seen? I'm, gonna start, uh... I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm really excited about this. I got to use hands all the time now. I'm gonna have be like I'm... that. Uh, that that <laughs> biggest the biggest horse. In the world, it was yes. uh, it's, it's, yeah, weighed like three thousand pounds. <laughs> it's more than like it's more than a car. <laughs> oh, his name is Mammoth. Yeah, which is a great name. The he Shire measured twenty one point two hands and weighed more than three thousand pounds. You're right. Damn, Mammoth inspired me. If you got a, what do they call a great a seven a great feet doodle, gonna... mm. and named it Wooly, that'd be cool. Oh, he said that. <laughs> right? Yeah. That, that, my problem is when you mix them with those big dogs, they don't live long enough. I took my little nah, fucker nah, to nah, the Nah, you, you need a refresh every eight years. No, I want <laughs> I want him to be like a forever dog. I need that Sounds bitch like to you live like 12, old dogs. 15, I get new 20. dogs. You could, uh, you could become a bird guy and buy a cockatiel that will outlive that's you. That's too much. Dude, there's a guy. Oh, that's um, a commitment. I don't know if he's... There was a I don't know if he still comes, but there was a guy that came often to our hangouts. Um, join join the Patreon down below. Hang out with us this weekend. Not this weekend. Two weekends from now, something like that. Well, um, UFC fights coming up. Oh yeah, join mm-hmm. now. With the, you come watch the UFC fights with us this weekend. It's going to be great. Uh, what was I saying? The patron playing the oh he's got a fucking bird. He had one of those little parakeets or some shit crawling all over him, and it's super cute. It's going like mm-hmm. weep a woo, weep a woo, and he's like going weep a woo back, and it's giving kisses. And uh, Woody's like, "How long do they live?" This is, yeah, this has been months ago. Woody's like, "How long do they live?" And he's like, 
about 12 or 14 years. He goes, oh, how old's that one? 14 years. <laughs> <laughs> and I think somebody goes, it's going to be, be kind of hard when that thing dies soon, huh? Because, you know, <laughs> nothing but optics in there with us. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he goes, uh, yeah, it's going to ruin my world. What <laughs> 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 so um, I can really think about yeah. is looking down the barrel at the little Petey not being here anymore. <laughs> it was sad as fuck. He had this this yeah. little little fucker that he loved so much, yeah. and it, it was so cute. It was very personable. Like the yeah, it clearly had personality. Is what I mean to say. Like it's 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 like hey, playing peekaboo with him. Like clearly having fun with him. Like making a little making little faces and shit. It's cute as shit. But I don't know. Yeah. That's my uh dude. my grandmother had a uh, a sulfur crested cockatoo. A cockatoo. Uh, That's what I'm looking yeah. at. It's uh, they, they live. Uh, they're called sulfur crested. They have like a yellow plume on the head, okay. and uh, it was um, yeah, yeah, yeah she's had a yeah, she loved it. Yeah, my <laughs> she loved it. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, she um. <laughs> she said so the cockatoo outlived her and then uh-huh. the cockatoo come to live with us and my grandmother like me is uh is is you know pretty she swore she swore a lot this, 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 a I, cockatoo. I, I, I got it from somewhere <laughs> and she used to watch the football a lot and so uh when she'd uh it, it's a common thing in australia when you're watching the australian football uh if you have if someone's holding onto the ball and they get tackled then they and they don't let go of it then they people yell ball and so we had this ended up with this cockatoo when she died and this cockatoo would just yell ball all the time so it'd just be like a ball ball like <laughs> and i swear my dad killed it because it was so annoying but it died. <laughs> I, swear it. I swear i swear he just got a cigarette and broke its neck to be honest <laughs> yeah, that, have you seen things live to be like 60 years old yeah it was yeah, have you seen that with bird care only yeah. if it doesn't fly into you know, a metal pipe over and over and over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you I seen... watch um, these sailing YouTubers. Oh, this is super quick. Huh? And yeah. uh, one of them has a parrot. And it's pretty dope. Like, it adds the whole image of this guy circumnavigating the planet with his parrot. Because he's a part. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Parrots long time too, I I'm sorry, Kyle. What were you saying? That bird witnessed its owner being murdered. And so the bird now says, <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> Please don't shoot! It and, says don't <laughs> effing shoot. It's in the yeah. uh yeah. the lower it's, graphic uh, called Capture. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the most awful things I've ever heard. Because the bird, like I said earlier, they're they're they have they seem to be very intelligent. The bird is smart. It's mm-hmm. all the bird says now because it's traumatized, because yeah. it watched its best buddy, its owner, yeah. get killed, and the last thing I- it ever heard its buddy say was don't fucking shoot. Oh, and so sorry. that's all he so that's all he says now. That'd be funny if the oh, yeah. parrot said, "What are you gonna do? Like fucking that. shoot me?" <laughs> <laughs> I saw a uh, I saw a video of a parrot, a uh, African grey parrot. That this owner had two two birds, and had uh, they both hated each other. And the African grey was a lot smarter than the other one. And uh, she was cooking a um like a Cornish game hen or something for dinner. And apparently, the African grey parrot looked at the the Cornish. Uh, hen and said oh. and was like said the name of the other parrot and then she looked at him and then he started going ha, 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 like laughing it's like <laughs> like an under, like it has a morbid sense of humor like that's that's fucking intelligent oh but, and then there's that other parrot the one that lives super long it's that i remember its last words are love you see you tomorrow love you it's Oh, that's sad. Oh, <laughs> what a downer. This is a yeah, sad right? way to it's end. a comedy podcast, Kyle. Yeah, the, I, what about the <laughs> what about are there any birds that really had it coming? <laughs> <laughs> that you know of? Uh, the famous one? No. No. I watched this whole documentary about Roadrunner. He's kind of an asshole. He was that's... an asshole. <laughs> the coyote was just trying yeah. to eat. <laughs> right? There's, some, there's one of the wildlife park near me that's uh there's a, a bird that's like 106 years old. It has a letter from the queen. Yeah, <laughs> really... Kill me! Yeah. <laughs> I am yeah. suffering. <laughs> he's like, oh, he, yeah. he, like you notice he's getting dementia. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't remember any of those old phrases we taught him. Yeah. Oh. Or it would be bad. You have like a hundred and four year old bird in twenty twenty four. He's he's got a lot of vocabulary from nineteen fifty one. Oh shit. <laughs> that's hey, a racism it, joke. Hey, so he he never says it. this. You know, like, <laughs> you see, like, oh, he got, no, he's about to come in. It's like, you know what? Let me put my 
The bird's Spanish. Dog. He's Spanish. He's 109. He just, 109. 109. <laughs> he just, he just turned out. 109, bro. This fucking bird is 109 years old. Oh, wow. There's no way there's any quality of life at 109. Even no, the Japanese age looks He looks miserable. pretty ragged. <laughs> All right, then. God damn it. Well, this living bird. Who's keeping track of this? <laughs> some ornithologists everywhere. Some of, the, some of the, like the people who make it on those lists are like lying through their not no teeth. Uh, this is another but, one like, of your conspiracy th conspiracy theories, like the Helen Keller thing. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I'm right on that, and that's taken that's taken hold. You're so the, close the, to being a flat earther. Zeitgeist. You need one shred of evidence, and I believe you'd go overboard. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I think that I shit th is beyond retarded. I, I think if you ever saw the like the sh like a video that showed you know the shadow on the Earth's shadow is on the moon, you can see that the Earth's fucking round right there, right? You know, that, yeah. that's why you yeah, it only proves moon. it's a circle, not that it's a sphere. Fair, but you get my gist. Like, like if you ever saw it, like a video of it glitching and suddenly it was a perfect square up mm. there, like, like, and, and like, like, and then it, then it so went not back. Even a flat earth or a square earthist. It's a square <laughs> flat earth. It's a, square it's a earth. tile. We're on a tile. We're on a I tile. Like yeah. We're on a tile in the kitchen, in the kitchen that is the cosmos. Yeah. That's that's fucking, really this man's name is Fred. That would be funny. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that one's ever gonna get me. I think it's mm. too absurd. Mm. I'd have to see other planets that are not spheres. All, and why is everything else a fucking sphere? Why is would it, we not be? We're the center of the universe. I don't want to talk about this again because, as I've said so many times, they're just fucking trolling us. No one believe the people who believe in the flat Earth have schizophrenia, and they also believe in any number of Eddie Bravo nonsenses. Yeah. Eddie Bravo has had a lot of concussions, Woody, and drug and heavy drug use. <laughs> and he knows how to get clicks. So and you combine those three things together, the three things together. And I just can't put anything he says That's fair. That's in normal from. context. He's just a guy who I think genuinely believes it. I've seen him wind Alex Jones up before. I like love it. Purpose. It's been on Reddit a few times lately. And when I see that he has that ability, like 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 to do that. I imagine that perhaps he does that a little bit when he comes on. He's like, I want to be a good guest. Well, we get a lot of clicks when you say some crazy shit. So I'm going to go on there. I'm going to let them know the Illuminati's in charge. Alex John was telling the truth. Pizza Gate 2024. <laughs> like, they're they're so sucking his fetus is dry. Go there's this thing that Cal just speak. referenced. Alex Jones is on the Joe Rogan podcast. And Eddie Bravo is there too. If I recall, it's just the three of them. Alex Jones is explaining that the Democrats want to kill babies after they're born, right? Post delivery, I don't know, pocket knife, emperor, thumbs up and down. And uh, Eddie Bravo was like, that's not true. That has to be conspiracy theory, at which Alex Jones goes bonkers. And uh, he's like drawing on proof, like a senator speaking in the house or something like mm. that. And Eddie Bravo disregards the source because it's YouTube. And, but it's like C-SPAN or something but, but he's yeah. like ah oh, that's YouTube that doesn't count and he's just going fucking nuts and at one point he's like Eddie Bravo you think you're fucking tough you're about to get it and my favorite part of all of it is Eddie Bravo is laughing it's the fun he's laughing in his face that is a man without a shred of concern Eddie Bravo if you don't know world champion Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guy fighter yeah. just trained a <laughs> couple not professors. just and like an innovator in it, like like yes. he's the guy, he's he's like I invented a new move. It's a leg slicer and it's a pain, it's a leg slicing pain move and a joint distressing move. So I can tear their knee out if their if their calf doesn't hurt them bad enough. He so he's not he's afraid of Alex Jones, Jones at all. <laughs> oh, yeah. I yeah, exactly. But that's yeah. my favorite part. It's I think Alex Jones might believe in his heart that he's got a good shot. But Eddie yeah. Bravo does not agree. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, and to see him laugh at the threat was my favorite part of that sequence. He'd throw up a triangle and put him out in 20 seconds. Well, I'm not familiar with Eddie Bravo, but it sounds like he's a good oh, guest if he's getting he's the other Rogan's guy that... Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu coach. Yeah, oh, he's okay. a he's a fun guy. He, he, he spouts... Well, Alex Jones would be gassed. Occasionally. He, it's fun. Alex Jones would be gassed like running at him six feet. Dude, Have you seen that video of Alex Jones running? Him. Dude, remember that kid? I remember one time this kid was talking shit to Alex Jones in public, and Jones used to go around with like a camera following him around in public, and he's just and people would be like, "Fuck you, Alex Jones!" He's like, "Fuck you, you communist son of a bitch!" What are you gonna do about it? I'll show you what I'm gonna do about it. I'm gonna come at you with all the power of the blood of the Christ, the blood of the Lamb. <laughs> and he just and he and all of a sudden he starts sprinting at this guy, 
and it's like kind of like when a grizzly bear starts sprinting it's so <laughs> big that you underestimate just how fast it was he moving. actually moving pretty good he was that guy had to skedaddle he started <laughs> out, he, the guy started out maybe first gear and immediately slipped yeah. her into third was like, he holding like, his mic <laughs> still as he's running <laughs> Do i don't think remember you what he had alex jones no not if he's Easily. like trained in fighting and shit i don't know what his training is but i, I he's, he's just, just a big so much of a bigger guy. than me I, I guarantee it's more than zero which is he's my level of training of a so guy. Probably beat I'll me could, up. i'd bounce his fucking bald head off the pavement you think so not without Easily. technique how big is he, he? I, I think he might know uh, how to fight is the problem like, like he's like, a big fat old man like if you don't have any training the this difference is why the difference between no training and and six months Five, or ten. eight months of training mm-hmm. it really is leagues like it really is just leagues. If somebody knows a couple of jujitsu techniques and proper striking form and how to maintain distance, then you just want to leave that man alone. Luck too. He can kill you. Like if he's if he can wrestle and he can throw, like if he knows how to throw you over do a hip throw or something, we're in a parking lot. That man can kill you so fast that and you'll that should, that should it, if nuts. you've ever been like in a in a car accident and you got whipped and you suddenly your grip was broken in a way that you didn't know it could be, that's how fast you you die. You'll be flying through the air, unable to react, and your head will be eating pavement because that's what they do. If he's yeah. a wrestler, that's what he's going to do to you. If he's a jujitsu guy, he might have fun testing out his calf slicer and rip your knee out in a way where it never works again. Or if he's a striker, he might just kill you because if you get one punch KO'd on the street and fall back and hit your head on the fl- ground, you just die because our heads yeah. are made of shit. <laughs> oh, it's rap time? Is it rap time? Okay. <laughs> it is. When are we going to do a five-hour one? been a minute <laughs> it's been a minute don't even you put that, that out over, over <laughs> the, over <laughs> the, you commentate the ufc and do a five hour one Get it's struck. more than five hours of uh, we could record us watching all of the fights and then we that would force taylor into watching like eight hours of ufc with us <laughs> that would actually be like kind of a fun thing to do that could be a patreon exclusive then we would have mm. a reason to buy the fight and write it off yeah, mm. and also get really, really high. What he's what he's gonna write it off, but he's gonna steal it. A <laughs> <laughs> bite of a creative accountant. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's right. Uh, Slush, anything, that was very where, where can Slush, we find you? you? Uh, on Twitch, uh, Slush Puppy on Twitch. Come Check and watch me uh, make my giant inbred family on Crusader Kings. <laughs> uh, <laughs> link in the description check him out check out the stuff pka 695 